Although the navy does not like to see the king's Shishibukai, the king's Shishibukai is also a very powerful force on the sea. The navy, the four emperors, and the Shishibukai are the three forces standing on the sea. Especially Da Flamingo, who is among the king's seven martial seas, is a celestial dragon himself, and he is powerful and cunning, and knows many secrets of the world government. Even if the navy wanted to deal with him, it would be unable to do so. Sengoku had no choice but to place spies around Da Flamingo, collect his evidence, and then find a way to deal with him. In addition, there are Tyrant Bear and Moonlight Moria, who are also pirates that give their navy a headache. It is precisely because they are difficult and powerful that they are recruited to become the king's Shishibukai. But what all the navy didn't expect was that the king's Shishibukai, who was causing them a headache, would be killed by members of the Akatsuki organization. And we solved three of them at once. Not only was he killed by members of the Akatsuki organization, but he was also made into a human puppet. Who dares to be a Shishibukai like this, and who can suppress the pirates on the sea? The Akatsuki organization has now completely broken the balance on the sea. Marshal of the Warring States period, we can't go on like this. This hateful terrorist organization must be dealt with immediately, Akainu shouted loudly, hating Jishou. But the Akatsuki organization is very powerful. Even if the Navy Admiral is dispatched, he may not be able to capture them, Staff Officer he continued. For it, after hearing what Crane said, the angry Akainu instantly became silent. Akainu has fought against members of the Akatsuki organization. Although he is very angry now, he also knows very well that what staff he said is right. The strength of the Akatsuki organization is too strong, and the Akatsuki organization is dispatched by two people. To defeat the members of the Akatsuki organization, the combat power of four generals must be deployed. Warring states, let me go. We really can't let the Akatsuki organization continue like this, Garp suddenly said in a deep voice. Upon hearing that Garp was planning to dispatch, all the navy present looked at him with admiration. Garp is a naval hero, known as the most powerful navy. Even Roger, the former pirate king, is chased all over the world by Garp. With Lieutenant General Garp dispatched, the members of the Akatsuki organization can definitely be eliminated. No, staff officer he stopped, and then analyzed in a deep tone. Do you feel that the Akatsuki organization is a little too flamboyant and arrogant? Make public. Arrogant. What does this mean? Hearing what staff he said, all the navy were once again stunned, wondering what staff he meant. Aren't all terrorist organizations like this? Are there any terrorist organizations that are not arrogant? Hmm. The Akatsuki organization has indeed been a bit too arrogant during this period. First he killed the celestial dragons, then robbed the heavenly gold, and now he openly killed the king Shishibukai. This really does not look like the behavior of a terrorist organization hiding in the dark. Zaya he, continue talking. Warring states, who was known as a wise general, seemed to have thought of something after hearing what staff he said. The Akatsuki organization may act in such a high-profile manner to lure our navy on purpose. In other words, it is to lure the high-end combat power of our naval headquarters to dispatch. Don't forget, the members of the Akatsuki organization all act in pairs at the same time. If we want to defeat the members of the Akatsuki organization, we must use the combat power of four generals to defeat them. This may result in the empty combat power of our naval headquarters, if we are attacked by the Akatsuki organization at this time. Don't forget. We haven't investigated clearly yet how much combat power the Akatsuki organization currently has. Staff officer he finished speaking word by word. After listening to what staff he said, all the navy members present fell silent. Staff officer he is indeed right. Facing an Akatsuki organization with unknown combat capabilities, their navy really needs to be careful to prevent falling into the trap of diverting the tiger away from the mountain. Officer he what should we do now? Are we just going to watch the Akatsuki organization continue to be so arrogant? We are a righteous navy. 
Akainu said very angry. They clearly saw the enemy but did not dare to attack and eliminate it. The navy present felt very aggrieved. Well, we really can't let the Akatsuki organization continue to act like this. According to our information, Doflamingo is cooperating with the beast pirates to trade animal devil fruits. Now that Doflamingo is dead and the kingdom of Dress Rosa has been destroyed, these things may have fallen into the hands of the Akatsuki organization. I think Beijo Kaido should be very interested in this news. Staff officer he thought for a while and said with a hint. Well, that's a very good plan indeed. After hearing what staff he said, warring states suddenly understood. This is to use the beast pirates to attack the Akatsuki organization. Let the Yonko pirates deal with the Akatsuki organization. It would be best if both of them lose, and the navy can reap the benefits. Just do it, and the navy took action immediately. Soon, the information that the Akatsuki organization killed Doflamingo and snatched the devil fruit appeared in the hands of Kaido the Beast. Bastard, the Akatsuki organization dared to intercept my goods. I think they don't want to live anymore. Doflamingo, this loser, actually died like this. Beijo Kaido looked at the message in his hand angrily, roared continuously, then grabbed the wine gourd next to him and drank a few gulps. Boss Kaido, the Akatsuki organization dares to force us to take our things, you are so reckless. This matter is left to me. I will definitely take these things back from the hands of the Akatsuki organization. One of the three disasters of the Beast Pirates, Drought Jack was the first to jump up and shouted loudly. Okay. Jack, then take a trip. Kaido of the Hundred Beasts didn't think much and agreed directly. Soon, Drought Jack led his mammoth pirate ship to pursue the Red Sand Scorpion. The Beast Pirates, one of the four emperors of the New World. Kaido the Beast, a pirate known as the strongest creature. Kaido wants to form an animal-type army and buys artificial animal-type devil fruits through a trade with Doflamingo, one of the seven warlords. But unexpectedly, the Akatsuki organization actually intervened, killing Doflamingo directly, and reportedly took away the devil fruit he needed. Upon hearing the news, Kaido's first reaction was anger. He is a dignified Yonko. He has always been the only one to rob others. Whenever someone dares to rob his own things. Although the Akatsuki organization was very active in the sea during this period, and did many things that shocked the sea. But Kaido of the Hundred Beasts didn't have any fear, but became even more angry. He is one of the four emperors, a pirate group like the kings of the sea. There was no one he was afraid of in the entire sea, even Kaido, the marine beast, dared to attack. But now this Akatsuki organization dares to rob him of his own things, and he is simply desperate. Therefore, when he heard that Drought Jack volunteered to go to the Akatsuki organization to cause trouble, Kaido didn't think much and directly agreed. Drought Jack, this is the big poster of the Beast Pirates and the confidant of Beast Kaido. There should be no problem against the Akatsuki organization. After receiving Kaido's order, Drought Jack did not hesitate at all and immediately led his mammoth pirate ship out to sea. How's it going? Have you found any trace of the Akatsuki organization? Drought Jack asked loudly to his men. Report, Lord Jack. According to our information, members of the Akatsuki organization did not leave immediately after destroying the kingdom of Dress Rosa. Instead, we stayed on the island. If we rush there now, we will definitely capture the members of the Akatsuki organization, a pirate with a goat's horn on his head said immediately. If you dare to steal something from our beast's pirates, you are simply seeking death. Jack-sama, leave it to me. I will definitely let the Akatsuki organization know how powerful our beast's pirates are. These pirates artificial fruit users with animal characteristics shouted arrogantly one by one. What are you waiting for? Go to the Kingdom of Dress Rosa immediately and capture the members of the Akatsuki organization. Complete the mission assigned by Boss Kaido and let the Akatsuki organization see how powerful our beast's pirates are, Drought Jack shouted very irritably. It's, Master Jack. 
Hearing Drought Jack's roar, the people around him immediately maneuvered their boats towards the kingdom of Dress Rosa. At this time, in the ruins of Dress Rosa, Zhang Yu, who plays the Red Sand Scorpion, is also making human puppets. Although Zhang Yu relied on countless puppets to destroy the entire kingdom of Dress Rosa, Zhang Yu's puppets also suffered serious losses. Moreover, he had just killed the entire Da Flamingo family, so Zhang Yu now needed to make human puppets immediately. For the Crimson Sand Scorpion, the puppet represents half of his power. Uncle Scorpion, how long will we stay here? What about the explosive art that I want to realize? Beside Zhang Yu, Diodera said weakly. At the same time, a mouth appeared in the center of the palm of his right hand. The mouth chewed for a while, and a clay bird appeared in his hand. This clay bird is lifelike and flies into the sky like a real bird. Art is explosion, drink. Boom. I saw the bird in the sky explode like a firework. See, this is my art. Explosive art, instant bloom, Diodera said with a look of obsession. Diodera, I told you that art comes from eternity, and only eternity is true art, Zhang Yu said immediately. Bastard, how can a toy like yours be called art? Real art comes from moments, Diodera said immediately. How dare you call my art a toy? You are seeking death, Zhang Yu immediately said angrily. For a while, the two of them had a quarrel here because of their respective arts. An artistic duo, both of them exist for art. It's just that one of them thinks eternity is art, while the other thinks explosion is art. Therefore, Diodera and the Red Sand Scorpion often quarreled over artistic issues. Zhang Yu was surprised to find that quarreling between two people could also improve their proficiency. Although the speed of improvement is very slow, it is better than nothing. In addition, Diodera's way to increase his quantity is to create explosions. The greater the power of the explosion, the wider the range, the greater the destructive power, and the more proficiency is improved. Two adults, please stop arguing, Perona was floating somewhere looking at the two people arguing and immediately persuaded them. Perona, you came just in time. Do you think eternity is art, or is instant explosion art? Seeing Perona appear here, the two immediately looked at Perona. Um, this, me. Facing the gazes of the two people, Perona was also suddenly confused. The two people in front of her were members of the Akatsuki organization and were very powerful, but she couldn't afford to offend anyone. Just when Perona was in trouble, a huge pirate ship appeared on the sea in the distance. Perona seemed to have found a savior, her eyes suddenly lit up. Lord Scorpion, look, a pirate ship is coming from a distance. This is the mammoth pirate ship, a pirate group under the command of the four emperors and beasts Kaido, Perona said immediately. Came just in time. Let the enemy verify whose art is the real art. Diodera looked at the rapidly approaching pirate ship, chewed it with the big mouth in his hand, and spit out a piece of clay. The clay continued to fuse and finally turned into a huge flying dragon. C2 Dragon Diodera jumped onto the flying dragon. The dragon waved its wings vigorously and rushed towards the pirate ship. The beast pirates came just in time. I happen to be short of collectibles, Zhang Yu also rushed over. The beast pirates are basically all animal type devil fruit users with powerful bodies. Zhang Yu can just rely on the ability of the red sand scorpion to kill them and turn them into his own human puppets. Further improve the proficiency of red sand scorpion. Just as the artistic duo red sand scorpion and Diodera were taking action, the mammoth pirate ship had also docked and the huge figure of Drought Jack appeared in the ruins of the Kingdom of Dress Rosa. Sir Jack, we have arrived at the Kingdom of Dress Rosa, and members of the Akatsuki organization should be on this island, a pirate said immediately. Very good, find the members of the Akatsuki organization immediately. He even dared to steal the things from our beasts pirates. Today we must kill the members of the Akatsuki organization to let them know the power of our beasts pirates. Drought Jack said with a cruel look on his face. Yes, 
we must kill the members of the Akatsuki organization. The members of the Akatsuki organization dare to provoke us, the Beast Pirates. They are simply seeking death. We must let the members of the Akatsuki organization see how powerful we are. All the other members of the Beast Pirates also roared. Drought Jack himself is a domineering and cruel person, so his men are also a group of crazy people like him. If you don't accept the meeting, fight first. Anyone who dares to provoke their beast pirates will be destroyed. In their view, there is nothing that cannot be solved by violence. If there is, then there is not enough violence. Therefore, when dealing with the incident of the Akatsuki organization, all Jack's men always thought it was an attack. No matter what, let's fight first and then talk about it. At this moment, a black shadow appeared in the distant sky. The black shadow was very fast, and in an instant it was in front of Jack and the other pirates. This is a giant clay dragon. On top of the dragon stands Deodara wearing Akatsuki costumes. Sir Jack, I recognize this kind of clothes. This is the costume of the Akatsuki organization. He is a member of the Akatsuki organization. A pirate recognized Deodara's identity and shouted. Is he a member of the Akatsuki organization? So what are you waiting for? Attack, kill him for me. Looking at Deodara in the sky, Drought Jack didn't think much and directly gave the order to attack. Attack, kill him. Damn the Akatsuki organization, how dare you rob our beasts pirates. Go to hell. I'm going to tear you apart. These pirates all activated their own abilities, activated their devil fruit abilities, and launched an attack on Deodara in the sky. Is this the beast pirates? Let you see my art. Deodara chewed something in his hands, and a piece of clay spider appeared in his hands. See one spider bomb. These clay spiders were like living spiders. They all jumped down and jumped towards these pirates one by one. What is this? Where did the spider come from? I hate spiders the most. Facing these clay spiders, these pirates didn't take them seriously and just killed them casually. Seeing that these spiders had climbed onto the pirate's body, Deodara couldn't help but smile. Art is an explosion, haha. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. In an instant, these spiders exploded. The huge explosion directly drowned all these pirates. Ah, uh, help. Damn, watch out for these spiders. These spiders can explode. Among the violent explosions, there were also bursts of screams from pirates. If it were an ordinary pirate, he might have died long ago in such an explosion. But they are members of the beast pirates, and each of them has animal devil fruit abilities. For animal type devil fruits, rough skin and thick flesh are the most basic abilities. Therefore, although Deodara's attack made the members of the Beast Pirates very embarrassed, and some of the weaker ones were seriously injured, none of them died. Is this the power of the Beast's Pirates? Not dead. Then try this. Detonate Grasshopper. Deodara spread his hands, and a piece of clay grasshopper jumped towards the pirates again. Boom, boom, boom. Every grasshopper is a bomb and countless grass hoppers represent countless bombs. They all jumped towards these pirates, and a series of explosions sounded again. Faced with Deodara's unreasonable bombardment, some pirates finally couldn't hold on any longer. Ah, it hurts so much. Is this the strength of the Akatsuki organization? Master Jack, what should we do? Do you want to retreat? A pirate, covered in blood, asked Drought Jack in fear. Bastard, of course you have to attack. Drought Jack cursed loudly, his eyes widened and turned red, and he scolded loudly. Who do you think I am? I'm Drought Jack. Drought Jack is worthy of being one of the three disasters. As a mammoth devil fruit user, he was not injured in the violent explosion except that his whole body was burnt black. However, Deodara's indiscriminate bombing made Drought Jack disgraced and made Drought Jack very angry. You damn Akatsuki organization, go to hell. 
the furious Drought Jack rushed directly towards Deodara in the sky. This is Drought Jack, and he has never been shy about appearing. No matter what the enemy is, he dares to attack, the flat-headed brother of the pirate world. Roar! With a huge elephant cry, Drought Jack's body quickly expanded and transformed into a huge mammoth. The strong and powerful elephant trunk carried the strong wind and whipped towards Deodara in the sky. Flash! Deodara's reaction was also very fast. He controlled the dragon and quickly hid in the sky, easily avoiding Drought Jack's attack. Good meat, really strong defense ability. Then try this. Deodara was also very surprised to see that Drought Jack was not injured under the attack. However, Deodara did not give up and inserted his hands into the clay pockets at his waist. The mouths on the palms of both hands continued to swallow the clay and began to launch a new round of attacks. C2 detonates clay dragon shells. I saw a fat little dragon appearing in the dragon's mouth in the sky, waving its disproportionately small wings and flying towards Drought Jack, the huge mammoth in front of me. The fat little dragon hit the mammoth and exploded. The powerful impact caused the huge mammoth to shake left and right. C1 detonating clay centipede. C1 explosive clay twin snakes. Clay centipedes and snakes crawl onto the limbs of giant mammoths. Art is an explosion, haha. <laughs> Boom. The huge explosion formed a powerful impact, directly knocking the mammoth away. The mammoth's huge body suddenly fell to the ground and there was a roar like an earthquake all around. Under such a powerful explosion at zero distance, Drought Jack was finally injured. A wound appeared on the body, and blood continued to spurt out. Roar! Damn bastard, you actually hurt me, it hurts so much. I'm going to kill you, kill you. The severe pain caused Drought Jack to roar angrily and let out an elephant cry. But soon, Drought Jack's wounds healed quickly at a speed visible to the naked eye. Drought Jack's huge mammoth body climbed up from the ground, and its huge trunk attacked Deodara in the sky again. As one of the three plagues of the Beast Pirates, Drought Jack's Devil Fruit ability has also developed the ability to awaken. As for the animal Devil Fruit, awakening gives the user powerful defense and super recovery ability. It can be said that as long as a person with animal devil fruit abilities has physical strength, he is an immortal existence. No matter what kind of injury he takes, he can recover instantly. What a powerful recovery ability. It seems that he can only be killed in one hit without giving him a chance to recover. In the sky, Deodara frowned as he looked at Drought Jack's rapid recovery, constantly thinking about countermeasures. Deodara, can you do it? If it doesn't work, let me do it instead. I will make him my collection. The red sand scorpion played by Zhang Yu came over and looked at Deodara who was fighting Jack there and said. Uncle Scorpion, don't take action. I will definitely show this guy in front of me my explosive art. Deodara looked at Drought Jack and said very insistently. Lord Scorpion, can Lord Deodara really defeat him? This is Drought Jack a member of the Yonko Pirates. Perona hovered next to Zhang Yu and asked worriedly. Do not worry. With Deodara's abilities, there should be no problem in defeating him, Zhang Yu looked at Deodara and said with certainty. Although Deodara is not too powerful among the many members of the Akatsuki organization. But don't forget, he is a member of the Akatsuki organization. There are no weak members in the Akatsuki organization. Deodara's strength is not strong, relatively speaking. It may be a bit troublesome to let him fight against the Yonko, but there is still no problem against a Drought Jack. Since Deodara won't let me interfere, then I will deal with them first. Although they are a little weak, they are still Devil Fruit users. Qualifies for my collection. Zhang Yu directly operated the puppet to kill the other beasts' pirates. Soon, there was a scream. They didn't have Drought Jack's strength, so they soon turned into Zhang Yu's collection. Boom boom boom. The battle between Deodara and Drought Jack continues. Explosive clay of all kinds was bombarded towards Drought Jack. The huge explosion directly blew Drought Jack, 
the mammoth, flying everywhere, and his body was covered with wounds. But soon, the injuries on his body would recover instantly, and he would attack Deodara again. So now the battle between the two has fallen into an endless loop. Although Deodara's attacks were very powerful, they were able to seriously injure Drought Jack every time. But relying on the recovery ability of the animal Devil Fruit, Drought Jack will recover quickly every time. As for Drought Jack, because of his heavy body, although his attacks were very violent, Deodara used his flying ability to easily dodge every time. There is no other way. We can't keep Uncle Scorpion waiting any longer. Just use this thing. A fat clay doll appeared in Deodara's hand. C3 Bomb No 18 Deodara's detonating clay is divided into C1, C2, C3, the larger the number, the greater the power of the explosion. From this we can guess the power of Deodara, the C3 clay doll. Go for it. Deodara flew high into the sky and threw the fat clay doll in his hand directly towards Drought Jack. In midair, the figure of the doll suddenly expanded and became even larger, like a huge rock hitting Drought Jack. If you are an ordinary person, if you see a heavy object falling, your first reaction is to run away and avoid it. But Drought Jack is known as the flat-headed brother in the world of One Piece, so how could he be timid? What? Get out of my way! Not only did Drought Jack not run away, but he directly faced him, his huge trunk curling towards the puppet. It seems that he is afraid that this clay doll will not be able to hit him. Very good, hit the mark. Art is explosion. Ah! Accompanied by Deodara's roar, the huge clay doll emitted a burst of blazing light and exploded. Boom, boom boom. A huge mushroom cloud rose. The powerful explosion impact spread to the surroundings like a huge wave, and countless smoke, dust and gravel swept up. While the whole Dear Rosa kingdom also started to shake. The kingdom of Dress Rosa, which had been reduced to ruins, once again suffered such a violent explosion. Now there are no ruins left, reduced to ashes by the explosion. The earth-shattering explosion lasted for half an hour before it subsided. The entire battlefield has turned into a huge pit. In the big pit, the half-dead Drought Jack was unconscious. Although Drought Jack is an awakener of the animal ability fruit, he has strong recovery ability. But the recovery ability also has an upper limit. If it exceeds the upper limit, even those with animal devil fruit abilities cannot withstand it. Unless he is like Hayaku Shao Kaido, who has developed the ability of the animal devil fruit to the extreme, like an immortal existence. Obviously Drought Jack doesn't have the same power as Kaido of the Beasts. Deodara's explosive attack was so powerful that even Drought Jack's awakening ability couldn't resist it. It's really meaty. Uncle Scorpion should like people like you very much, Deodara controlled the flying dragon and came to Drought Jack. Deodara was also very surprised to see that Drought Jack survived such a powerful attack. Then the dragon's claws grabbed the unconscious Jack and came to Zhang Yu. Uncle Scorpion, the battle is over. This is what you want. Deodara threw Drought Jack directly in front of Zhang Yu. Deodara, your speed is too slow. For the sake of the collection you brought me, I forgive you once. Zhang Yu dragged Drought Jack's entire body to his temporary laboratory and got busy quickly. Soon Drought Jack was killed by Zhang Yu made a human puppet, and sealed it into the puppet scroll. Zhang Yu has one more item in his collection, and his proficiency in playing the Red Sand Scorpion has also improved a bit. After this time of fighting and making puppets, the proficiency attribute of Red Sand Scorpion has also undergone earth-shaking changes. Current Role, Red Sand Scorpion Akatsuki Organization, one of the artistic duo. Role Play Progress 80% Abilities, Human Puppet Transformation, Poison Possessed Puppets, Doflamingo, Tyrant Bear, Moonlight Moria, Drought Jack, Swordsman Ryoma It can be said that during this period, Zhang Yu continued to fight as the Red Sand Scorpion, constantly killing Wang Xiaokai Wuhei and making puppets, and his performance progress also improved rapidly. 
you can summon new role players soon. Uncle Scorpion, where should we go next? Deodara asked Zhang Yu. Um, after hearing Deodara's words, Zhang Yu thought for a while and said. Since the Beast Pirates dare to attack us. Then let's go to the Beast Pirates. I can just collect some materials. Most of the members of the Beast Pirates are animal devil fruit users with powerful bodies. In Zhang Yu's opinion, these are all excellent materials for producer puppets. After hearing Zhang Yu's words, Deodara suddenly became interested. Are you looking for trouble with the Beast's Pirates? It's really good. I just wanted to show him our explosive art, Deodara opened his mouth on the palms of his hands, chewing large pieces of clay, and an exploding spider appeared in his hands. Red Crystal Island, this is an island in the New World famous for producing red crystals. Moreover, this island is close to the Beast Pirates' sphere of influence, so it naturally falls under the control of the Beast Pirates. At this time, Ultai and Pegiman, two members of the Beast Pirates Flying Six, were on the island. Fei Liubeo is a senior cotter in the Beast Pirates. His status is second only to the Three Disasters. A person with ancient dinosaur abilities. The Red Crystal Island is guarded by two Flying Six cells, which shows that Kaido of all beasts attaches great importance to this island. Sister, I heard that the Akatsuki organization robbed our beasts' pirates' belongings. I don't know if it's true, Peggy Wan asked her sister. Peggy Wan Long Dragon Fruit Ancient Species Spin Back Dragon Form Ability User, a man with purple hair, long hair on the right side covering his right eye, wearing a horn hat, a mask, and a tattoo with the word PAG1 on his body. Next to him sat a thin-legged woman wearing a mask and high heels. This woman is Peggy Wan's sister, Ultai, the user of the dragon fruit, ancient species, and swollen-headed dragon form. It seems true. Members of the Akatsuki organization killed Da Flamingo and stole Kaido's devil fruit. But Boss Kaido has already sent Jack to snatch it, Ultai thought for a while and said. Haha, the Akatsuki organization is really brave. Don't think that just by killing a few trash celestial dragons and defeating a few marines, you can fight against our beast pirates. I think Jack Sama should be able to kill the members of the Akatsuki organization very quickly and take back what was stolen, Peggy Wan said with a very disdainful look on her face. That's right. We, the beast pirates, have never been afraid of anyone. No matter who the Akatsuki organization is, anyone who provokes us, the Beast Pirates, will die, Ultai also said immediately. Kaido of the Beasts is a crazy person, so the members of the Beasts Pirates are also very crazy. When they heard that the Akatsuki organization dared to rob their Beasts Pirates' belongings, many members of the Beasts Pirates reacted with offense. I heard that members of the Akatsuki organization defeated the Admiral. I also want to test the strength of the members of the Akatsuki organization. Peggy Wan said. Stop thinking about it. The task given to us by Boss Kaido is to protect Red Crystal Island. The Big Mom pirates seem to be eyeing this island and may attack at any time, Ultai said. Big Mom pirates. If he dares to come, I will let him know how powerful we are, Peggy Wan said very disdainfully. Rumble. At this time, there were bursts of huge explosions. The powerful explosion caused the entire island to shake violently. How is this going? What happened? The sudden explosion made the two of them stunned. Report to the two adults, we are under attack. Someone is attacking our red crystal island. A pirate ran over and said immediately. Enemy? Is it the big mom pirates? How dare you attack the territory of our beast pirates? Let's show them some color today. The two rushed towards the direction of the explosion. Over the red crystal island, two white clay birds were soaring. The red sand scorpion and Deodara, wearing the costumes of the Akatsuki organization, were on the clay bird. Although Zhang Yu didn't know why Drought Jack, one of the three disasters among the beast pirates, suddenly attacked him. But Zhang Yu didn't care and Zhang Yu couldn't refuse the material delivered to his door. 
and since the beast pirates dare to attack members of the Akatsuki organization, they must be prepared for a counter-attack by the Akatsuki organization. Therefore, Zhang Yu immediately came to the territory of the beast pirates, and Zhang Yu's first goal was the Red Crystal Island. In the sky, Diodera kept chewing the mouths on the palms of his hands, and countless clay biological bombs were made. Go for it, feel my art. These clay biological bombs fell towards the Red Crystal Island. Various clay spiders and clay grasshoppers jumped on the Red Crystal Island, jumping towards the pirates. Red Crystal Island is an important territory for the beast pirates. In addition to the two siblings Ultai and Pegimon, there are also two pirate groups stationed here. These pirate groups are enslaving people on the islands to help them mine ore. What is this? Hey, white bugs, are there such bugs on Red Crystal Island? At this time, a pirate noticed these clay bugs. What white bugs? Isn't it normal to have bugs on the island? Another pirate said nonchalantly, reaching out to knock down the white bug. But at this moment, the clay bug exploded. The powerful explosion directly blew the pirate into pieces, not even the scum was left. What? This? The other pirate stared with big eyes, looking at the big pit in front of him in disbelief. Why did a person who was just fine suddenly explode? Could it be because of this kind of bug? Just when he was about to shout, a clay grasshopper jumped towards him. Boom! The shout turned into a scream, which was drowned out by the explosion. These two explosions were like signals, and more explosions rang out on Hongjing Island. Boom boom boom! A huge explosion echoed across the island. Looking from the sky, countless sparks are flashing on the red crystal island. Each spark was followed by a huge explosion. Many pirates didn't even have a chance to react before they were blown to pieces. Haha, <laughs> Uncle Scorpion, have you seen it? This is my art. Art is explosion. High in the sky, Diodera looked at the continuous bombardment of Red Crystal Island and said with a look of obsession. Hum, eternity is art. I just hope you don't ruin my material. Zhang Yu, who played the role of Red Sand Scorpion, snorted coldly. Damn it, what's going on? Where is the enemy? Where is the enemy? At this time, Ultai and Peggy Wan also rushed over. They looked at the explosion of Red Crystal Island and shouted loudly with ugly faces. The two of them were ordered by Kaido the Beast to guard the island. Now Hongjing Island was attacked by the enemy and was bombed beyond recognition. How could the two of them not be angry? At this moment, two clay grash hoppers jumped towards the two of them. The two of them also reacted very quickly and caught the two clay grash hoppers casually. What is this? What a strange insect! Just as the two of them were looking at the two clay grash hoppers strangely, Diodera in the sky also spotted the two of them. Art is explosion. Ah! Boom! The two clay grash hoppers exploded with a bang and the powerful impact knocked them away. However, the two of them are users with animal devil fruit abilities. Has very strong defense and recovery capabilities. Although the sudden explosion caught them off guard and made them very embarrassed, it did not hurt either of them. Instead, they discovered Diodera and the Red Sand Scorpion in the sky. Damn, the enemy is in the sky. Their eyes quickly noticed the Red Sand Scorpion and Diodera in the sky. Such clothes. Not from the Big Mom Pirates. They are people from the Akatsuki Organization. Akatsuki Organization. I'm looking for them. How dare they attack us? After recognizing the identities of the Red Sand Scorpion and Diodera, Ultai and Peguin became angry. The two of them didn't think much and directly unleashed the power of their devil fruit. Pachycephalosaurus form. Spinosaurus form. With two angry dragon roars, the two of them transformed directly into dinosaurs, then jumped up and attacked Diodera and the Red Sand Scorpion in the sky. However, the clay bird was very fast and easily dodged the two attacks. Devil Fruit User? Diodera, leave these two to me. Both of them qualify as my collection. 
Zhang Yu looked at these two dinosaurs and instantly became interested. If the two of them are made into adult puppets, the performance progress of Red Sand Scorpion should be able to reach 90%. Since Uncle Scorpion is interested in them, let's leave it to Uncle Scorpion. I'll continue to show my art. For Deodera, explosion is his art. He prefers explosions to fighting. Zhang Yu fell from the clay bird, and Deodera controlled the bird and continued to create explosions in the distance. Member of the Akatsuki organization, you dare to attack the territory of the beast pirates. You are simply seeking death. I will tear you apart today. Since you have escaped Master Jack's pursuit, let us deal with you today. When Altai and Peguin saw Zhang Yu, they immediately surrounded him. Haha, are you talking about Drought Jack? So today I will let you see my art. Man Puppet, Drought Jack. Zhang Yu opened a scroll, and after a burst of smoke, Drought Jack, who had turned into a human puppet, appeared in front of Zhang Yu. What? This is. How can this be? This is Drought Lord Jack. What did you do to Lord Jack? Ultai and Peggy Wan were very surprised to see Drought Jack appearing in front of Zhang Yu. Now he is my collection. A chakra line appeared in Zhang Yu's hand, directly connected to Drought Jack. Zhang Yu's fingers moved slightly, and Drought Jack, who was originally in a sculptural state, came to life. Drought Jack, give me a fence. Under Zhang Yu's order, Drought Jack rushed directly towards the two of them. Damn it, how is this possible? How could he control Master Jack? Peggy Wan struggled to block Drought Jack's attack and said in disbelief. Drought Jack, this is the big sign of the Beast Pirates, and he is simply not something that he, the Flying Six, can fight against. Facing the huge drought in front of Jack, Peggy instinctively felt fear. No, this Drought Jack, he has no life. He should have killed Lord Jack and taken control of Lord Jack's body. This is just a corpse, it shouldn't have Lord Jack's power. Ultai carefully observed the drought and Jack immediately said. There is no power from Lord Jack. Then there's nothing to be afraid of. Hearing her sister's words, the fear in Peggy Wan's eyes disappeared and she regained her fighting spirit. For a devil fruit user like Drought Jack, the most powerful thing is his Devil Fruit ability. After losing his Devil Fruit ability, although Drought Jack is also very amazing, he is not so scary. Yet. Then let you experience the power of eternal art. Mammoth Fruit Under Zhang Yu's control, the Drought Jack puppet immediately activated its Demon Story ability. A terrifying aura erupted from Drought Jack's body, and his whole body expanded rapidly. Roar with a huge elephant cry, Drought Jack transformed into a giant mammoth. This, mammoth fruit ability. How can this be? Drought Jack is dead. How can I still use the power of devil fruit? Peggy Wan and Ruatai looked at the huge mammoth in front of them in surprise. In the world of One Piece, as long as a person dies, they will lose their devil fruit abilities. According to their two understandings, now that Drought Jack is dead and turned into a puppet, his Devil Fruit abilities should be gone. But now the puppet in front of him can actually use the power of Devil Fruit, which is completely beyond his understanding. See, this is my art. Timeless art. Seeing the surprised expressions of the two of them, Red Sand Scorpion said with a crazy and excited look. This is the power of the Red Sand Scorpion, or the power of the human puppet. You can retain the appearance you had in life and use all the powers you had in life. In the One Piece world, the most numerous people are those with Devil Fruit abilities. Therefore, the Red Sand Scorpion can rely on the technology of the human puppet to allow these Devil Fruit users to retain their Devil Fruit abilities during their lifetimes. You too will soon become my collection just like him. Under the control of Zhang Yu, Drought Jack, who transformed into a giant mammoth, attacked Peguin and Ultai. Bang, bang. With two huge collisions, Peguin and Ultai were knocked away. But the two people reacted very quickly and quickly got up from the ground. 
attack the giant mammoth in front of you again. For those with animal devil fruit abilities, the way to fight is very simple, that is, the collision of power, the attack of fangs and claws, and the fighting like a beast. Among them, Ultai transformed into the form of a hammer-headed dragon and crashed directly into Drought Jack. The huge force caused the mammoth to sway from side to side. And Peggy transformed into the form of a Spinosaurus, with sharp fangs and claws attacking Drought Jack. And where is Drought Jack? Now he is in mammoth form. Mammoths have rough skin and thick flesh, and are best at defense and strength. For a while, the three of them were fighting together. The sounds of roaring, biting, and collisions are endless. Although all three of them are devil fruit users. But obviously Peggy Wan and Ultai, who are flying six cells, are no match for Drought Jack. Therefore, the battle did not take long. Peggy Wan and Ultai vomited blood and were covered with injuries. Damn it, Drought Jack's power is too powerful, we are no match at all. Escape quickly and report what happened here to Boss Kaido. The Akatsuki organization attacked our beast pirates. Ultai said a few words to Peggy Wan and the two began to retreat into the distance. Obviously the two of them were planning to escape. Hey, can you run away? Of course Zhang Yu would not let the collection run away. With a move of his finger, he controlled Drought Jack and launched another attack. Poison Needle Launch Drought Jack's mammoth's trunk flicked hard, and a poisonous needle shot out. Since Drought Jack has now become a human puppet, of course Zhang Yu also added various mechanisms into it. Swish swish. Countless poisonous needles hit Peguin and Ultai who were escaping like raindrops. Ah, ah. There were two screams, and Peguin and Ultai were hit by poisonous needles. The violent poison entered their bodies, and their bodies were immediately paralyzed and fell to the ground. Just after Zhang Yu solved the two of them, a huge explosion sounded across Hongjing Island. Countless buildings exploded in the distance, sparks flew all over the sky, and the entire island shook. Countless pirates from the Beast Pirates were directly killed in the explosion. There is no doubt that Deodara did all of this. It can be said that under the attack of Zhang Yu and Deodara, the entire Red Crystal Island has changed beyond recognition. The power of the Beast Pirates on Red Crystal Island was wiped out. Boom! What did you say? Tell me again. Beast Kaido kept roaring, his bell-like eyes glaring at the pirate in front of him. Facing the roaring Kaido in front of him, this pirate was frightened and trembling. As a member of the beast's pirates, he knows very well how terrifying the angry beast's Kaido is. Boss Kaido, this is all true. The Akatsuki organization destroyed Red Crystal Island and killed Lord Drought Jack, Peggy Wan, and Ultai turning them into puppets that could be manipulated. The pirate looked at Kaido of the Beasts carefully and said, Bastard, Akatsuki Organization! How dare you kill my people! Damn it, damn it, I'm going to kill you, kill you! The angry beast Kaido kept roaring, and a violent breath burst out from his body. The pirate next to him was directly knocked away by this powerful force. The pirates in the entire territory were very scared when they felt the aura emanating from Kaido the Beast. How is this going? Who actually offended Boss Kaido? I heard it's the Akatsuki Organization. The Akatsuki Organization not only robbed our Beast Pirates of things, but also killed Lord Drought Jack and two of the two Flying Six. What? How dare the Akatsuki Organization kill us, the Beast Pirates? The Akatsuki organization is provoking us, the Beast Pirates, and we must not let them go. That's right. For a time, all the members of the Beast Pirates hated the Akatsuki organization. This is the Beast Pirates, a group of crazy people who dare to attack any enemy. Just like the three disasters in the original work, they dared to attack directly even though they were no match for the four emperors and the navy. Roar Along with a huge roar, a giant dragon was seen rising into the sky and winding continuously in the sky. The sky was covered with dark clouds, lightning flashed, and thunder rolled. This is the ability of Hayaku Shao Kaido, 
transforming into a dragon form and flying quickly towards the distance. It seems that Hayaku Shao Kaido is seeking revenge against members of the Akatsuki organization. And what is Zhang Yu doing who caused all this? At this time, Zhang Yu is selecting new characters. After destroying the Red Crystal Island and making Peggy Wan and his sister Ultai into human puppets, the Red Sand Scorpion's role-playing proficiency has reached 90%, and new role-playing characters can be drawn. Drawing new characters, Zhang Yu now has two choices. The first method is undoubtedly to conduct an Akatsuki organization extraction and extract the actors of the Akatsuki organization. The second type is random selection, and any character in the world is selected to play. Um. Zhang Yu thought for a moment and finally chose to draw randomly. Through the previous few performances, the Akatsuki organization already has the six paths of pain, the immortal duo, and the art duo. Such strength is enough to support the appearance of the Akatsuki organization. Therefore, Zhang Yu wanted to try to see if he could draw other powerful characters. You must know that there are many people in the world of Wanja who are more powerful than the Akatsuki organization. The system randomly selects the role-playing characters. Ding, the role-playing character is being drawn. As a series of mechanical sounds fell in his mind, figures flashed through Zhang Yu's mind. The speed of these figures was so fast that Zhang Yu couldn't tell which figure he was about to extract. To be honest, Zhang Yu was also very worried about the character he was about to draw. It's okay if you draw a strong character, but if you draw a weak chicken, it will be troublesome. Just when Zhang Yu was feeling anxious, the figure in his mind stopped. In the end, it was tentatively settled on a figure. This is. He has short brown hair, black rimmed glasses, a gentle smile on his lips, and holds a long sword with a light green handle in his hand. This is a man who looks very gentle, but in the eyes of this gentle man, there is a sharp light of ambition. It's him, after seeing this figure clearly, Zhang Yu's face lit up. At the same time, the sound of the system also sounded. Ding! Congratulations to the host for picking up the character, the god of death Aizen Sosuke. Character played by, Sosuke Aizen. A genius in the world of death, who has mastered all the abilities of death and possesses the powerful power to break the boundary between death and hollow. Although the system's introduction to this new character is very brief, this also shows how powerful this character is. Genius, almighty, powerful. These are Aizen's words. Zhang Yu didn't expect that his luck would be so good. The character he played this time was Aizen, the big boss of the Shinigami world. Among the worlds, the power of different worlds is also different. The most powerful among them is the Bleach world, followed by the Naruto world, and finally the One Piece world. Because of this, Zhang Yu can rely on defeating the Admiral who plays a member of the Akatsuki organization. And Aizen is the strongest among the strongest in the world of death. Start playing Sosuke Aizen. Zhang Yu smiled, and with a thought, a burst of smoke enveloped Zhang Yu. The next moment, the smoke dissipated, and a man with black rimmed glasses, short brown hair, and a gentle smile appeared. But behind this man's gentle smile, there is indeed unexpected conspiracy and power. At the same time, the panel in front of Zhang Yu also changed. The most powerful role-playing system. Host, Zhang Yu. Current role, Sosuke Aizen. Current progress, 10%. Possess abilities, Zanpakut Purification Crystal, Slashing Technique, Kid, White Fighting. Hey, boom. At this moment, a powerful aura burst out from Zhang Yu's body. The huge aura bombarded the island, causing the entire island to shake. But this is not the end yet, the violent aura continues to spread to the surroundings, and the sea also surges. This is the spiritual pressure of the Shinigami, the power of Aizen. Zhang Yu now feels like an unsheathed sword, able to easily defeat any enemy. With only 10% of Aizen's power, he already possesses this incredible power. Just when Zhang Yu was excited, a huge dragon roar came from the distant sky. 
In the sky, a giant dragon snaked towards him. This giant dragon in the sky is undoubtedly Kaido. After hearing that members of the Akatsuki organization destroyed his island and killed his own people, Kaido the beast became very angry and directly transformed into a dragon form to settle the score with the members of the Akatsuki organization. But when Kaido came to Red Crystal Island, he found no trace of the Akatsuki organization, only ruins. But at this moment, Kaido of the Beasts felt a powerful aura. He didn't think much and rushed over directly. From Kaido's point of view, anyone who dares to burst out such a powerful aura in his own territory is a provocation to him. So Kaido of all beasts rushed over quickly. Dragon. Wrong. Seeing this giant dragon in the sky, Zhang Yu was also stunned, but Zhang Yu quickly remembered something. Couldn't this be Kaido of the Hundred Beasts? If Zhang Yu remembers correctly, Kaido of all beasts can transform into a giant dragon if he wants to. Now this is Kaido's territory. There is no doubt that this dragon is Kaido. Roar. Hot breath. After seeing Zhang Yu, Kaido of the Hundred Beasts didn't think much. He took a deep breath with his huge dragon head, then exhaled forcefully, and a stream of hot breath rushed towards Zhang Yu. The power of the heat breath is so amazing that it leaves a huge ravine along the way. Well, welcome. I'll use you to try Aizen's power. Facing Kaido's powerful attack, Zhang Yu did not dodge, but slowly drew out the sword from his waist. Just when this hot breath was about to hit Zhang Yu, Zhang Yu finally made a move. Cut. Zhang Yu slashed hard with the long sword in his hand, and a huge sword energy suddenly appeared. The powerful sword energy was like cutting through the sky, directly defeating the heat in front of him and cutting it in half. At the same time, the offensive continued unabated and attacked Kaido of the Hundred Beasts. Zhang Yu is now playing Aizen. For Aizen, a strong man, he is proficient in any fighting method, whether it is swordsmanship, white fighting, or the ghost way of death, he is very proficient in it. This ordinary blow has the attack power of a great swordsman. What? Kaido of the Hundred Beasts obviously did not expect that his heat breath could be defeated so easily, and he even forgot to dodge for a moment. Boom! The powerful sword energy hit Kaido's dragon head hard, making a huge impact sound. Roar! Kaido in the sky let out a scream, quickly fell from the sky, and hit the ground hard. The ground was like an earthquake, with bursts of roaring sounds and a cloud of dust boiling up. After the smoke passed, Kaido, who had returned to his human form, came out dragging his mace with an angry look on his face. Go to hell! Thunder gossip! After seeing Zhang Yu, Kaido of the Hundred Beasts didn't say much. He held a huge mace and headed directly towards Zhang Yu. The huge mace was wrapped with lightning and under Kaido's powerful power, it exploded with astonishing destructive power. Flash! Facing Kaido's attack, Zhang Yu's body disappeared instantly, easily dodging Kaido's attack. The huge mace hit the ground hard. Boom! There was a huge explosion, and a large crater appeared directly on the ground. The powerful impact centered on the big pit and spread rapidly to the surrounding areas. There were cracks on the ground and the entire island shook. What a powerful force, is this the power of the four emperors? Seeing Kaido's attack, Zhang Yu thought in his heart. Zhang Yu has been in the world of pirates for some time, and has also fought against navy admirals and various powerful men from the Shishibukai. But these powerful men in the past are simply incomparable to Kaido, the four emperors in front of him. Any strike of the four emperors has the power to break mountains and rocks. However, Zhang Yu is no longer the same Zhang Yu at this time. Zhang Yu is currently playing Aizen in the Shinigami. Cut. Zhang Yu slashed out with his sword again. The huge sword energy hit Kaido of the Hundred Beasts, and directly knocked Kaido of the Hundred Beasts away. Boom. Kaido's huge body flew backwards and hit the ground creating a huge deep pit. However, Kaido the beast is worthy of being called an immortal monster by the world. 
he suffered two fierce attacks from Zhang Yu in a row and was not injured. Asshole, go to hell! With a huge roar, Kaido of the Beasts climbed out of the pit and continued to rush towards Zhang Yu. Soon, Kaido and Zhang Yu fought. The sound of the two people's collision quickly spread to the surroundings. Although the waters around Red Crystal Island are the territory of the Beast Pirates, there is no shortage of merchant ships coming and going. Because, even if the Yonko Pirates want to develop, they still need to conduct business transactions. And as the Red Crystal Island is rich in red crystals, it is an important island that is the source of income for the Beast Pirates. Several merchant ships appear here every day, transporting red crystals here. It is precisely because of this that Kaido of the Beasts pays so much attention to Red Crystal Island. When I heard that Hongjing Island was under attack, I rushed over immediately. Today, five huge merchant ships arrived in the waters near Hongjing Island. There are tough-looking sailors on the ship, and there are even a few devil fruit users. The New World is a place where the strong are respected. Only the strong can survive. Therefore, even if they are merchant ships, they still have good combat effectiveness. Rumble At this time, there were sudden bursts of huge explosions in the distance. The powerful movement shook the surrounding sea, instantly attracting the attention of everyone on the merchant ship. How is this going? What happened? What a big noise, this is coming from the Red Crystal Island ahead. What are you waiting for? Let's go take a look. These five merchant ships rushed towards Hongjing Island quickly. But when they approached Red Crystal Island, they found that the entire island had completely changed. This, is this really Red Crystal Island? We couldn't have come to the wrong place. The location is correct. This is indeed the navigation pointer of Hongjing Island. But how did Hongjing Island become like this? This is not the first time these merchant ships have come to Hongjing Island, but now that they see this fragmented island, it is difficult for them to associate it with Hongjing Island. Boom! Just when they were wondering, there was a huge noise. A huge sword energy burst out from the island. After the sword energy passed, a huge black shadow fell from the sky and hit one of the merchant ships. Be careful, something fell from the sky. Get out of the way. No, I can't escape. Boom. With a huge impact, the black shadow hit a merchant ship hard, smashing the merchant ship into pieces. How is this going? What is this? Just when everyone was confused, a huge figure crawled out from the ruins of the merchant ship. This. Kaido of all beasts. Yonko Kaido. The people on the merchant ship were all stunned when they saw this huge figure, and some even trembled all over. Kaido of the Hundred Beasts, this is the four emperors of the New World. For people like them, this is a disaster like existence. It is said that Kaido is so cruel that anyone who dares to offend him will be killed by him. But Kaido of the Hundred Beasts ignored them. Instead, he crawled out of the ruins and roared at a figure in the distance. Damn it, I'm going to kill you, kill you. A violent aura erupted from Kaido's body, holding a huge mace in his hand, and rushed towards the figure. At this time, the people on these merchant ships reacted. At this time, Kaido of the Hundred Beasts was fighting with people. Facing the roaring beast Kaido, Zhang Yu looked calm and said slowly. Stop bluffing, it only shows your weakness. As soon as Zhang Yu finished speaking, the long sword in his hand slashed out again. A huge sword energy burst out and hit Kaido of the Hundred Beasts hard. Kaido the Beast flew backwards. Zhang Yu is now playing Aizen, and as the most charming boss among the Shinigami, Aizen is proficient in various powers. It's just that Zhang Yu doesn't need to use other abilities at all now. Just relying on swordsmanship, Zhang Yu can completely suppress Kaido of the Beasts. Aizen's swordsmanship is so powerful that every slash can easily knock Kaido away. But Kaido the Beast is indeed a monster that is said to be immortal. After suffering so many attacks in a row, Kaido the Beast is actually fine. Every time after being knocked away, he would get up again and attack Zhang Yu crazily. 
Facing Kaido's attack, Zhang Yu immediately responded with slashes. This can also be used to quickly improve Aizen's performance progress. And the people on the merchant ship felt incredible when they saw Kaido of the beasts being beaten like a sandbag by Zhang Yu. Oh my god! Did I read that right? This is really Kaido. It looks like he's being beaten. I also saw it, who is this person? He actually has such powerful swordsmanship. Even Hawkeye, the greatest swordsman in the world, cannot have such powerful swordsmanship. In the world of One Piece, the world's most recognized swordsman is Jorakol Mihawk, also known as Hawkeye. But even Hawkeye couldn't beat Kaido like a punching bag. In the sky of the two-person battle island, a giant albatross is flying. The albatross discovered the battle here, flew over quickly, landed in a place with a wide field of vision, and turned into a bird man. This is Kaido the Beast. Someone is actually beating Kaido of the Beasts. Big news, this is big news. Morgans, who turned into a bird man, immediately took out his camera and started taking pictures quickly. Morgans is one of the leaders of the Dark World in the One Piece world and the president of the World Economic News Agency. His main business is to find out various secrets and publish newspapers. All newspapers in the One Piece world are controlled by him, and he takes both black and white. He has great power in both the pirates and the navy. During this period, the emergence of this powerful force of the Akatsuki organization also became the main target of Morgan's report. It's just that the members of the Akatsuki organization are too mysterious. Even with his intelligence network, the information he can find about the Akatsuki organization is very limited. When he heard that members of the Akatsuki organization appeared in the territory of Kaido, the Four Emperors and Hundred Beasts, he rushed over immediately. What he never expected was that he found no trace of the Akatsuki organization, but instead saw someone beating up the Four Emperors here. He immediately stopped and began to collect first-hand information. Boom, boom, boom. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. On the island, the battle between Zhang Yu and Beast Kaido is still going on with Zhang Yu. Zhang Yu relied on his powerful swordsmanship to easily knock Kaido away with every attack. And what about Kaido the Beast? Relying on his strong defense and recovery ability, he got up from the ground as if nothing was wrong every time, and then attacked Zhang Yu crazily. As for the people on the merchant ships in the distance, they are completely dumbfounded now. Is this really Hayaku Shao Kaido? This is too unbelievable. Kaido, one of the majestic four emperors, is now being beaten up like a gang of sandbags. What kind of swordsmanship is this? It's so powerful. I feel more powerful than the world's greatest swordsman. In the hearts of these people, Kaido, the four emperors and hundred beasts, is an invincible existence, an invincible existence, and an existence that cannot be provoked. And Kaido, who is extremely powerful in his heart, is being beaten like a sandbag. How can they not be surprised? They even feel like they are in a dream now. At the same time, they are also very curious. Who is this person who is beating up Kaido of the Beasts? Why have I never heard of such a strong man before? Even Morgans, who was hiding in the dark and collecting first-hand information, looked at everything in front of him in disbelief, but he was more excited. Big news, just big news. Kaido, one of the four emperors, is being beaten violently. No, I must film all the fighting processes. As one of the leaders of the Dark World, Morgans is not interested in fighting. Instead, he likes to collect all kinds of information, then fabricate it and compile it into news for publication. In the original work, Luffy was made up to be the fifth emperor, and it was his handwriting. But now that he saw someone beating up the four emperors, he was even more excited, pressing the camera and taking pictures. Such battles are not seen often. The long sword in Zhang Yu's hand slashed Kaido away again and again. Every time Kaido was slashed, Zhang Yu looked at his system panel, and Aizen's performance progress improved a bit. But after slashing Kaido hundreds of times in a row, 
Zhang Yu found that the progress of the performance was no longer increasing. But it makes sense to think about it. Aizen Sosuke is the big boss of the Shinigami world. How could he improve his proficiency so easily? It seems that relying on beating Kaido of the Beasts to improve progress is no longer possible. Since Kaido of the Hundred Beasts can no longer improve the play progress, then Kaido of the Hundred Beasts is useless. Kaido, you are no longer useful. Now you can get out. The long sword in Zhang Yu's hand slashed at Kaido of the Beasts again. This time Zhang Yu used all his strength, and a sky-lifting sword energy suddenly came out. This sword energy was like cutting through the sky, attacking Kaido of the Hundred Beasts. Facing this extremely exaggerated sword energy, Kaido of the Hundred Beasts tried to dodge but had no time to dodge. He could only watch helplessly as the sword energy struck towards him. Boom! With a huge impact, Kaido flew backwards and quickly disappeared into the sky, turning into a star point and disappearing without a trace. After beating Kaido away, just when Zhang Yu was about to leave, Zhang Yu seemed to notice something. Who? Get out of here. Zhang Yu looked towards the hiding place of Morgans. Oops, discovered. Albatross form. Realizing that his identity was exposed, Morgans didn't panic, his body quickly changed, turning into a huge albatross, and he jumped out like a rocket. Morgans is a user with the albatross devil fruit ability, and his best ability is flying speed. Relying on this extremely fast speed, it would be very difficult for the world government, navy, and even the four emperors to catch him. It is precisely because of this devil fruit ability that he can quickly reach anywhere in the world, collect various gossips, and fabricate various reports. If you want to run away, stay with me. Six Pillar Light Prison Zhang Yu pointed at the fleeing Morgans in the sky, and a powerful ghost path was released from the power of death. With Morgans at the center, six pieces of light suddenly appeared and struck him fiercely, completely locking his movements. What? What ability is this? Not good. His body suddenly stiffened, and Morgans fell directly from the sky and fell hard to the ground. A big bird. Who are you? Looking at the long sword in his hand inserted in front of Morgans, he asked in a bad tone. Your Excellency. Your Excellency. I am Morgans, a reporter. I saw that Your Excellency is fighting Kaido, so I took the liberty to report on it. Morgans looked at Zhang Yu and said flatteringly. Now Morgans doesn't look like the leader of the Dark World. Instead, he looks like a husky. Morgans had no choice but to give in. His best speed was no longer effective. Moreover, the person in front of me is a person who can beat up the four emperors and hundred beasts Kaido. I have no power to resist in front of this person. Reporter? I don't know how you are going to report on me, Zhang Yu looked at Morgans and asked with a smile. Although Zhang Yu's smile looked very gentle, Morgans was indeed extremely frightened now. Because the person in front of me has the power to kill him at any time. Sir? I will definitely report your information well, Morgan said quickly. I hope so. Otherwise, I think you know the consequences, Zhang Yu released Morgan's from his restraints. Morgan's, who had regained his freedom, did not leave. Instead, he looked at Zhang Yu respectfully and asked. I don't know what to call this gentleman. Aizen, my name is Aizen Soyajuk. Zhang Yu replied and disappeared directly here. Aizen? It seems that the newspaper will be a big seller this time, after Morgans confirmed that Zhang Yu had left, he soared into the sky and disappeared from the horizon. On a piece of sea not far from the territory of the Beast Pirates, a beautifully decorated ship was sailing. There are some superhuman food type devil fruit users on board. In the entire One Piece world, there is only one pirate group with such a configuration. That is the Big Mom Pirates, one of the four emperors. Is it really okay for us to come to the territory of the Beast Pirates this time? I heard that Hayak Kaido is a very violent person. Will he kill us? Do not worry. Mom is standing behind us. 
Mom is also one of the four emperors. Mom will definitely protect us. And we're not here to fight this time. We're here to discuss cooperation with the beast pirates on Mom's orders. You're right, Mom will protect us. No one dares to attack our Big Mom pirates. Just when everyone in the Big Mom pirates was nervously entering the waters of the beast pirates, a black figure fell quickly in the sky and hit his ship hard. Boom! The huge impact directly created a big hole in their ship, which shocked all the pirates on the ship. How is this going? What's going on? Something fell on board. Bastard, someone actually dares to attack our ship. Don't you know that we are members of the Big Mom Pirates? After a while, everyone in the Big Mom Pirates reacted and cursed continuously. At the same time, they all held weapons and walked towards the big hole in the ship. They wanted to see who dared to attack the Big Mom Pirates ship. But when they walked into the big pit, a huge figure came out. At the same time, a violent aura burst out and pressed towards them all. Suddenly, everyone felt as if a high mountain was pressing down on them, as if they were encountering a savage beast, which made them breathless. You, you are Lord Kaido. A pirate recognized Kaido's identity and said with a trembling voice. Hearing this man's voice, the other pirates were all shocked, staring in disbelief at the huge figure in front of them. What? He is the Yonko. Kaido, one of the four emperors. That's right, the person who fell into the ship was none other than Kaido. Although Zhang Yu's final blow was very powerful, it directly knocked Kaido away. But Kaido, the so-called immortal monster, could not be killed by Zhang Yu so easily. Kaido's powerful defense and amazing recovery ability blocked Zhang Yu's attack. However, the powerful attack power still sent Kaido flying backwards. It has been flying until now, and then it stopped. By chance, Kaido fell directly onto the ship. Lord Kaido. We are here to seek cooperation under Mom's orders. Although Kaido of the Hundred Beasts suddenly appeared in front of them, which made the people of the Big Mom Pirates very incredible, they did not forget this mission. The members of the Big Mom Pirates came to the territory of the Beasts Pirates this time because they came to the Beasts Pirates to seek cooperation on the orders of Charlotte Lingling, one of the four emperors. Cooperate? Go to TM's cooperation. Before the pirate could say anything, Kaido of all beasts swung his mace directly. Boom! The huge mace hit the man directly. The pirate didn't even have a chance to react before he was smashed into pieces. You, Haijo Kaido, what are you doing? We are mom's people, how dare you kill us? Seeing Kaido Kaido directly killing people, the other pirates all looked at Kaido Kaido in horror. Some timid people immediately moved Charlotte Lingling behind them out of fear, hoping to scare Kaido of the beasts. Bastard, how dare you threaten me? Anyone who threatens me will die. Before these pirates could finish speaking, Kaido's huge mace came around again. More than a dozen pirates were smashed into pieces again without even a chance to react. This group of Big Mom pirates are also unlucky. The current Kaido of the Hundred Beasts had just been beaten like a sandbag by Zhang Yu. He was in a state of rage and needed to vent his anger. And they actually used Charlotte Lingling's name to threaten Kaido of all beasts. This is simply asking for death. Boom boom boom. There was a huge explosion, and the Big Mom pirate ship was turned into ruins directly under the attack of Kaido the Beast. But this was not the end yet. Kaido of the Hundred Beasts came to a nearby island and directly launched an attack on the country on the island. After another round of destruction, which directly destroyed the country and sunk the island, the anger in Kaido's heart weakened a bit. With the speed of Morgans, in just one day, the battle between Zhang Yu and Beast Kaido appeared in the newspapers. The newspaper reported this. The great swordsman Aizen Sosuke defeated Kaido of the Hundred Beasts by himself. Kaido, the beast, has no power to resist in front of the swordsman Aizen. Is this the ultimate in swordsmanship? Master Aizen is the greatest swordsman in the world. Is Hawkeye's reputation as the world's greatest swordsman somewhat undeserved? 
I wonder if Hawkeye dares to accept Lord Eisen's swordsmanship challenge. With this report, Morgans also included a photo of Zhang Yu beating Kaido, making the newspaper more realistic. And because he saw Zhang Yu's strong strength, this time Morgans did not belittle Zhang Yu in the report, but praised Zhang Yu. You know, Zhang Yu was the only one who caught him. He is also afraid that Zhang Yu and Zhang Yu will settle accounts and cause trouble for him. And this newspaper swept across the entire sea like a huge wave, causing shock to all the forces on the sea. Especially when it fell into the hands of other four emperors, it made them feel incredible. On Cake Island, Charlotte Lingling, one of the four emperors, also quickly received the news that her ship was destroyed by Kaido the Beast. Bastard, Hayaku Shao Kaido, you madman, how dare you destroy my ship? Has he forgotten that she owes me one more time? Charlotte Lingling kept roaring, her voice shrill, spreading throughout the Cake Island. Hearing Charlotte Lingling's roaring voice, everyone on the Cake Island was trembling. Mom, the news about Hayaku Shao Kaido in the newspaper. Charlotte Katakuri carefully took out a newspaper and said. Hmm, news about this bastard Kaido. What did Kaido do again? Charlotte Lingling asked in a gloomy tone. Someone defeated Kaido. It was a swordsman named Aizen who relied on his powerful swordsmanship to defeat Kaido the Beast, Katakuri said immediately. Defeated Kaido, someone can actually defeat Kaido with swordsmanship. After hearing Katakuri's words, Charlotte Lingling suddenly became interested and immediately took the newspaper and started reading it. As an old acquaintance, Charlotte Lingling is very aware of Kaido's power. And now there is someone who can defeat Kaido the Beast by relying on swordsmanship. How can she not be surprised? Aizen. Swordsman. When did such a powerful person appear on the sea? First it was the Akatsuki organization, and then an unknown powerful swordsman appeared. No, contact Kaido again right away. I want to unite with him. Charlotte Lingling's goal is to rule the sea. Now, first a powerful and mysterious Akatsuki organization appeared on the sea, and now several strong men who fought against the four emperors appeared. As the four emperors, Charlotte Lingling also felt the crisis and needed strong allies. Whitebeard Pirates On the Moby Dick, Whitebeard held the newspaper in his hand and grinned. Haha, this guy Kaido was actually defeated. Marco the captain of the first team next to him, looked at the report in the newspaper and said very worriedly. Dad, Dad, this man can actually defeat Kaido, will he have any influence on us? Yes. He can actually defeat that monster Kaido with his sword skills. This man has surpassed the level of a great swordsman. If they go against us, we will be in a lot of trouble. The other squad captains looked at the report in the newspaper and said very worriedly. Kulala, let him come. I'll stay here. If you want to come to me, just come. I have a white beard. White beard said domineeringly, causing the worries on the faces of Marco and others to disappear, replaced by trusting smiles. But there is only one exception, and that is Teach. You know. Teach has always had the ambition to rule the sea. When he heard that the Akatsuki organization appeared on the sea, Teach began to investigate, hoping to discover the secrets of the Akatsuki organization. Unfortunately, the Akatsuki organization is too mysterious, and he did not find any useful information after investigating for a long time. And now there is a strong man who can beat Kaido of the beasts violently. How can he not be anxious? If this continues, when will I be able to realize my ambition to conquer the sea? No, my plan must be accelerated, Tiki thought with a plan in his mind. On the Great Waterway, on a certain island, the red-haired pirates, one of the four emperors, are settling here, waiting for the record pointer to be filled with magnetism. At this moment, a seagull flew over with a package hanging around its neck. The package contained today's newspapers. The newspaper is here. Jesus Bulletin, the sniper of the red-haired pirate group, took out a coin and threw it to the seagull. He took out a newspaper from the package and read it. 
The first thing that caught my eye was the violent beating of Kaido by Aizen played by Zhang Yu. How can this be? Kaido the beast was beaten violently. This is the four emperors. Jesus thought he was dazzled, rubbed his eyes, and looked at the newspaper again. As a member of the red-haired pirates, one of the four emperors, he is very aware of Kaido's strength. There was a conflict between the red-haired pirates and the beast pirates. Jesus Buletin, a sniper, fired directly at beast Kaido. But Kaido of the hundred beasts was hit by him, as if nothing happened. After confirming the contents of the newspaper again, Jesus Buletin shouted. Ah, the captain is not good. Read the newspaper quickly. Jesus, what's all the fuss about? Beckman asked strangely. Kaido, the beast, was beaten violently, Jesus Buletin said with a trembling voice. Kaido is that troublemaker. Did he provoke Whitebeard again? Beckman said indifferently. In their opinion, the only one in the entire sea who can beat Kaido of all beasts violently is Whitebeard, who is also the Yonko. Whitebeard, this is known as the most powerful man in the world, especially with the power of the shock fruit, he has the power to destroy the world. No, it's not Whitebeard, it's someone I've never heard of. A swordsman named Aizen Sosuke. A swordsman. After hearing Jesus Buletin's words, everyone in the red-haired pirate group gathered over curiously and looked at the newspaper. Oh my god! It's actually true. Look! The chop in the photo is so amazing. Kaido of all beasts has no power to resist at all. Captain, you are also a great swordsman, can you do this? Everyone in the red-haired pirate group looked at their leader. Their captain, red-haired Shanks, is a powerful swordsman. No, just relying on swordsmanship cannot defeat the monster Kaido. Red-haired Shanks thought for a moment and said, then he laughed while looking at the newspaper. I really didn't expect that such a powerful swordsman would appear on the sea. I think Hawkeye would be very happy. In a sea area, a coffin-like boat was drifting in the sea. A middle-aged man wearing a black hat with white fluff on his head, a burgundy-patterned shirt, a black windbreaker, white trousers and black short boots was sitting on the boat. The most eye-catching thing is that there is a huge black long sword behind him. This long sword is one of the twelve skills of the Supreme Knife, the strongest black sword, Knight. Being able to possess this long sword, the identity of this person is also very obvious. He is Hawkeye Jorakol Myhawk, known as the world's greatest swordsman. At this moment, a news pigeon flew over his head. Hawkeye raised his head and took a look. With a wave of his hand, a newspaper appeared in his hand. The first thing that caught my eye was the report about Zhang Yu. This is the great swordsman who defeated Kaido. Such a slash. The hawk-like eyes suddenly burst into light, and a sharp aura burst out from his body. The huge aura spreads around like sword energy. A sea king who had just jumped out of the sea and wanted to sneak attack Hawkeye was suddenly hit by the sword energy and cut into two halves. This piece of information couldn't help but thrill and excite Hawkeye. Being able to defeat Kaido of all beasts and beat him like a sandbag, there is no doubt that this man named Aizen is definitely a great swordsman with terrifying strength. Hawkeye finally found an opponent that excites him. As the world's greatest swordsman, Hawkeye has been lonely for a long time. Sometimes, being invincible is also a kind of loneliness. In the entire sea, the only one he could consider as his opponent was the red-haired Shanks, one of the Yonko who was also a swordsman. In the original book, the reason why Hawkeye cultivated Sauron, helped him grow, trained him, and taught him was because he hoped that there would be a great swordsman who could compete with others to be the best in the world. And now someone who he could regard as his opponent finally appeared on the sea. How could he not be excited? Aizen Sosuke relied on his powerful swordsmanship to beat Kaido the Beast. With such strength, he is definitely qualified to compete with himself for the throne of the world's greatest swordsman. Thinking of this, Hawkeye's small boat turned in the direction, accelerated and sailed quickly towards the distant sea. The Navy headquarters, the Admiral's office, 
Sengoku and several senior naval officials are studying the matter of world recruitment. How is the world recruitment going? Is there anyone suitable to join our navy? Navy Marshal Sengoku said to staff officer he in front of him. With the emergence of the Akatsuki Organization, several consecutive actions of the Akatsuki Organization have dealt a huge blow to the Navy and the world government. The situation at sea has also changed dramatically. In order to cope with the Akatsuki Organization and the changes in the sea, the Navy headquarters must improve its strength. For the Navy headquarters, the fastest way to improve its strength is to recruit troops from around the world. Recruit strong men from the sea to join the Navy headquarters. Hmm. During this period, we have recruited many Navy personnel below the school level. As for the strong men at the general level, they are either not strong enough or unqualified. It will take time to confirm, staff officer he thought for a while and said. The world recruitment is recruiting strong men for the Navy headquarters, so it has very strict rules. First of all, they must have strong power. There are very few such people in the sea. Secondly, they must meet the standards of a navy and have no criminal record. Such people are even rarer on the sea. The navy will never find some pirates to serve as the navy. Therefore, world conscription is also a very cumbersome matter. Hmm, need to speed up. The Akatsuki organization, this terrifying organization, must be planning something in the dark. Our Navy headquarters must improve its strength as soon as possible, warring states said in a deep tone. Report to the Marshal that there is urgent information about the four emperors of the New World, at this moment, a sailor came in and reported. The Yonko of the New World, what did they do, warring states took over the information sent by the Navy with a headache. Although the Akatsuki organization is now the primary target of the Navy headquarters, the Navy has not given up monitoring the four emperors of the New World. You must know that every Yonko pirate group has very terrifying power. If the four emperors react, the Navy headquarters will be notified and prepared in advance. This is, how is this possible? Warring states looked at the information in his hand with a surprised look, and couldn't help showing a shocked expression on his face. Warring states, what happened? Could it be that the four emperors of the New World have taken action? Seeing the sudden change in Sengoku's expression, staff officer he asked worriedly. Now the Akatsuki organization has made the Navy headquarters very busy. If the four emperors take another action, their Navy may not be able to cope with it. See for yourself. Warring states handed the information in his hand to staff officer he and others. The other navy also took a look immediately. When they saw someone beating Kaido of the beasts with just swordsmanship, many marines all exclaimed. Oh my god! Did I read that right? Someone actually beat Kaido of the beasts with just sword skills. This is the four emperors, and Kaido the beast is said to be immortal. These Navy executives were also very surprised when they saw the news that Zhang Yu beat Kaido violently. Especially when I saw that Zhang Yu was just a swordsman and did not use other abilities, but relied only on swordsmanship to defeat Kaido of the Hundred Beasts, I was even more shocked. In the Yonko Pirates, the strength of each Yonko is very terrifying. Among them, Kaido the Beast is known as an immortal existence and has very powerful defense and vitality. Its powerful defense and vitality can easily block the swordsman's slashes. Even if someone is able to defeat Kaido, he only relies on various weird devil fruit abilities. And now that they had defeated Kaido of the Hundred Beasts just by relying on swordsmanship, they all felt very incredible. What does this mean? This shows that this person named Aizen has reached an extremely superb level of swordsmanship. Maybe, we can recruit this person. Research this person's information and, if appropriate, extend an invitation to him or her. Our Navy headquarters must improve its strength as soon as possible. Although there are many powerful people in the One Piece world. But these strong men are either pirates, or they like freedom and have no interest in being a Navy. Now even if the Navy headquarters conducts a global recruitment, there are very few strong men that can be found, 
and there are even fewer navies who can meet the conditions to join the navy headquarters. Therefore, now that he saw a strong man who could defeat Kaido of the Hundred Beasts, Sengoku suddenly had an idea in his mind and wanted to invite this person named Aizen to join the navy headquarters. Aizen Sosuke. I haven't seen any wanted posters for him, so he doesn't look like a pirate. You can send someone to contact you. Who are you going to photograph? Staff officer he looked at Aizen's photo on the intelligence, thought for a moment and said. Let me go, at this time, Dao Tu stood up. He is a powerful swordsman, and I just want to see his swordsmanship. There are also many swordsmen in the Navy headquarters. Among them, Peach Rabbit is a powerful swordsman. For these swordsmen, their goal is to pursue higher swordsmanship. Therefore, now that they see Zhang Yu, a powerful swordsman who can defeat Kaido with his sword skills, they are all full of interest. Well, okay then. I'll leave this to you. Warring states thought for a while and directly agreed to Dao Tu's request. Dao Tu is a substitute for the general, and he is also very powerful. It is indeed very suitable for him to invite this powerful swordsman. Somewhere in the New World A medium-sized pirate ship cut through the sea and was heading straight, with a tattered pirate flag fluttering in the wind. The ship was stained with blood and looked like it had just experienced a battle. What is even more strange is that there is not a single pirate on the entire ship, only one man, facing the sea breeze. The man wore black-rimmed glasses, a long sword hanging from his waist, and a smile. It has been several days since Zhang Yu violently beat Kaido of the Beasts, and Zhang Yu has already left the territory of the Beasts pirates. As for this ship, Zhang Yu casually killed a pirate group and snatched it from their hands. As for the name of this pirate group, Zhang Yu didn't care. In the New World, there are many such pirate groups. One more is not too much, one less is not too much, and no one will care. These days, Zhang Yu has been thinking about how to improve the performance of the character Aizen. The character Aizen Sosuke played by Zhang Yu now is different from the member who plays the Akatsuki organization. Each member of the Akatsuki organization has their own hobbies and distinctive characteristics. For example, Kakuzu likes money and robbing hearts, Haydn likes self-mutilation and sacrificing death, Scorpion of Red Sand likes making puppets, and Deodara likes explosions. As the most charming and powerful boss among the Shinigami, Aizen has no obvious shortcomings or hobbies and is good at various abilities. He is an almost perfect person. It is precisely because of perfection that Zhang Yu has a huge headache. Ordinary fighting and killing enemies can no longer satisfy the progress of playing Aizen. To improve Aizen's performance, Zhang Yu must think of new ways. Zhang Yu's ship finally arrived at an island called Jiangang Island. This is a very ordinary island in the New World. It is named after a metal suitable for forging long swords produced on the island. Moreover, the forging technology on this island is also very excellent. Many famous swords were born here, so this island also attracted a large number of swordsmen. These swordsmen hope to find their own weapons here. Just when Zhang Yu landed on the island, a figure blocked Zhang Yu's way. He has short black hair, sharp eyes like eagle eyes, a black hat on his head, and a huge black knife on his back. There is no doubt that the person blocking Zhang Yu's path is none other than Hawkeye Jorakol Mai Hawk, known as the world's greatest swordsman. Hawkeye, Jorakol Mai Hawk. Aizen Sosuke. Zhang Yu and Eagle Eye recognized the identity of Dealer at the same time and named Dealer. Hawkeye stared at Zhang Yu with a pair of sharp eyes, and finally stopped at the long sword at Zhang Yu's waist. Fighting intense surged. Move. Although Hawkeye didn't say anything now, the fighting spirit constantly surging in him already explained his purpose. Even the black knife yet behind him let out a soft groan. It seemed that it's like being excited about meeting an opponent. Is this a challenge? Zhang Yu looked at the eagle eye in front of him, whose fighting spirit was surging, and the aura of swordsmanship was released at the same time. Although neither of them made any attack movements, their momentums had already collided. 
The auras of powerful swordsmen are colliding with each other, and they are constantly competing. The swordsman's momentum from the collision spread to the surroundings with the two as the center. This is the unique aura of a swordsman and belongs to the will of the great swordsman. Some swordsmen on this island also felt the powerful aura of the two men and were suddenly shocked. How is this going? Such a strong swordsman momentum. Who is he? Could it be that a powerful swordsman came to the island? Look at them both. That weapon. Isn't that Black Knife Knight? Black Sword Knight, isn't that man the greatest swordsman in the world? Then who is the person opposite him? It actually allows Hawkeye to challenge. I know him, he is Sosuke Aizen, the man who just relied on swordsmanship to beat Kaido the Beast. Oh my god! What are they two going to do? Are the two of them going to face off here? Big news, big news, the world's greatest swordsman Hawkeye challenges Sosuke Aizen. Soon, everyone on the entire island gathered. Watch this upcoming showdown of the century. Take action. I've been waiting for a long time. Hawkeye's aura shrank rapidly, and the powerful sword intent followed his action of drawing out the sword and filled the black sword knight. Hawkeye has been looking forward to this battle for a long time. Ever since he sat on the throne of the world's greatest swordsman, he hadn't been so excited for a long time. Just when Hawkeye and Aizen were about to fight, a naval battleship appeared on the distant sea. The naval battleship docked and the Navy General replaced Lieutenant General Peach Rabbit and landed on the island. Behind her followed a dozen Marines, all of whom were dressed as swordsmen. When they heard that Momota was coming to invite the powerful swordsman Aizen, all the swordsmen in the Navy headquarters became excited and wanted to follow Momoto out to sea. Among them are the more famous Lieutenant General Flying Squirrel, Lieutenant General Ghost Spider and others. As swordsmen, whether they are marines or pirates, their goal is the same, to become a powerful swordsman. And now Zhang Yu relied on swordsmanship to beat Kaido the Beast. In their hearts, Zhang Yu was a powerful swordsman, and they all wanted to see Zhang Yu's swordsmanship. How is this going? What happened on this island? Seeing countless swordsmen running towards the distance, Dao Tu stopped one swordsman and immediately asked. You don't know it yet. The world's first great swordsman, Hawkeye, is about to challenge Aizen Sosuke. The swordsman said something and left here directly. After hearing this news, all the navy suddenly became energetic. Sir Peach Rabbit, I really didn't expect that our luck would be so good. You can watch the battle between the world's first great swordsman Hawkeye and Sosuke Aizen. So what are you waiting for? Let's go quickly. This swordsman's battle may be related to the ownership of the throne of the world's greatest swordsman. Under the leadership of Dao Tu, all the navy also came to the vicinity of the battle area between Hawkeye and Zhang Yu. At this time, the place was already crowded with people, but there was no one around the place where Eagle Eye and Zhang Yu were. There was no one even within a radius of ten miles. Even if there were people, they had fled early, leaving a large open space. These swordsmen are not stupid either. Whether it is Hawkeye or Zhang Yu, these are extremely powerful swordsmen. If the two of them fight, it will definitely be very fierce and earth-shattering. If you get close, you may be killed directly by the aftermath of the fight between the two. That's our goal this time. Aizen Sosuke. He looks like a gentle man. Dao Tu looked at Zhang Yu from a distance and said. From the beginning to the end, Zhang Yu stood there very calmly, smiling and pushing up the black-rimmed glasses on the bridge of his nose. Want to challenge me? Then let your horse come over. Looking at the high-spirited eagle eye in front of him, Zhang Yu said in a very calm tone. The tone seemed like he was doing something very ordinary, and he didn't take this battle seriously at all. But it makes sense to think about it, Zhang Yu is now playing Aizen Sosuke. For Aizen, the big boss, everything is under his control. This battle is indeed not in his eyes. Um. If that's the case, then I won't be polite. Seeing Zhang Yu's calm gaze, Hawkeye was startled, 
but he didn't think much about it and slashed directly at Zhang Yu with the long sword in his hand. Hawkeye is indeed worthy of the title of the world's greatest swordsman. The black knife cuts out. The earth shook. The ground suddenly exploded, and along with a roar, a terrifying crescent-shaped sword energy rose from the ground. Tearing the earth apart, cutting off the air, destroying everything it goes. This is the slash of Hawkeye, the greatest swordsman in the world. Powerful and full of destruction. Whoosh! In an instant, this huge slash had arrived in front of Zhang Yu. But facing Hawkeye's fierce slash, Zhang Yu made no move to dodge, as if he didn't see the slash. How is this going? Why didn't this person fight back? He couldn't be scared. The greatest swordsman in the world, his strength is truly extraordinary. The people watching the battle all around looked at Zhang Yu strangely. Hawkeye has already made a move, why doesn't Zhang Yu fight back? He couldn't be frightened. Just when everyone was confused, Hawkeye's slash had already rushed in front of Zhang Yu. The powerful slash set off a strong wind and blew toward Zhang Yu. Just when the slash was about to hit Zhang Yu, Zhang Yu finally made a move. Rub. The long sword was unsheathed, and the light flashed. A crescent sword energy soared into the sky, directly defeating Eagle Eye's sword energy, and at the same time, the offensive continued unabated and rushed towards Eagle Eye. What? Facing the charged sword energy, Eagle Eye's reaction was also very fast. Not to be outdone, the black sword in his hand quickly slashed away. Hey, boom! The sword energy slashed through. Like tearing apart the air, two terrifying slashes collided thousands of meters away from the island. Rumble! The terrifying slashing explosion swept up, and layers of violent air waves spread to the surroundings. The sea water was boiling and the waves were turbulent. After the blow, a sharp light flashed in the eagle's eyes, and he rushed directly towards Zhang Yu with a black knife in his hand. The speed was extremely fast, like a stream of light, leaving an afterimage in its place. In an instant, he was in front of Zhang Yu. Cut. The black knife tore through the air and slashed towards Zhang Yu. The powerful swordsmanship even seemed to make the surrounding air a bit sharper. Facing Hawkeye's attack, Zhang Yu faced him again with the long sword in his hand. Dang dang dang! A series of impacts rang out. The weapons in the hands of Zhang Yu and Hawkeye kept colliding. Every time there was a collision, a powerful slashing aftermath erupted, continuously blasting into the distance. The ground exploded and huge ravines stretched across the ground. The sharp sword energy filled every corner, and the entire island was shaking. Countless pirates, swordsmen, and navy spectators were all immersed in the terrifying strength of these two people. This, this is too exaggerated. Could this be the power of the great swordsman? So terrifying, such terrifying strength. This powerful destructive power has caught up with the power of devil fruit. In the world of One Piece, Devil Fruits possess various magical powers and can give people powerful strength. Because of this, Devil Fruit is called the secret treasure of the sea. And after the later stages of Devil Fruit development, they have the power to destroy the world. And where is the swordsman? They are a group of people who practice swordsmanship and take powerful swordsmanship as their lifelong pursuit. But no matter how much you practice swordsmanship, it is still difficult to surpass the ability of the Devil Fruit. It is even said that many powerful swordsmen will still seek the power of Devil Fruit for the sake of strength. And now, I see the battle between Zhang Yu and Hawkeye. Every blow had the power to break mountains and rocks, and every collision unleashed an astonishing impact. Now the power of the two of them fighting is simply more powerful than those with Devil Fruit abilities. Boom boom boom. Hawkeye holds the Black Sword Knight and continuously attacks Zhang Yu. The huge crescent sword Qi slashed towards Zhang Yu one after another, and it looked like it was going to drown Zhang Yu. But in the face of this fierce attack, Zhang Yu easily knocked away the blows. After missing a hit, Hawkeye struck at Zhang Yu again. Boom boom boom! 
The fierce battle between the two caused the entire island to shake violently, and the roar was endless. The people watching the battle all around were terrified when they saw such a fierce battle. It's so awesome! Is this the power of the world's greatest swordsman? This kind of slash is too violent. Look, the man named Aizen has been suppressed. He seems to have no power to resist at all. It seems that the world's greatest swordsman is still Hawkeye. No, that's not right. This person named Aizen didn't seem to move at all when faced with Hawkeye's attack. This, could it be that Aizen's swordsmanship is more powerful than Hawkeye's? That's right, Zhang Yu has not moved since the battle. Even in the face of such a fierce slashing attack from Hawkeye, Zhang Yu did not move at all. This is the power of Aizen Soyajuk. As a powerful boss in the world of death, his swordsmanship is extremely powerful. Even if he doesn't use other powers and only relies on swordsmanship, others can't defeat him. Is this the swordsmanship that surpasses the great swordsman? Hawkeye's sharp eyes flashed with fighting spirit, and his hands holding the black knife couldn't stop trembling with excitement. Hawkeye is a great swordsman in his own right, and the greatest swordsman in the world. Hawkeye holds the black sword knight in his hand. There is no swordsman in the entire sea who can be his opponent, and there are even fewer people who can become his opponent. Even if Hawkeye wants to continue to improve his swordsmanship, he can't do it. Because he has become the world's number one swordsman and cannot improve even if he wants to, his journey as a swordsman has come to an end. Today, facing Zhang Yu, Hawkeye launched his own powerful sword attack. After attacking for so long, Zhang Yu didn't move at all. There is no doubt that Zhang Yu's swordsmanship is very powerful, even surpassing that of the great swordsman. Facing the powerful Zhang Yu, Hawkeye was not only not afraid, but also very excited. What does this mean? This shows that there is a higher realm than the great swordsman, and his swordsmanship can continue to improve. Now Hawkeye is getting more and more excited, and the black knife in his hand continues to launch various violent slashes at Zhang Yu. When Eagle Eye Seeing attacked, Zhang Yu was not idle either. Zhang Yu looked at his attribute panel and observed Aizen's performance progress. When I first started fighting Hawkeye, my performance improved. But gradually, the performances stopped and stopped improving. It seems that fighting Hawkeye cannot quickly improve the performance progress. In this case, this battle can be over. The reason why Zhang Yu fought with Hawkeye was to improve his acting progress. But now that the progress of the role is no longer improving, Zhang Yu is no longer interested in this battle and plans to end the battle directly. Zhang Yu clenched his right hand hard and slashed towards Eagle Eye with his long sword. A crescent-like sword energy suddenly appeared, like piercing the sky, and attacked the Eagle Eye. No good, this slash. Facing this onslaught and slashing attack, Eagle Eye's sharp pupils suddenly shrank. The attack power of this slash was so powerful that even Hawkeye felt a strong pressure. Hawkeye held the huge black knife in front of him hoping to block Zhang Yu's attack. Boom, rumble. Boom. This attack was so powerful, it was almost like an unmatched force. Even though Hawkeye was blocked by the black sword, the fierce slash was still knocked away. Splitting, tearing. Hawkeye flew backwards for several hundred meters, and finally stabbed the black knife into the ground before regaining his balance. Hiss, how is this possible? Hawkeye was actually knocked out. Seeing this scene, everyone around them took a breath of cold air. This is Hawkeye, the greatest swordsman in the world. He was actually beaten away like this. That doesn't mean that the man in front of him named Aizen has surpassed Hawkeye in swordsmanship. The throne of the world's greatest swordsman has been moved. The greatest swordsman in the world right now is this man named Aizen Soyajuk. After knocking away Hawkeye, the sword returned to its sheath, just when Zhang Yu was about to turn around and leave. Etc., Eagle Eye suddenly spoke and stopped Zhang Yu. The battle is over, is there anything else? Zhang Yu looked at Aizen and asked. Let me see the power that surpasses the great swordsman, Eagle Eye stared at Zhang Yu with sharp eyes. 
Hawkeye is very sure that in the battle just now, Zhang Yu did not use all his strength at all. Profound, do you really want to experience this kind of power? You might die, Zhang Yu stopped, looked at Eagle Eye and said. Even if I die, I won't retreat, Hawkeye held the black knife and said with certainty. Yeah. Then I will make it happen for you. The long sword was unsheathed, and the light flashed. Tear. A harsh sound sounded, and the long sword in Zhang Yu's hand cut through the space. That's right, it just shattered the space. The space crossed by Zhang Yu's sword was full of cracks, shattering like a mirror. It looks like the explosion of the earthquake fruit in the One Piece world. This is shocking fruit ability. Seeing the shattered space, Dao Tu exclaimed. As a substitute for the general, Dao Tu has also seen the power of Whitebeard's shaking fruit. Being able to shatter the space and launch a destructive power of shock, even Dao Tu still remembers it, it is almost the same as the situation at this time. Seeing the shattered space around Zhang Yu, Dao Tu thought that Zhang Yu was also a person with the ability to shake the fruit. But soon, Dao Tu agreed with this idea. The person with the power of the shock fruit is Whitebeard. Whitebeard is living well now. Could it be? This is the swordsmanship that cuts apart the space, Dao Tu thought in surprise. Although Mamotu knew that the man named Aizen in front of him was very powerful in swordsmanship, he did not expect that his swordsmanship was so powerful. The long sword can actually cut through space. In the swordsman's sword training, there are realms such as cutting iron, cutting paper, and now it seems that there will be another realm of cutting space. As Zhang Yu raised his sword, the shattered space around him became larger and larger. It is even said that a space vacuum zone appeared. Cut the air with one sword. At this moment, the long sword in Zhang Yu's hand fell. A crescent-like sword energy tore through the surrounding space and rushed towards Hawkeye domineeringly. Along the way, the space collapsed, and everything was swallowed up by the shattered space. But this is not the end yet. The space fragmentation continues to expand, and some swordsmen who are relatively close are immediately swallowed up. Ah, help! No, run quickly! Don't kill me, I don't want to die! These swordsmen kept struggling and screaming. It's a pity that no matter how hard you try, you can't escape the fate of death. Facing this slash that could destroy the space, Hawkeye was not afraid, but instead his eyes glowed with excitement. Cut. The excited Hawkeye held the black knife in his hand and continuously attacked the sword energy. Although Hawkeye's slash was very powerful, it was nothing compared to this slash that could tear apart space. No matter how Hawkeye attacks, he can't stop Zhang Yu's slashing attack. In the end, the slash swallowed Hawkeye and bombarded the sea in the distance. Rumble. The power of the slash exploded on the sea, and the shattered space erupted with a huge space shock that hit the sea. The sea suddenly exploded and the waves became rough. But this was not the end. The powerful force bombarded the ground, causing earthquakes under the sea and setting off a huge tsunami. Huge waves surged towards the island as if they were going to submerge the entire island. Oops, the big wave is coming. Run away from the waves. The swordsmen on the island also took cover when they saw the incoming tsunami. However, some unlucky swordsmen who were not weak in strength were still swallowed directly by the waves. The violent tsunami lasted for more than an hour before it calmed down. After the tsunami, the lucky survivors on the island all looked at what they saw in shock. Oh my god! The island has completely disappeared. Is this the power that surpasses the great swordsman? This is so powerful, so incredible. I saw that half of the island in front of me disappeared, and the remaining half became riddled with holes. Countless sea water surged on this half of the island, cutting the entire island into pieces. No, he's leaving. Let's catch up quickly. Dao Tu looked at Zhang Yu who was about to leave and said immediately. Wait, Lieutenant General Peach Rabbit, what are you going to do? The other marines asked immediately. They had just seen Zhang Yu's powerful power. 
The kind of swordsmanship that surpasses the great swordsman and the power to cut through space still makes them feel heart palpitations. For such a strong person, it is best not to provoke him. Of course, this person is invited to join our navy. Don't forget, our mission this time is to invite him, Dao Tu said something and ran directly towards Zhang Yu. This, do we really want to invite such a strong person? This is a very dangerous thing. After hearing what Dao Tu said, the others murmured. The navy now has no hope of inviting Zhang Yu, and they even suspect that if Zhang Yu hates the navy, he will kill them directly. But since Dao Tu insists on inviting Zhang Yu, they have no choice but to follow Dao Tu. This strong man, please wait a moment. Just when Zhang Yu was about to leave, Dao Tu led the navy and stopped Zhang Yu. Hey, navy! Peach Rabbit! What is he going to do? Seeing the navy stop him, Zhang Yu also frowned, not knowing what she was going to do. This is not the first time Zhang Yu has seen Dao Tu, a female marine. He had fought against her when he played Kakuzu of the Akatsuki organization. She is a very powerful swordsman. Navy. What are you going to do? Do you also want to see my sword skills? Zhang Yu said angrily. After hearing Zhang Yu's words, the face of the navy behind Dao Tu suddenly tightened. You misunderstood, our navy has no ill intentions. We are here to invite you. We hope you can join the navy and protect justice on the sea together, Dao Tu quickly explained. Invite me. Join the navy, Zhang Yu was stunned when he heard Dao Tu's words. When he saw Dao Tu, Zhang Yu thought about various possibilities. But Zhang Yu never expected that Dao Tu would actually come to join the navy. In order to maintain justice on the sea, the navy is recruiting troops from all over the world and welcomes all kinds of ambitious people to join, Dao Tu looked at Zhang Yu and said very sincerely. When Zhang Yu heard Dao Tu invite him to join the navy, Zhang Yu's first reaction was to refuse. You know, I was playing a member of various Akatsuki organizations some time ago. Relying on the identity of the Akatsuki organization, he killed the celestial dragons, robbed the heavenly gold, beat up the navy admiral, hunted down the king Shishibukai, and destroyed the countries that joined the world government. It can be said that no matter what the matter is, the navy will not let Zhang Yu go. It is no exaggeration to say that Hai Jun and Zhang Yu are mortal enemies. But now the navy headquarters actually invited me to join the navy headquarters as a navy officer. This is very interesting. I remember that in the original work, the navy also conducted a worldwide recruitment, and even recruited two naval admirals. Unexpectedly, because of his appearance, the birth of the Akatsuki organization actually caused the navy headquarters to start naval recruitment in advance. He even recruited him in front of him. Faced with Dao Tu's invitation, Zhang Yu did not choose to refuse, but instead had a new idea in his mind. Zhang Yu is currently playing Sosuke Aizen. As the big boss of Death God, Aizen, he used to be a member of the 13th Division of the Death God Godii. In order to realize his ambition, he once had all the Shinigami in Seoul Society under his control. And can Zhang Yu join the Navy Headquarters and control the entire Navy Headquarters? Thinking of this, Zhang Yu looked at Dao Tu and asked. I don't know what kind of rank I can get if I join the navy. Hearing Zhang Yu's question, Dao Tu couldn't help but smile. Originally, Dao Tu had no hope of inviting Zhang Yu. But now Zhang Yu did not refuse immediately, but instead asked about the rank of joining the navy. Doesn't that mean there is a chance? Thinking of this, Dao Tu immediately said. Do not worry. Our navy will definitely give you a satisfactory military rank. Moreover, we are the navy headquarters, with the entire world government behind us, so we will not treat the strong badly, Peach Rabbit said with assurance. If that's the case, let's go, Zhang Yu said directly. Walk. Where to go? Hearing Zhang Yu's words, Dao Tu was stunned. Of course, to the navy headquarters. Didn't you invite me to join the navy? Zhang Yu went on to say. You agreed. 
Dao Tou looked at Zhang Yu in surprise. She originally wanted to spend more time convincing Zhang Yu, but she didn't expect Zhang Yu to agree directly. Of course, I have nowhere to go anyway. And being in the navy is also very interesting, Zhang Yu said with a smile. This strong man, no no. Lord Aizen, please come with me. Hearing that Zhang Yu really agreed to join the navy, Dao Tuo even used honorifics. Not only Peach Rabbit felt incredible. Even the navy behind Dao Tuo all stared at Zhang Yu in disbelief. They, the navy, had no hope of inviting Zhang Yu, and were even prepared for Zhang Yu to get angry and attack them. But what they never expected was that Zhang Yu agreed so simply. What are you still doing here? Hurry up and sail, we have to go back to the Navy headquarters. Seeing where these Marines were stunned, Dao Tu scolded them loudly. Yes. Commander Peach Rabbit, set sail immediately. Soon the naval warship sailed quickly towards the sea. While the ship was sailing, Mamotu immediately took out the phone bug and contacted Marshal Sengoku of the Navy headquarters. Marshal of the Warring States period, I am Dao Tu. Hmm, Peach Rabbit, how's it going? Did the mission fail? Sengoku's very plain voice came through the phone bug. Warring States didn't take Dao Tu's mission to invite Zhang Yu seriously. He was even prepared to fail. Zhang Yu is a person who can beat Kaido of the Hundred Beasts violently. Such a person is as powerful as the Four Emperors. It is basically impossible for such a strong person to join the navy. No, Marshal, my mission is accomplished. Aizen agrees to join the navy headquarters. Dao Tu said happily. What? What did you say? Mamoto, please say it again, Aizen, a strong man, really wants to join our navy, the surprised voice of warring states came from the phone bug. Yes Marshal. Now he's on my boat. We're on our way back to Navy headquarters. And he just defeated Hawkeye, and now he is the greatest swordsman in the world, Dao Tu said with great certainty. Good, very good. Peach Rabbit, come back as soon as possible. I will lead the top brass of the Navy headquarters to welcome you. After hanging up the phone, Sengoku couldn't calm down for a long time, recalling Peach Rabbit's report in his mind. The world's greatest swordsman, Sosuke Aizen actually joined the navy headquarters. In this case, the strength of the navy will be unprecedentedly improved. Thinking of this, a smile appeared on Sengoku's lips. This was the only good news I heard during the Warring States period. At this moment, the office door opened, and staff he walked in with a series of documents. During the Warring States period, the situation with world conscription was not ideal. We contacted several powerful people, but they were not interested in joining our naval headquarters, staff officer he said with a helpless expression. There are very few strong men on the sea, and there are even fewer strong men who are qualified for world conscription. What makes her even more troubled is that none of these strong men who were finally selected have no interest in joining the navy headquarters. Zaya he, don't worry about these people, Warring States took the document from Staff He and threw it directly into the trash can, and then continued. Our Navy has invited a super strong man. Seeing Senguo's proud look, Staff Officer He quickly thought of someone. Super strong. Could it be that person named Aizen? Yes, that's him, Warring States immediately mentioned Dao to his phone call just now. Now Aizen has just defeated Hawkeye and is now the greatest swordsman in the world. And now he is on Peach Rabbit's boat. We will arrive at the Navy headquarters soon. Hearing the news, staff he was also very surprised. The greatest swordsman in the world actually joined our Navy headquarters. This is indeed a happy thing. The world's greatest swordsman, this is not only a symbol of strength, but also a symbol of status. If the world's greatest swordsman joins the navy headquarters, it will instantly enhance the reputation of the navy, and it can even be used to promote the navy and recruit many powerful swordsmen. Their navy headquarters has invited many strong men to join, but this is the first time that such a heavyweight strong man has been invited. 
the Warring States period did something that even the previous generation of naval marshals could not do. This is of great significance in the history of the entire Navy. Maybe the Navy can use this to develop to a higher level. How could the Warring States period not be exciting? Warring States period, since the world's greatest swordsman wants to join our Navy headquarters, I don't know what rank and position we will give him, staff officer he immediately asked. Um, that is indeed a problem. After hearing what staff he said, Warring States also started thinking. Since the world's greatest swordsman joins the Navy headquarters, of course he cannot be given an ordinary military rank. And with his ability to beat up Kaido and defeat Hawkeye, it is more than enough to give him the position of Admiral. But the current three top generals of the Navy are still in their positions, and there are no vacant general positions at all. Hmm, first let's see if he is serious about joining the Navy headquarters. If he sincerely joins the Navy headquarters, even if he loses this old face, I will ask the world government to establish the position of a fourth Navy admiral, Warring States thought for a while and said. On the naval battleship, Zhang Yu stood on the bow facing the sea breeze. And all the swordsmen and navy on the battleship looked at Zhang Yu with admiration. Even the swordsman Mamotuo is like this. For sword masters like them in the navy, swordsmanship is their pursuit, and their goal is to become the world's greatest swordsman. And now the world's greatest swordsman is right in front of them, how can they not be excited? What's more important is that Zhang Yu has a smile on his face and looks very elegant and handsome. For a female swordsman like Dao Tu, he is irresistibly attracted. What happened? Why are you looking at me like this? Feeling the eyes of these people, Zhang Yu immediately asked. Ah, I'm sorry, Aizen-sama. We just marveled at Aizen-sama's swordsmanship, Dao Tu blushed and said in a panic. Swordsmanship? Do you want to learn? I can teach you, Zhang Yu looked at Dao Tu and said. Taught me. Aizen-sama wants to teach me swordsmanship, hearing Zhang Yu's words, Dao Tu stared at Zhang Yu in disbelief with his big eyes. In the world of One Piece, although there are many swordsmen, their swordsmanship is all learned through fighting. There are very few who are truly guided by famous teachers. And even if you want to learn swordsmanship from a powerful swordsman, people may not be able to take a fancy to you. Even Dao Tu's own swordsmanship was honed through years of fighting. Therefore, how could Dao Tu not be surprised when he heard that Zhang Yu was going to teach him swordsmanship? What's wrong? Don't you want to learn my sword skills? Seeing Dao Tu stunned here, Zhang Yu immediately said. No no, please Aizen-sama teach me swordsmanship, Dao Tu made a very formal apprenticeship ceremony to Zhang Yu. When the swordsman navy around them heard that Zhang Yu was going to teach Dao Tu swordsmanship, they couldn't help showing envious expressions on their faces. This is the world's greatest swordsman, and no one can surpass Zhang Yu's swordsmanship. Being able to be taught swordsmanship by the world's greatest swordsman is something that many swordsmen can only dream of but cannot achieve. Do you also want to learn my sword skills? Then come together, Zhang Yu looked at the envious looks on the other swordsmen and navy faces and immediately said. Us. Is it really possible? We can also learn your sword skills. Hearing Zhang Yu's words, these marines were also stunned and looked at Zhang Yu in disbelief. They all suspected that their ears had heard it wrong. Zhang Yu actually planned to teach them sword skills. Of course, swordsmanship is meant for people to practice. Since you like my swordsmanship, of course you can learn it, Zhang Yu said nonchalantly. Please Aizen-sama to teach us swordsmanship, after hearing Zhang Yu's words, these navy all bowed respectfully to Zhang Yu. Then let's get started, Zhang Yu began to instruct these naval swordsmen. Zhang Yu now plays Sosuke Aizen. If Zhang Yu wants to control the entire navy and the world government, he needs to break into the navy first. And teaching them sword skills is the best way. To others, Zhang Yu, as the world's greatest swordsman, must have the most powerful swordsmanship. But for Aizen, played by Zhang Yu, he is not only powerful in swordsmanship. In other words, swordsmanship is only part of his strength. 
What really makes him feel terrifying is the power of his Zan Pakut. On the ship, all the Navy members were closely watching Zhang Yu's movements and listening to Zhang Yu's instructions, for fear of missing any information. Break it into pieces. Through the looking glass. When no one was paying attention, Zhang Yu activated his Zan Pakut ability. A stream of light flashed on the long sword in his hand, and all the navy in front of him were completely hypnotized by Zhang Yu. It can be said that even if Zhang Yu asks them to kill each other now, they will not find out. The first step of Zhang Yu's plan to play with the entire navy has been successful. But these marines didn't know it yet, and they all looked at Zhang Yu with admiration and listened to Zhang Yu's swordsmanship instruction. The naval warship was very fast, and within a few days, it had arrived at the naval headquarters. Navy Sengoku, led by the three navy generals and the navy's top brass, had arrived at the dock early. When they heard that the world's greatest swordsman was planning to join the navy, almost everyone from the navy headquarters came and looked around. They all also want to witness the world's greatest swordsman. The ship docked, and Zhang Yu's figure appeared on the battleship. In an instant, the eyes of everyone in the entire navy headquarters gathered around. Sengoku also attached great importance to the world's greatest swordsman joining the navy headquarters. Because this may be a key opportunity for the navy headquarters to go further. It is even said that Sengoku is ready. If this person really joins the navy headquarters, he must be promoted to navy admiral. But other navies may think so. They were even said to be very hostile to Zhang Yu's arrival. You know, the officers in the Navy headquarters all relied on their military exploits. Each one of them has experienced countless wars and wiped out countless pirates. Why can a newcomer get such a high military rank? Not only these ordinary Navy, but also the three generals of the Navy. These people gathered here. In addition to welcoming Zhang Yu in accordance with the orders of the Warring States period, they also planned to intimidate Zhang Yu. Zhang Yu slowly walked off the battleship. Everyone looked at Zhang Yu along the way. Hey, is he Aizen? The greatest swordsman in the world right now. Why doesn't he look like a strong man at all? Yes. It does feel very strange. Can he really beat up Kaido and defeat Hawkeye like this? He can't be a fake. All the surrounding navy looked at Zhang Yu with suspicion. Indeed, Zhang Yu now has short brown hair, black rimmed glasses and a smile on his lips. He does not look like a strong man. Some bold naval forces have quietly released their momentum and pressed towards Zhang Yu. Although this is not the aura of a king, but the aura of a strong man, the aura of so many navy gathered together is not something ordinary people can handle. Warring states also felt the small movements of the navies around him, but he did not stop them. One Piece is a world where the strong are respected, even in the Navy headquarters. Without strong strength, what qualifications do you have to become an admiral? Are you showing off your power? Feeling the momentum of the attacks from all around, Zhang Yu felt very disdainful. It is not impossible to shake Zhang Yu with this kind of momentum. In fact, Zhang Yu doesn't take it seriously at all. Haha, <laughs> let you know what is real power. Hey, boom! A powerful momentum burst out from Zhang Yu's body. The huge momentum directly defeated the momentum of these navy, and rushed towards them at the same time. Boom! Poof! All the navies suddenly felt a powerful aura hit him, and some of the weaker navies vomited blood. Even the three navy generals swayed left and right when they felt Zhang Yu's momentum. Seeing that Zhang Yu relied on his strong momentum to completely suppress the navy, warring states felt that it was almost done and immediately stepped forward to greet Zhang Yu. Aizen Sosuke, welcome to join the navy headquarters. I am Admiral Sengoku. Marshal of the warring states period, Zhang Yu also replied very politely. Please come with me, we have prepared a place for you. The Warring States period welcomed Zhang Yu to the Navy headquarters very enthusiastically. In this way, Zhang Yu successfully joined the Navy headquarters and penetrated into the Navy. After arriving at the Navy headquarters, within a few days, Zhang Yu had figured out the combat power of the entire Navy, 
which would facilitate Zhang Yu's future actions. Of course, Zhang Yu has not given up on teaching Dao Tu and the others their sword skills. And after hearing that Zhang Yu was here to teach swordsmanship for free, all the swordsmen from the navy headquarters came. This is the world's greatest swordsman, and being able to get guidance from such a strong man is something they can only dream of. Gradually, more and more people follow Zhang Yu to learn swordsmanship. Zhang Yu simply went directly to the training ground of the navy headquarters and spent several hours every day instructing the navy on swordsmanship. When the Warring States period heard that Zhang Yu actually taught the navy to practice swordsmanship for free, he not only did not stop him, but also strongly supported him. You know, this is an opportunity to increase the combat power of the navy headquarters. The Warring States period directly established a swordsmanship class in the Navy headquarters as a naval marshal. It is even said that the Warring States period personally led the three Navy generals to watch Zhang Yu's instruction in swordsmanship. But none of them knew that every time Zhang Yu taught them swordsmanship, Zhang Yu will activate the power of Zan Pakut. Break it into pieces. Mirror Lake Water Moon the strong men in the navy headquarters have been completely hypnotized by Zhang Yu. Even when Zhang Yu was crisscrossing the navy headquarters, Zhang Yu did not forget to play the role of a member of the Akatsuki organization. The Kingdom of Crete is a member country of the world government. Because of the protection of the world government, the Kingdom of Crete continued to annex small surrounding countries and has now become a huge country. But today, the entire kingdom of Crete is filled with smoke. Boom boom boom. Huge explosions continued to sound throughout the kingdom, and each explosion was accompanied by a burst of screams. Damn it, what's going on? Who is it? How dare you attack my country? Don't you know that our kingdom of Crete is a member of the world government? Attacking our country is going to war with the world government. The king of Crete was sitting on his throne, looking at the whole country that was completely filled with smoke, and roared at the top of his lungs. Report to His Majesty the King. Yes, a member of the Akatsuki Organization. Members of the Akatsuki Organization attacked our country. At this moment, a guard ran over and said in a trembling voice. What? A member of the Akatsuki Organization. Damn it! How come members of the Akatsuki organization are targeting our country? Hearing the words Akatsuki organization, the king of Crete also trembled all over. During this period, the name of the Akatsuki organization was very loud. Whether it's defeating the admiral, robbing the sky's gold, or killing the Shishibukai, it all shows that the Akatsuki organization is very powerful and cannot be resisted by our own country. His Majesty the King the Akatsuki organization seems to want to destroy the navy and the world government. Our country is a member of the world government, so it has become the target of the Akatsuki organization, the guard immediately said. Damn it, take me away now. Escape from here, the king roared loudly. But at this moment, a clay grasshopper jumped over and exploded. The king of Crete was blown away to pieces. The kingdom of Crete, a once prosperous kingdom, has been completely filled with smoke. There were endless roars throughout the kingdom, and there were bursts of explosions, exploding like fireworks. Over the kingdom of Crete, a white bird is flying. On the white flying bird, Zhang Yu, who plays Diadera, is standing on it. That's almost it. Zhang Yu was making explosive clay and bombing the kingdom of Crete while observing Diadera's proficiency. Diadera of the Akatsuki organization likes explosions, and just knowing about explosions can improve Diadera's proficiency. Therefore, Zhang Yu randomly found the Kingdom of Crete, a member country of the world government, and directly launched an explosion attack. Various explosive clays fell from the sky, and the Kingdom of Crete quickly turned into a sea of fire. Diadera's performance progress is improving rapidly. At this moment, the hollow voice of the system rang in my mind. Ding, Akatsuki Organization Diadera's proficiency has increased to 90%. Congratulations to the host for getting a chance to draw a role character. Whether to draw new role characters. Yes, 
extracting the Akatsuki organization, Zhang Yu thought for a moment and said immediately. Now that his character Aizen Sosoke has entered the navy, the entire navy is now completely under his control. It's time to continue developing the Akatsuki organization. Ding! Let's start extracting Akatsuki organization characters. As a series of mechanical sounds fell in his mind, figures flashed through Zhang Yu's mind. There is no doubt that these figures are all members of the Akatsuki organization, and Zhang Yu can't tell which character he is about to draw. Zhang Yu is also full of expectations for the members of the Akatsuki organization that will be drawn. There are no weak members in the Akatsuki organization, and I don't know which one of the strong ones from the Akatsuki organization can be drawn this time. After a series of figures flashed. Finally, it was tentatively settled on a figure. This is... Uncle Snake. This is a man wearing Akatsuki organization. He has long black hair, long golden pupils, purple eyeshadow extending to the nose, pale skin and blue magatama-shaped earrings, giving people a sinister feeling. There is no doubt that this person is Orochimaru, the more famous scientist in Hokage. At the same time, the sound of the system also sounded. Ding, congratulations to the host for picking up a new character, Akatsuki Organization Orochimaru. Orochimaru. Akatsuki member. Proficient in various forbidden arts, good at scientific research, there is nothing that Orochimaru cannot research, and his vitality is super strong. Abilities, reincarnation from dirty soil, reincarnation technique, technology research. I really didn't expect that this time I actually got Orochimaru from the Akatsuki organization. The black technology expert in the world of Naruto. Zhang Yu couldn't help but think. Although Orochimaru is not the most powerful person in the Naruto world, he is the most tenacious person. There is no way to kill him, and there are countless ways to save his life. Even finally cleared up. This is the only villain in the Naruto world who survives to the finale. What's more important is that Orochimaru is good at conducting various researches. His research on the reincarnation of the Earth once triggered the fourth ninja war and changed the pattern of the entire Naruto world. And now that Zhang Yu has the character of Orochimaru, it is equivalent to having the power to change the entire One Piece world. Donghai, Rog Town Countless navies were coming in and out of the dock in Rog Town, and warships were sailing quickly on the sea. Since the navy's plan to exterminate pirates in the East China Sea failed, the pirates in the East China Sea immediately boiled over, and towns and islands were destroyed by pirates every day. In order to maintain peace in the East China Sea and justice on the sea, the Navy can only continuously attack pirates. Colonel Smoker, the naval branch on Kasha Island was attacked by pirates and is looking for support, a Navy came to Smoker and reported. I know, send naval warships immediately to destroy these damn pirates. Smoker rubbed his sore forehead and said. But. Colonel Smoker, our East China Sea base no longer has any troops. All the warships and navy were dispatched, the navy said helplessly. What did you say? How so? Ours is a naval base. How come there is no navy? Smoker immediately asked loudly. Colonel Smolka, pirate attacks in the East China Sea have been too frequent during this period. All the navy and warships were dispatched. We really don't have any extra troops in our base, the marine immediately explained. Damn Akatsuki organization, Smoker continued to curse after hearing the navy's report. If it weren't for the Akatsuki organization, all the pirates in the East China Sea might have been wiped out long ago. It was all because of the members of the Akatsuki organization that the current situation in Donghai was caused. Just when Smoker was getting angry, a Marine rushed in in a panic. Damn it, what happened again? Smoker looked at the Marine and cursed loudly in anger. Report, report, report to Colonel Smoker, we found traces of the Akatsuki organization. Members of the Akatsuki organization came to Rog Town, the Marine said with a panicked expression. The Akatsuki organization is the most terrifying force on the sea now and it is always against the Navy and the world government. 
even the Admiral is no match for them. Wherever members of the Akatsuki organization go, there is destruction and destruction. And now the terrifying members of the Akatsuki organization have actually come to their base in the East China Sea. How can they, the Navy, not be afraid? What? The success of Xia organization arrive at Rog Town. What are the members of the Akatsuki organization going to do? Come on, just come with me and take a look. Smoker was also very surprised when he heard that members of the Akatsuki organization had arrived in Rog Town. Soon he led the navy and ran towards Rogtown vigilantly. Smoker was very fast and soon arrived at Rogtown. From a distance, I saw a man in red clouds and black clothes, walking through Rogtown. Red clouds and black clothes. As expected, he is a member of the Akatsuki organization. But why is he different from the person on the Akatsuki organization's wanted order? Could this be a new member of the Akatsuki organization? After observing the members of the Akatsuki organization from a distance, Smoker thought with a frown. Although the Navy has been investigating information about the Akatsuki organization during this period. But the Akatsuki organization is too mysterious. Except for a few members of the Akatsuki organization that have been revealed, the Navy still knows little about the Akatsuki organization. No, this incident must be reported to Navy headquarters. Thinking of this, Smoker immediately took out a phone bug and contacted the Navy Marshal Sengoku at the Navy headquarters. Marshal of the Warring States period, I am Smoker. I have something important to report, Smoker said to the phone bug. Soon the worried voice of Sengoku came from the phone bug. Smoker, what happened? Is there another drastic change in the East China Sea? Now that the Great Waterway has been destroyed by members of the Akatsuki organization, the situation has become very chaotic, giving Sengoku a headache every day. If problems arise again in the peaceful world, it will be really troublesome. Marshal of the Warring States period, found traces of members of the Akatsuki organization. Members of the Akatsuki organization came to Rog Town, Smoker immediately reported. What? Who is it? That member of the Akatsuki organization, hearing this information, Warring States was also very shocked, his voice became a little louder, and he asked immediately. Akatsuki organization, this is the main culprit that caused the current chaotic situation. Moreover, the members of the Akatsuki organization act mysteriously, and even the Navy's intelligence cannot determine the traces of the Akatsuki organization. Therefore, now that he heard the information from the Akatsuki organization, Sengoku was also very surprised. Report to the marshal, a new member of the Akatsuki organization, Smoker said immediately. A new Akatsuki member. Damn it, could it be that the Akatsuki organization has any new moves in the East China Sea? After listening to Smoker's report, Senguo's face suddenly turned ugly. A new member of the Akatsuki organization appeared and this information was really important. It even said that the Xiao organization might have new actions. No, he must be stopped. Smoker, I'll send someone to support you right away. Warring States simply explained, immediately hung up the phone, and then shouted loudly to the soldiers at the door. Come on, bring me Garp right away. After a while, a careless Garp came to the office with a donut in his hand. Warring States, what do you want from me? I'm trying to challenge the donut-eating record. Seeing his old buddy like this, Warring States was helpless. Garp, stop making trouble, I have more important things to give to you, Warring States said with a serious expression. The donut challenge is the important thing, Garp still said indifferently. Garp, a new member of the Akatsuki organization appears in Rogue Town in the East China Sea. Sengoku said to Garp. A new member of the Akatsuki organization. What is the Akatsuki organization going to do? Could it be that the Akatsuki organization is planning to attack Donghai? When he heard about the Akatsuki organization, Garp's expression suddenly became serious. The Akatsuki organization is the ultimate culprit that destroys the order of the sea, and Garp cannot ignore it. 
that's what I'm worried about. Therefore, I hope you can go to the East China Sea. It's best to capture members of the Akatsuki organization. You are the only one in the entire Navy headquarters who has such strength, Sengoku looked at Garp and said. The naval hero Garp is already the strongest combat force in the Navy headquarters. He once chased the Pirate King all over the world. If it were in the past, warring states would not have dared to let Garp take action easily. But things are different now. The world's greatest swordsman has joined the Navy headquarters. Now that the Navy headquarters has sufficient combat power, it is time to completely eliminate the Akatsuki organization. I know, I will rush to Donghai immediately. When he heard that members of the Akatsuki organization had appeared in his hometown of East China Sea, Garp immediately took the fastest naval battleship and rushed towards the East China Sea without any hesitation. In Rog Town, Zhang Yu is playing the role of Orochimaru of the Akatsuki organization. As for Zhang Yu's purpose of coming to Roger Town, it is very simple, that is, he intends to resurrect Roger, the former pirate group. Of course, it is not a true resurrection, but relying on the power of reincarnation from the dirty soil to resurrect Roger. Orochimaru of the Akatsuki organization is the most famous scientist in the entire Naruto world. He likes to collect various abilities, study various powers, and masters various forbidden techniques. Among them, the reincarnation of dirty soil is his most proud forbidden technique. Therefore, the easiest way to improve Orochimaru's performance is to use the forbidden art of earth reincarnation to resurrect various powerful people who have died. The first thing Zhang Yu thought of was Roger the Pirate King. Therefore, Zhang Yu came to Roger Town to find information about Roger, the former Pirate King. Although the forbidden art of reincarnation is very powerful, it can resurrect anyone who has died. But there are conditions for resurrecting a person. First of all, the person's life information is needed, and secondly, a living person is needed as a sacrifice container. Pirate King Roger was born and executed in Rogue Town. Information about him should be found in Rogue Town. Wearing the clothes of the Akatsuki organization, Zhang Yu walked in Rogue Town. Along the way, Zhang Yu also felt the arrival of the Navy like smog. But Zhang Yu didn't care, and even said that he didn't take them into consideration at all. The strength of Smoker's group of naval forces is really too weak. They are so weak that they are not even qualified to let Zhang Yu take action. No, Colonel Smoker. It seems that the members of the Akatsuki organization are going to the execution platform, the Navy who looked at Zhang Yu from a distance suddenly said. Damn it, what are the members of the Akatsuki organization going to do? Could it be that the Akatsuki organization's target is the former execution platform of One Piece? Smoker frowned and thought about it. No, no matter what his purpose is. Must stop it. Rog Town, this is the place where the Pirate King was executed. In order to show the Navy's belief in fighting pirates, and to show the pirates the power of the Navy. The execution platform where Roger was executed has been retained by the Navy to this day. Although this is an ordinary execution platform, it is of great significance to the Navy. This shows that the Pirate King was once executed by the Navy here, and the Navy has absolute confidence in combating pirates. Because of this, the Navy absolutely allowed anyone to destroy the execution platform. In the original work, just because Luffy climbed onto the execution platform, he was chased by Smoker. Therefore, when the members of the known organization were walking towards the execution platform, Smoker immediately led the Navy to rush forward to stop them. White Blast Smoker immediately activated his Devil Fruit ability, and his whole body turned into white smoke, directly covering Zhang Yu. Members of the Akatsuki organization stopped moving forward. Smoker was holding a cigar in his mouth, holding a weapon, and looked at Zhang Yu warily and said. He he. White smoke. This is a devil fruit user. It's really interesting. I didn't expect to meet a devil fruit user just after arriving in Rog Town. Just fine for me to study. Zhang Yu stared at Smoker with a pair of snake eyes and said with a sneer. 
Feeling the cold gaze, Smoker also trembled, but his dignity as a navy told him not to retreat. Hum, members of the Akatsuki organization, as long as I'm here today, you can't even think of destroying Rog Town. Smoker took a deep breath and said with certainty. Yeah. Latent shadow snake hand. Zhang Yu stretched out his hand towards Smoker, and a python rushed out from his sleeve. The densely packed pythons opened their bloody mouths and rushed towards Smoker. These pythons were very fast, and they rushed in front of Smoker in an instant and bit into Smoker crazily. Elementalize. Facing the rushing python, Smoker's reaction was also very fast, and his whole body quickly turned into a piece of white smoke. These pythons easily passed through the white smoke and did not attack Smoker. Elemental Devil Fruit Ability then try this. Wind escape big breakthrough. The attack had no effect, so Zhang Yu immediately launched another attack. A strong wind gathered, and the wind blade rushed towards the white smoke in front of me like a knife. Ah! The wind blade pierced the white smoke and let out a scream. Smoker broke away from his elemental state and fell to the ground with wounds all over his body. Damn it, how is this possible? How could you possibly attack me if you didn't use your hacky? Smoker's body was dripping with blood and he looked at Zhang Yu in disbelief. Haha, <laughs> although the natural devil fruit ability is very powerful. But it seems like you haven't used the power of your devil fruit at all, Orochimaru looked at Smoker and said with great disdain. Natural devil fruit has the ability to become elemental and immune to various physical attacks, which is indeed a very powerful ability. But this is not an invincible existence. First of all, armed Haki can hit Devil Fruit users. Secondly, it is the ability to restrain each other, and it can also attack those with Devil Fruit abilities. Smoker is a Smoke Fruit user, so Zhang Yu used the power of Wind Escape. The strong wind dispersed the smoke and directly knocked Smoker out of his elemental state. Asshole, go to hell. Smoker still didn't give up. He endured the severe pain all over his body and rushed towards Zhang Yu with his weapon in hand. Zhang Yu stretched out his hand and easily blocked Smoker's attack. You'd better keep it here for me. Water Escape Water Prison Technique A stream of water surged up and turned into a water prison, trapping Smoker's entire body. Damn it, what is this? Damn it, what kind of devil fruit ability is this? Smoker who was trapped in the water prison, kept struggling, but no matter how much he struggled, he could not break free from the shackles of the water prison. Colonel Smoker. Damn it, attack. At this moment, all the other navies rushed over. Seeing that Smoker was caught by Zhang Yu, the navy all rushed towards Zhang Yu with weapons in hand. A bunch of rubbish, go to hell with them all. Shuriken Shadow Clone Technique. A shuriken appeared in Zhang Yu's hand and he threw it at all the marines in front of him. The shuriken quickly split as it flew. One turned into two, two turned into four, four turned into eight. Thousands of shurikens poured towards these navy-like raindrops. Ah, ah, ah. In a series of screams, all the navy fell to the ground. After dealing with these troublesome navy, Zhang Yu jumped directly to the execution platform and started searching. Since Roger was executed here, the execution platform has not been moved or used, and has remained in the same state as after Roger's execution. Roger's information should be collected here. Sure enough, hard work paid off, after Zhang Yu's careful search. Finally, I found a trace of thirsty blood among the cracks in the wood. Finally found. Haha, <laughs> this should be the message left by Roger. Zhang Yu immediately saved this trace of blood. Relying on this trace of blood, Zhang Yu can reincarnate Roger. On the sea not far from Rog Town, a naval warship rushed over quickly. You guys, hurry up and speed me up. The members of the Akatsuki organization have arrived in the East China Sea. If they arrive too late, the members of the Akatsuki organization will run away. Garp urged loudly to the navy around him. East China Sea is his hometown, and Garp will never allow members of the Akatsuki organization to destroy the order of East China Sea. 
Lieutenant General Karp, I can't do it anymore. It's already at top speed now, said the Navy, sweating profusely. Although in the world of One Piece, the Navy has the backing of the world government, has mastered a lot of black technology, and has the fastest ship on the sea. But no matter how fast you are, there is a limit. Now the entire battleship is shaking and looks like it's about to fall apart. In this case, there is no way. Garp looked at the island in the distance, jumped up, and rushed towards Rogtown on the waves. As a naval hero and the strongest sailor, Garp's strength is astonishing. The sea can't stop him at all. I saw Garp walking on the waves, stepping on the sea surface, and quickly rushed towards Rogtown. Who? Seeing Garp falling from the sky, all the navy on the dock in Rogtown were shocked. Because Rogue Town appeared in the Akatsuki organization, the entire Rogue Town has now been completely blocked by the Navy. Who are you? Lieutenant General Carp. After a while of surprise, the Navy here also recognized Garp's identity and immediately saluted. How is the situation? Where are the members of the Akatsuki organization? Garp immediately asked the Navy in front of him. Report to Lieutenant General Garp that members of the Akatsuki organization are in Roger Town, and their target seems to be the execution platform of Roger the Pirate King. Colonel Smoker has already led his men over there, the Navy immediately reported. Are the members of the Akatsuki organization targeting the execution platform? No, Smog's strength simply cannot stop the members of the Akatsuki organization. Thinking of this, Garp quickly ran towards Rogtown. At this time, Zhang Yu has found Roger's information, and the purpose of coming to Roger Town has basically been achieved. However, Zhang Yu did not leave immediately. Instead, he was studying Smoker where he was trapped in the water prison. Smoker, who was in the water prison, felt Zhang Yu's snake eyes, and felt uneasy, as if he was being stared at by a poisonous snake which made him feel a chill on his back. Damn it, what are you going to do? If you want to kill or cut into pieces, obey your orders, Smoker looked at Zhang Yu and cursed loudly. The surrounding area has been completely blocked by the water prison, and Smoker's entire body is suspended in the sea water. Moreover, sea water is very suppressive to devil fruit users. Currently, Smog doesn't even have the ability to elementalize, so he can only be slaughtered by others. Do not worry. I won't let you die. I finally met a natural devil fruit user, of course I have to research it, as he said this, a black python crawled out of Zhang Yu's right sleeve. The python kept snaking in Zhang Yu's hand, and the snake head with sharp fangs kept spitting out red snakes, and it opened its bloody mouth to bite Smoker. At this moment, a figure rushed over quickly. Boom! A fist attacked Zhang Yu directly. Before the fist could hit Zhang Yu, Zhang Yu felt a strong wind pressure coming towards him. Not good. Earth substitute technique. Feeling the fierce attack, Zhang Yu immediately activated the earth substitution technique without any hesitation. Leaving an earth clone in place, his body instantly hid far away. Boom! There was a huge explosion and the earth clone left by Zhang Yu exploded directly. At the same time, the water prison where Smoker was imprisoned also exploded due to the powerful impact. Lt. Gen. Karp Seeing that the person who came was actually the naval hero Garp, the surrounding navy all exclaimed. A person's name, the shadow of a tree. Vice Admiral Garp is a naval hero. He once pursued Roger, the pirate king. With him here, he will definitely be able to defeat the members of the Akatsuki organization. Even Smoker had an expression of admiration on his face when he saw that the person who saved him just now was actually Garp. Smoker, step back. He gave it to me, Garp clenched his fist and stared at Zhang Yu. Lieutenant General Garp, be careful. This person's strength is very weird. Smoker quickly retreated not forgetting to give a few instructions before leaving. Haha, I really didn't expect that I would meet a naval hero here, Zhang Yu looked at Garp and said with Orochimaru's unique laugh. 
Zhang Yu was also very surprised to encounter the naval hero Garp here. Navy hero Garp, this is the top combat power in the One Piece world. The man who once chased the pirate King Roger in the sea and forced Roger into desperate situations several times. Even Zhang Yu now has no confidence that he can defeat Garp. Members of the Akatsuki organization, let's capture them without mercy. As long as I'm here, you can't even think about destroying the East China Sea, Garp stared at Zhang Yu with his eyes shining brightly and said. At this time, Garp was completely different from the usually lazy Garp. If the usual Garp is like a cute old man, then the current Garp is as stable as a mountain, blocking Zhang Yu's front. That's not okay. We members of Akatsuki like to surrender. Latent Shadow Snake Hand As soon as he finished speaking, Zhang Yu launched an attack directly. A large python rushed out from Zhang Yu's sleeves, opened its bloody mouth, and bit Garp. Boom! Facing Zhang Yu's attack, Garp directly punched him. A seemingly simple punch, under his powerful power, exploded with astonishing destructive power. Boom! There was a huge explosion, and all the pythons in front of me exploded. Is it blocked? Then try this. After missing a hit, Zhang Yu launched another attack on Garp. Wind Escape Big Breakthrough Shuriken Shadow Clone Technique The violent wind blades and dense shurikens attacked Garp quickly. Facing Zhang Yu's attack, Garp still punched him. Boom! There was a huge explosion and Zhang Yu's attack was defeated by Garp again. The naval hero Garp is known as the Iron Fist, and no one can block his fist. When facing any enemy, Garp would punch them directly. If you can't defeat the enemy with one punch, throw in a few more punches. He even said that in order to practice boxing, he directly smashed several mountains. Fire Escape Dragon Fire Technique Wind Release Wind Cut Technique Zhang Yu launched another attack, and the wind and fire condensed to form a whirlwind of flames and rushed towards Garp. Orochimaru is a scientist in the Naruto world and is proficient in various ninjutsu. It can be said that there is no ninjutsu in the entire Naruto world that he cannot use. Is this the power of Akatsuki members? What a weird and difficult ability. Although Zhang Yu's attack did not hurt Garp, it still made Garp busy for a while. Moreover, Following the aftermath of the battle between the two, the surrounding buildings were severely damaged. If the fighting continues, the entire rock town may be destroyed. No, we can't delay it any longer, we must deal with him immediately. Thinking of this, Garp clenched his fist and rushed towards Zhang Yu quickly. Garp was very fast. He rushed in front of Zhang Yu in an instant and punched Zhang Yu hard with his fist. Not good. Triple Rashomon Zhang Yu also felt Garp's menacing approach. He slapped his hands on the ground and immediately released his powerful defensive ninjutsu. Boom, rumble. Amidst the violent shaking of the ground, the three-sided devil-shaped door quickly rose from the ground. On each door there is a demon with snarling fangs and claws, looking as if it is about to devour everything in front of it. What is this? Break me to pieces. Garp clenched his fist and smashed it directly towards Rashomon. Boom! There was a huge explosion, and the first level of Rashomon shattered. Then Garp clenched his fist and blasted towards the second level of Rashomon. Boom! There was another violent explosion, and the second level of Rashomon also shattered. Finally, Garp clenched his fist and smashed towards the third level of Rashomon. Boom! There was another huge explosion, and the third level of Rashomon had also been broken. So strong, is this the strength of the naval hero, Iron Fist Garp? Even the triple Rashomon can be broken. Seeing Garp break his defense so easily, Zhang Yu couldn't help showing surprise on his face. Zhang Yu is very aware of Rashomon's defensive capabilities. This is a defensive ninjutsu that can block tailed beast attacks in the world of Naruto. I didn't expect it to be destroyed by Garp so easily. The naval hero, Iron Fist Garp, truly lives up to his reputation. After destroying the triple Rashomon, Garp didn't stop at all. 
Before Zhang Yu could react, he rushed directly in front of Zhang Yu and punched Zhang Yu fiercely. Boom! With a huge crash, Zhang Yu flew backwards. Zhang Yu flew upside down and hit the ground hard. A powerful impact hit the ground, and a huge deep pit appeared somewhere. Winning, awesome! As expected of Lieutenant General Garp, since he defeated members of the Akatsuki organization. Lieutenant General Garp is really awesome. Seeing Zhang Yu being knocked away, all the navy around cheered. Ever since the Akatsuki organization appeared on the sea, the Akatsuki organization has been known for its terror and power. Even the Admiral is no match for the Akatsuki organization. Unexpectedly, the Akatsuki organization was finally defeated today. Lieutenant General Garp, are you okay, seeing the end of the battle? Smoker also came to Garp and looked at Garp with great admiration. Ha ha ha, how could anything happen to me? That guy should be the one in trouble. I seem to have used too much force just now. Will he be beaten to death by me? After the battle, Garp returned to his usual carefree and naughty appearance. Who did you say died? At this moment, Zhang Yu's voice suddenly rang out. What? How can this be? Hearing Zhang Yu's voice, Captain was stunned and looked into the pit in disbelief. What a powerful attack! I did almost die. Zhang Yu looked at Garp and said with some fear. Garp's attack was indeed too powerful. If it were ordinary, he would have died long ago after suffering such an attack. Even a person at the level of a general would be left half disabled after receiving such a punch. But don't forget that Zhang Yu is now playing Orochimaru of the Akatsuki organization. For Orochimaru of the Akatsuki organization, his best ability is to save his life. Orakai style substitution technique. I saw that Zhang Yu's whole body was like a python shedding its skin, his injured body peeled off like a snake's skin, and an intact Zhang Yu reappeared somewhere. This, could this be the ability of members of the Akatsuki organization? It's so weird. Seeing Zhang Yu who was intact again, Garp frowned. Sure enough, the members of the Akatsuki organization are very strange in strength and cannot be defeated so easily. Garp is ready to fight again. Navy hero Garp, your strength is really amazing. I just don't know how you compare to the former pirate King Roger. Zhang Yu did not attack immediately, but looked at Garp and said. Roger the Pirate King. What do you mean? He is dead, hearing Zhang Yu's question, Garp frowned and didn't know what he meant. Haha, <laughs> he is indeed dead. But I can bring him back to life. A python suddenly appeared in Zhang Yu's right hand and rushed towards a marine in the distance. Before the navy could react. The python was directly rolled into the navy and delivered to Zhang Yu. Damn it, what are you going to do? Let him go. Seeing Zhang Yu suddenly take action against the navy, Garp rushed towards Zhang Yu. But Zhang Yu is faster than Garp. Cap, meet your old friend. Forbidden technique reincarnation in the dirty land. I saw a hole appearing under the marine's feet and countless confetti-like substances crawled from his feet towards his whole body, rapidly transforming the marine's whole body. What is this? Ah! Amidst the screams, confetti material crawled all over the man's body. This navy has completely changed its appearance at this time, turning into the appearance of Roger, the Pirate King. At this moment, Garp's fist struck. The Pirate King Roger in front of Zhang Yu suddenly opened his eyes and punched him at the same time. Boom! The two fists collided together, and a powerful impact spread rapidly from the place where the two collided. The powerful impact was like a hurricane, hitting the ground and sweeping around. The ground suddenly cracked, and at the same time countless houses around were destroyed. After the blow, Garp's body quickly retreated retreating for more than ten steps before he stabilized his body. How can this be? This is Roger. Roger is alive. Garp stared at the man in front of him with wide eyes and an expression of disbelief. Gordy Roger, the first man to conquer the Great Channel, the former Pirate King. At that time, Garp, as the Navy's top combat power, 
and Roger were sworn enemies. Garp often chased Roger on the sea, forcing Roger into desperate situations many times. Precisely because the two are enemies, who knows Roger best in the world is none other than Garp. After the fist collision just now, Garp was very sure that the person in front of him was the former Roger and was not someone else pretending to be him. Damn it, what's going on? Isn't Roger already executed? Could it be that this member of the Akatsuki organization really has the ability to resurrect people? Just when Garp was confused, Roger, standing in front of Zhang Yu, opened his eyes. Hey, what's going on? What happened? Haven't I already been executed? Roger, who had just been resurrected, still had memories of the moment of his execution. He clearly remembered that he was dead, so why did he suddenly come to life now? At this moment, Roger also noticed Garp standing in front of him. Cap. You are Cap. Why is your hair turning white? Why are you getting older? Roger looked at Garp in front of him and asked strangely. You, you really are Roger. You can't be someone else pretending to be you, Garp still looked at Roger uncertainly and asked. Impersonation. Ha ha. Who dares to show up to me? Roger suddenly laughed, and a huge overlord-colored domineering energy burst out from his body. The violent overlord-colored domineering energy spread rapidly to the surroundings like a black wave. The entire Roger town trembled because of Roger's domineering power, and some of the weaker navy fainted directly. Sure enough, it is domineering and domineering. This kind of powerful domineering is only possessed by Roger. Feeling this overwhelming domineering power, Garp was now very sure of the identity of the man in front of him, it was Roger, the Pirate King. Although anyone with the qualifications of a king can awaken the overlord color and domineering energy. But the overlord colored and domineering aura awakened by each person is also different. A strong person can easily judge a person's identity from different domineering colors. There is only one person in the entire ocean who possesses this overwhelming domineering power, and that is Roger, the Pirate King. If there was still a trace of doubt in Garp's mind just now, then Garp is completely sure now. The man in front of me is the former Pirate King Roger. Pirate King G.O.L., who was once executed by the world government and Navy D. Roger is really resurrected. It's the Warring States period. Where is that guy from Warring States period? Haven't I already been executed? Why didn't I die? What kind of conspiracy does the world government have? Roger asked Garp. Roger, you are indeed dead. But you were resurrected by people from the Akatsuki organization. Garp looked at Roger and said. Akatsuki Organization. What's this? Why have I never heard of it? I have been resurrected. After hearing what Garp said, Roger also frowned now. The Akatsuki Organization is now the most terrifying organization on the sea. Defeated the Navy Admiral, killed the Celestial Dragons, and robbed the Heavenly Gold. Disrupted the order on the sea. Garp briefly explained what happened to the Akatsuki organization during this period. Ha ha ha. I really didn't expect that such a powerful organization would appear on the sea. This organization might be able to change the world, Roger said with a laugh. Hey, Roger, what are you talking about? This is a terrorist organization. Many countries have been destroyed by this organization. This will only bring chaos to the sea. Garp said with great disapproval. By the way, Garp, I wonder how Lu Yu is doing. Roger asked again. Lei Ju died in order to protect the child in his belly. Your son Ace joined the Whitebeard Pirates and is now the captain of the Whitebeard Pirates, Garp didn't hide anything. I'm sorry Lei Ju. But with Whitebeard's character, he should be able to protect Ace. When talking about his wife and son, Roger's face showed a trace of tenderness. Now Roger and Garp don't look like they are about to fight. Now the two of them are almost like friends who haven't seen each other for many years, and they are talking to each other somewhere. Haha, <laughs> the two of them reminiscing about old times should be almost over. Now it's time to get down to business, 
Zhang Yu suddenly let out a burst of Orochimaru's standard laughter, interrupting the conversation between the two. Are you a member of the Akatsuki organization? You can actually resurrect me. What a strange ability. But don't try to control me. I won't be controlled by you, Roger looked at Zhang Yu and said. Who is Roger? He is the Pirate King, the most domineering man on the sea. Even if he died and came back to life again, he would not allow others to control him. This is the will of the strong, the dignity of the king, and the freedom of the Pirate King. As the free Pirate King, Roger will never be willing to be controlled by others. Haha, <laughs> it's not up to you. A spell appeared in Zhang Yu's hand and penetrated directly into Roger's mind. I saw that Roger's eyes lost their luster and all consciousness disappeared. Now only the instinct to fight is left. Attack me. Under Zhang Yu's order, Roger rushed directly towards Garp. The long sword at his waist quickly unsheathed and slashed at Garp. Damn it, Roger, what are you doing? Do you want to help the Akatsuki organization disrupt the order on the sea? Garp dodged Roger's attack and asked loudly. But no matter what Garp said, Roger didn't react and still launched a fierce attack on Garp. It's useless, now he has lost consciousness and only has the power of the Pirate King, Zhang Yu looked at it and said with a smile. Asshole, Garp clenched his fist and also attacked Roger, the Pirate King. There is no doubt that Roger, the Pirate King, is very powerful, and he is good at swordsmanship, physical skills, and domineering. He is also very powerful in all aspects. If Roger hadn't been suffering from physical illness that year, he would have died soon, and then he went to the Navy headquarters to surrender. Even if the Navy and the world government join forces, they may not be able to capture Roger. But now Zhang Yu relies on the power of Orochimaru's reincarnation to directly resurrect Roger. At the same time, Zhang Yu obliterates Roger's consciousness and retains Roger's fighting power. Roger is now a fighting puppet who takes orders from Zhang Yu. Since he has become a puppet who only knows how to fight, Roger's attacks are not spared at all. All kinds of powerful slashes, fierce fists, and violent overlord colored domineering attacks were directed at Garp. Boom boom boom. These fierce attacks caused the entire island to shake. As for Roger Town, it had long been destroyed by Roger's powerful overlord color domineering energy. Quick, everyone evacuate this island. Everyone leave, leave this island immediately. Garp shouted loudly while resisting Roger's fierce attack. After hearing Garp's words, all the navy quickly left Rogtown and returned to the naval battleships. They all looked up at Rogtown. Throughout Rogtown, explosions continued to sound, and various violent attacks continued to erupt. The entire town of Rog has been completely destroyed, and the entire island is shaking continuously. This, could this be the power of Roger, the Pirate King? So powerful. Can we really defeat Roger the Pirate King? It must be possible. Vice Admiral Garp is a naval hero and the man who once hunted down Roger, the Pirate King. Even if the Pirate King Roger is resurrected, he can defeat the Pirate King again. The Navy in the East China Sea saw such a fierce battle for the first time, and they were all shocked. They never dreamed that one day they would meet the legendary Pirate King Roger. This is the power of the Pirate King. It's really unbelievable, this is too scary. Facing this powerful strength, all the Navy instinctively felt fear. However, when they thought that it was the naval hero Lieutenant General Garp who was fighting against the Pirate King Roger, these navies became full of confidence again. This is the naval hero Garp. He used to be the one who hunted down the Pirate King. He forced the Pirate King into desperate situations many times. He will definitely be able to defeat the Pirate King this time. Boom boom boom. In Rogtown, the sound of explosions is still ringing continuously. I really didn't expect that I would have the chance to fight Roger. Garp clenched his fists and looked at Roger in the distance with a fighting spirit. After a battle, Garp felt like he was back to the days when he was galloping across the sea to hunt down Roger. However, it must be over quickly. 
If the fighting continues, the entire island may be destroyed. Looking at Rock Town, which had been completely turned into ruins, and the cracked ground around it, Garp couldn't help but think. Both of them were super strong, and every attack and collision unleashed an astonishing impact. If the two of them fight uncontrollably, the entire island may be destroyed as the two fight. It seems that we must use our full strength. Garp threw his naval command, and an astonishing aura erupted from his body. Roger, feel the power of my iron fist. Garp clenched his fists, the momentum in his body surged, and he rushed towards Roger. Facing Garp's attack, Roger didn't retreat and rushed forward with his fists clenched. Boom! Their fists collided. The violent collision sounded like a muffled thunder, and it exploded immediately. The powerful impact spread to all directions, destroying everything around it. The entire island shook, and even the sea surged, setting off countless huge waves. The naval warship was constantly bumping in the huge waves. If Roger was in his prime, he would have no problem blocking Garp's attack. But the real Roger is dead, and the current Roger is just Roger who was resurrected by Zhang Yu through the reincarnation of dirty soil. The strength of the person who relies on the reincarnation and resurrection of the dirty soil is closely related to the strength of the sacrifice. The sacrifice used by Zhang Yu this time was just an ordinary marine. Although the resurrected Roger has the same abilities as before, he does not have all the powers he had during his lifetime. Click, boom. Finally, Roger, who was in the state of reincarnation, reached his limit under Garp's full attack. The body was directly destroyed and exploded into pieces. This is the strength of the naval hero Garp. His iron fist is powerful enough to defeat everything. Haha, <laughs> so powerful. Seeing Roger being destroyed by Garp, Zhang Yu didn't have any fear. He still let out a burst of Orochimaru's unique laughter and looked at Garp. Hey, member of the Akatsuki organization, you have no way to escape now. After defeating the resurrected Roger, Garp appeared in front of Zhang Yu again. After seeing Zhang Yu resurrect Roger, Garp will not let Zhang Yu leave now. The ability of the member of the Akatsuki organization in front of him is so powerful that he can actually resurrect a dead strong man. You know, there are many strong people who have died on the sea, and many people, even Garp, feel that it is very difficult. If Zhang Yu is allowed to run away now, these terrifying strong men will be resurrected. Garp simply couldn't imagine what would happen on the sea. Therefore, no matter what the reason is, Garp will not let Zhang Yu go today. Haha, <laughs> run away. I have no intention of escaping. The battle has just begun, Zhang Yu still looked at Garp with a smile. Um. Seeing Zhang Yu who was still very calm, Garp frowned. How is this going? Does he have any other conspiracy? Just when Garp was confused, a black figure suddenly rushed up and knocked Garp away with a punch. Boom. There was a huge impact, and Garp flew backwards. It flew dozens of meters in a row, dragging a deep ravine on the ground, and then stopped. Bastard, who the hell attacked me? Just when Garp was about to curse, his men suddenly froze when they saw the sneak attack. How can this be? Roger, haven't I already destroyed him? Garp looked at the man who attacked him in shock. That's right. The man who just beat Garp away was Roger who was just destroyed. At this time, Roger's broken body was being reassembled quickly, and soon the broken body was intact. Where did an intact pirate King Roger appear again? Haha. <laughs> My ninjutsu cannot be defeated so easily. Pirate King Roger, keep attacking. As Zhang Yu's voice fell, the recovered Pirate King Roger rushed towards Garp again. How is this going? I just destroyed Roger. Seeing Roger rushing towards him again, Garp was very confused now. He had clearly shattered Roger's body with one punch just now, so why was he showing up again now? But the resurrected Roger didn't give him anything to think about and rushed in front of Garp instantly. Iron Fist Although Garp was very confused now, he also knew that now was not the time to think randomly. He clenched his fists, 
gathered all his strength, and attacked Roger. Boom! With a huge explosion, Garp's attack easily defeated Roger's attack, and at the same time, the attack continued unabated on Roger's body. Click! There was a huge cracking sound, and one of Roger's arms was shattered by Roger. However, something incredible happened to him. Roger's broken arm recovered quickly, and within a few seconds, Roger's body became completely intact. What ability is this? It can actually be restored. Garp's expression turned serious. Originally, a resurrected Roger had already caused him a lot of headaches. Unexpectedly, the current Roger was still immortal and could recover instantly no matter what kind of attack he suffered. This is the power of reincarnation in the forbidden art. Not only can dead people be resurrected, but these resurrected people have immortality and can recover no matter what kind of attack they suffer. Except for the seal, no other power can defeat the reincarnated person from the dirty land. Haha, <laughs> you can play with your old friends here. I'll leave first. There are still many strong people waiting for my resurrection. Zhang Yu looked at Garp who was fighting Roger and said something, turned around and was about to leave. You can't leave. Garp rushed towards Zhang Yu, trying to block Zhang Yu, but at this time Roger rushed up and punched Garp. Hateful. Garp had no choice but to resist Roger's attack first, and watched helplessly as Zhang Yu left Roger town. Bastard, Roger, even if you die, you will still make the sea uneasy. First it started the Age of Discovery, and now it's actually been resurrected. Garp yelled and attacked Roger. Every attack from Garp was very powerful, not that Roger could resist it now. Each of Garp's attacks caused huge damage to Roger. But now the resurrected Roger is immortal and can recover quickly from any attack. Therefore, after fighting for so long, although Garp has always had the upper hand, Garp has not taken advantage at all. Although Garp's attack power is very powerful, every punch is a rock-breaking force, and Roger in front of him cannot resist it at all. But Roger is immortal in his reincarnated state. Even if Garp destroys Roger's body with one punch, he can recover quickly. Damn it, what kind of ability is this? This can't go on like this. After punching Roger away with another punch, Garp immediately took out a phone bug and contacted Sengoku at the Navy headquarters. Warring states, warring states, I am Garp. The phone bug soon heard about the warring states period. Garp, what's going on? Have you caught any members of the Akatsuki organization? During the warring states period, something special happened, and members of the Akatsuki organization ran away, Garp said immediately. Ran. How can this be? Could it be that even with your strength, you are unable to capture members of the Akatsuki organization? Sengoku's surprised voice soon came from among the phone calls. The naval hero Garp has the highest combat power in the Navy headquarters. In terms of single round combat power, even Sengoku thinks he is no match for Garp. Letting Garp go out to capture the members of the Akatsuki organization was supposed to be a sure thing. And now Garp actually said that the mission failed, which made Sengoku not believe it for a while. Could it be that the members of the Akatsuki organization have become so powerful? Sengoku, the members of this Akatsuki organization have very terrifying abilities. He can actually resurrect the dead strong man. He resurrected Roger now and I'm fighting Roger now. The resurrected Roger is immortal. I can't kill him now. Damn it, Roger has recovered again. I'll deal with him first. You can quickly think of a solution for me. Garp simply told what happened, and then turned off the phone bug directly. At this time, Roger, who had just been knocked away, recovered again and launched an attack on Garp. Akatsuki members can resurrect dead people. Roger is alive. The resurrected Roger is immortal. Sengoku's mind kept thinking about the content of Garp's phone call just now. Although he didn't understand what happened, he could tell that Garp must be in trouble. Come, tell Kyuzen to go to sea with me. 
Warring States and General Aokiji quickly left the navy and headed towards Rogtown in the East China Sea. Rogtown, at this time, has completely turned into ruins. A series of explosions continued to sound on the island. Boom! With a fierce punch, Garp knocked Roger away. The powerful impact directly shattered Roger's body into pieces, but soon Roger's body recovered again and rushed towards Garp. Bastard, is it really impossible to kill this guy? Garp frowned and thought as he looked at Roger who was recovering again. From the battle to now, Garp has defeated Roger's body dozens of times in a row, but no matter how Garp attacks, Roger's body can recover quickly. Even if he uses his extremely powerful armed color hacky, it will be of no avail. After so many battles, this was the first time that Garp encountered such a difficult enemy. At this moment, on the sea in the distance, a huge naval warship rushed over, and Navy Marshal Sengoku and Navy Admiral Aokiji appeared on the deck. They are Marshal of the Warring States period and General Ching Pheasant. Other naval warships on the sea, seeing the arrival of the Navy Marshal, all came closer and kept saluting. How is this going? What happened? Aren't the members of the Akatsuki organization already running away? Who is Garp fighting with? Warring states came here and asked immediately after seeing the roar of explosions coming from the island. Report to the marshal that Lieutenant General Garp is fighting the Pirate King Roger, Smoker came out and immediately reported. Roger the Pirate King. This. Could it be that people from the Akatsuki organization can really resurrect dead people? After hearing this report, both Warring States and Kyuzen had expressions of emotion on their faces. Kyuzen, the two of us will go to the island first. Warring States and Kyuzen jumped up, and after a few ups and downs, landed on the island. At this time, I saw that the entire island had become riddled with holes, and the ground was cracked with ferocious cracks. Garp and Roger are fighting among the ruins. The two people collided continuously, setting off a violent impact. This is, it's really Roger the Pirate King. Damn, he actually came back to life. Seeing Pirate King Roger who was fighting Garp, Sengoku's face suddenly turned ugly. He is very aware of the power of Pirate King Roger. Roger the Pirate King is not only very powerful, but also very influential. The former members of the Roger Pirates were all powerful pirates who were difficult to deal with, and many powerful countries worshipped Roger very much. If the resurrected Roger waved his hand, all these people would definitely follow Roger. If these people gather together, they will be a greater threat than the four emperors. No, we absolutely cannot let this happen. Kyuzen, join me in attacking. We must not let Roger leave here alive. Big Buddha form. Warring states directly activated his devil fruit ability, and his whole body was covered with golden light, turning into a huge Buddha and rushing towards Roger. At the same time, Kyuzen also had a generous hand of ice and rushed forward. Haha. <laughs> Warring states, you are finally here. I really didn't expect that we would still have time to fight side by side. What a nostalgic day. In the past, when Sengoku was still a general, the two of them often went to sea together to eliminate various powerful pirates and pursue the pirate king Roger. Unexpectedly, after so many years, the two of them would join forces again. And this time the enemy is also the pirate king Roger. Garp, now is not the time to joke. One Piece Roger is resurrected. This is something that can subvert the sea, Warring States said with a serious expression. Warring states, don't worry. Although Roger was resurrected, he did not fully inherit his former power. The only troublesome thing is that he has an immortal body. No matter what kind of attack he suffers, his body can recover quickly, Carp said immediately. Oh, didn't you inherit the power from the past? This is really a fortunate thing. After listening to Garp's words, warring states breathed a sigh of relief. The Pirate King without his peak strength is like a tiger without fangs, still very easy to deal with. Big Buddha Impact Ice Cube 2 Thorn Spear Sengoku and Aoki immediately attacked Roger. 
the two of them combined their powerful attacks to smash Roger's body into pieces. But after a while, the debris gathered together, and Roger appeared intact again. It is indeed very difficult. It seems that he cannot be defeated by means of destruction. We can only control him temporarily. Aokiji, use your devil fruit power to freeze Roger. Warring states thought for a while and looked at Roger in the distance and said. Clear. Frozen time capsule. A burst of extreme cold energy erupted from King Z's whole body, and the biting cold energy directly hit Roger, who had just recovered. Roger's whole body was quickly covered with ice, and the ice quickly covered his whole body, completely turning into a huge ice sculpture. In the end, the ice completely froze Roger, and he lost all movement. Zhang Yu, who was far away from Roger Town, also felt the state of Roger reincarnated from the dirty soil. Well, Roger is incapacitated. This is the power of frozen fruit. It seems that people in the One Piece world should not be underestimated, Zhang Yu thought in his heart. Originally, Zhang Yu thought that there was no sealing technique in the world of One Piece, and that the strong men who were reincarnated from the dirty land were invincible. But there are devil fruits in the world of One Piece. Devil fruits are developed to the extreme and possess various magical abilities. Now that Roger, who was reincarnated in the dirt, has lost his ability to move, he is useless. Untai. Zhang Yu directly eliminated Roger who was reincarnated in the dirty land. Seeing Aokiji's freezing ability sealing away Roger, Sengoku and Garp breathed a sigh of relief. Facing the immortal Roger, they also found it very difficult, but it was finally over. Click, boom. At this moment, the ice sculpture exploded. The broken ice sculpture revealed the sacrificial navy. The reason why Zhang Yu lifted the reincarnation of Pirate King Roger was because he had his own ideas. This is to prepare for Roger's reincarnation in the future. This time Zhang Yu was Roger who was reincarnated in a hurry, and the sacrifice was just an ordinary marine he found at random. Therefore, the power of Roger, the former Pirate King, has not been exerted at all, and there is no need to retain the Roger who was reincarnated from the dirty land. Next time, if a strong person is used as a sacrifice, Roger's original power can be brought out to the maximum extent. If Zhang Yu remembered correctly, there were many strong men killed in battle in this world. If they could all be reincarnated from their filthy soil, it would not be a problem to sweep across the entire sea. Thinking of this, Zhang Yu rushed towards the Red Earth Continent. Zhang Yu remembers that a strong man died near the Red Earth Continent. Rog Town, at this time, the entire town has been completely reduced to ruins, and the entire island has even become fragmented. Warring states, Garp and Kuzan stood among the ruins, looking solemnly at the exploding ice sculpture in front of them. Is this the ability of this member of the Akatsuki organization? Warring states asked. Yes, he can resurrect the dead strong man. Today it is Roger, but who will it be tomorrow? There are a lot of strong people who died on the sea, and some of them are very troublesome even for us, Garp's expression now is also more solemn than ever before. This is indeed a very scary thing, but we have more important things now. The news of Roger's resurrection today must be blocked. You must know that there are many former crew members of the Roger Pirates on the sea. If they knew that the Akatsuki organization had the ability to resurrect Roger, Warring State's face was also more solemn than ever, and his heart was more nervous than ever. The Akatsuki organization actually has the ability to resurrect people, which is really powerful. It was so powerful that even the Warring State's period was very panicked. You know, there used to be countless strong men in the Roger Pirates. With the disbandment of the Roger Pirates, these people began their own actions. Some became powerful men in a country, and some established pirate groups. Some even became Yonko. If they knew about Roger's resurrection, these people would definitely gather together again. He even said that he would join the Akatsuki organization because of this. With so many powerful forces united, warring states felt very terrifying just thinking about it. When the time comes, what can happen, 
Zenguo feels his whole body tremble just thinking about it. Because the news that Roger can be resurrected must not be leaked. Marshal of the Warring States period, I understand. Ice Age. Upon hearing Sengoku's words, Aokiji immediately activated his ability to freeze fruits. Countless cold air burst out from his body and rushed to the surroundings quickly. The sea surface froze rapidly at a speed visible to the naked eye. The ice continued to spread, and the entire sea area was frozen. There are countless pirate ships frozen somewhere on the frozen sea. These pirates quickly escaped from the pirate group in Rogtown when they saw something was wrong. But even after escaping, they saw the resurrected Roger. Damn it, what's going on? Why did the sea freeze suddenly? This is made by the Navy. The Navy is going to attack us. Run, escape from here. These people on the ship are not stupid either. They all know the impact that the resurrection of Pirate King Roger will have on the world. The Navy will definitely block the news. As for the way to block the news, it is very simple, that is, kill them. As a result, everyone on the boat panicked and began to run away. Don't let them run away. Stop them. At this time, the Navy also rushed forward quickly to stop these people. A scuffle began. These people are just pirates in the East China Sea, and there is no way they can be the opponents of these elite navies in the Navy headquarters. Soon, everyone was subdued by the Navy. Phew, the news of Roger's resurrection should have been blocked now. Seeing that all the pirate ships were subdued, Sengoku breathed a sigh of relief. Return to the Navy headquarters immediately to hold an important meeting. Contact the world government. Just relying on our Navy can no longer stop this terrifying Akatsuki organization. Warring states did not stop at all and led all the Navy back to the Navy headquarters. But no one noticed that a huge albatross was flying high in the sky above Rog Town. In the hand of this albatross is a camera that is constantly filming. There is no doubt that this person is one of the leaders of the Dark World, Morgans, the president of the World Economic News Agency. During this time, he was also collecting information about the Akatsuki organization. When he heard that members of the Akatsuki organization had arrived in Rog Town, he rushed over immediately. Sure enough, I happened to see the scene of the resurrection of Pirate King Roger. Morgans didn't hesitate at all and immediately took the photo with his camera. Haha, <laughs> it's really big news, big news. A new member of the Akatsuki organization appears and this member of the Akatsuki organization actually has the ability to resurrect people. Pirate King Roger is resurrected. This time my newspaper will definitely be bought very hotly. The excited Morgans hovered in the sky for a week and disappeared into the sky. Returning to the Navy headquarters, the Warring States period directly issued a naval call-up order. All naval forces at the Navy headquarters were ordered to abandon their tasks and return to the Navy headquarters to stand by. After hearing this order, all the Navy were very strange, but they didn't think much about it, and they all obeyed the order and returned to the Navy headquarters. Countless naval warships docked at the curved pier of the Navy headquarters. Countless Marines swarmed into the Navy headquarters, making the entire Navy headquarters crowded. Navy Headquarters Conference Room All the senior Navy officers came in one by one. Regarding the order to convene the Supreme Naval Conference, all the senior naval officials were surprised at first, but gradually became accustomed to it. They even said that they had already guessed that if the summoning order was held again, it must be the Akatsuki organization taking action again. The only difference is that this time there is one more person among the top leaders of the Navy and that is Zhang Yu, who plays Aizen. When he learned that the Navy was about to convene a top meeting, Zhang Yu immediately dismissed the role of Orochimaru in the Akatsuki organization and changed to playing the role of Aizen Sosuke. Zhang Yu was also curious about the highest meeting held by the Navy. Every senior naval officer who walked into the conference room sat in his seat with solemn expressions. Lord Aizen, please sit here. As soon as Zhang Yu entered the conference room, Dao Tu immediately said to Zhang Yu very respectfully. Peach Rabbit, didn't I tell you? 
Just call me by my name, no need to call me sir, Zhang Yu said to Dao Tu. Yes, Aizen Sama, Dao Tu immediately replied. There's really nothing I can do against you, Zhang Yu looked at Dao Tu helplessly. During this time, Zhang Yu has been coaching Dao Tu in swordsmanship. Compared with before, Dao Tu's swordsmanship can be said to have improved by leaps and bounds now, and he already has the peak strength of a great swordsman. She even said that even if she faced Hawkeye now, she would be able to fight. It is precisely because of this that Dao Tuo is very respectful to Zhang Yu and insists on calling Zhang Yu sir. In Dao Tuo's view, Zhang Yu is not only the world's greatest swordsman, but also a very gentle man. Zhang Yu came to the front of the conference table and sat down. There used to be only three seats here, which were the seats of the three Navy admirals. And now with Zhang Yu joining the Navy headquarters, a fourth seat has been added here. This not only represents strength, but also status within the Navy headquarters. Although Zhang Yu is still not a general in the Navy headquarters, in the minds of many Navy, Zhang Yu is already equivalent to a general. It is said that Admiral Sengoku is already seeking Zhang Yu's position as the fourth general in the world government. It is a certainty that Zhang Yu will become a naval admiral. One after another, senior Navy officials walked in, and the entire meeting was quickly filled with people. Finally, Warring States walked in with a solemn expression. The solemn look on his face indicated that something big was about to happen. However, Warring States didn't speak. Instead, he sat there in silence. Warring States, what happened again? Tell me if the Akatsuki organization has taken action again, seeing the silent Warring States, staff he couldn't help but ask. Wait a moment, there are still people who want to attend this meeting, Warring States said. There are people. After hearing what Sengoku said, all the Navy became confused. The supreme meeting of the Navy is an important secret meeting that only the top brass of the Navy can participate in. Now everyone from the Navy headquarters to Lieutenant General and above is here. Who else? Who is qualified to participate in the highest meeting of their Naval headquarters? Just when all the Navy were confused, a man in a suit and sunglasses walked in with a phone bug. This phone bug is different from ordinary phone bugs in that it has big eyes. This is not an ordinary phone bug, but a camera phone bug that can make video calls. Bru bru. The camera phone was connected, and the two huge eyes illuminated the picture. Five old men appeared on the screen. These five people are the five old stars who are in charge of the world government. Warring states period, what happened? You actually invited us to attend the Navy headquarters meeting. Yes. Is there anything that cannot be reported privately? Or has your Navy encountered something that cannot be solved? The five old men of Wulaoxing looked at warring states and asked strangely. The five old stars are the leaders of the world government and have a very high status in the world government. Without special circumstances, Wulaoxing would not easily attend the naval meeting. Inviting the five old stars to participate in the Navy headquarters meeting shows that the Navy headquarters has encountered something that it cannot solve on its own, and the Navy needs to rely on the power of the world government. In the original work, the number of supreme meetings of the Navy headquarters in which the five old stars were invited to participate during the Warring States period was also very rare. One time was the execution of Pirate King Roger, and the other time was on the battlefield. Unexpectedly, with the emergence of the Akatsuki organization, Sengoku once again invited the five old stars to attend the meeting of the Navy headquarters. Wulaoxing, and everyone. The highest meeting of the Navy headquarters is being held today. I have something very important to announce. A new member of the Akatsuki organization appeared again, called Orochimaru, Warring States looked at everyone and said. Orochimaru, the new member of the Akatsuki organization. After hearing what Sengoku said, all the Navy around were very confused. Even the five old stars are very puzzled. The Akatsuki organization is indeed the most threatening organization on the sea now, and every member of the Akatsuki organization is very powerful. But no matter how powerful the members of the Akatsuki organization are, 
there is no need to mobilize so many troops. This Akatsuki organization Orochimaru has a very terrifying ability, warring states continued to speak in a deep tone. Ability. What ability? Could it be that some powerful devil fruit ability has appeared again? What kind of devil fruit ability could it be? Warring states, please tell me. What abilities does Orochimaru of the Akatsuki organization have, staff officer he looked at warring states and asked strangely. Why is warring states so strange today? Why does he look so panicked? After working with warring states for so long, it was the first time for staff he to see warring states like this. Not only is warring states very strange, but even Garp has become very strange. Today, his expression is actually serious, and his usual carefree look is gone. Orochimaru's ability in the Akatsuki organization is resurrection. He can resurrect the dead and at the same time give the resurrected the ability to die, warring states said slowly. Resurrection. This is a joke. This is too perverted. Are there such perverted abilities among devil fruits? If you can resurrect people, what if you resurrect a powerful pirate? This is the power that can truly destroy the world. Sure enough, after hearing what warring states said, everyone present was in an uproar. Warring states period, you can't be mistaken. Do you really have such perverted abilities? Staff officer he immediately asked. Zaya he, although it is very unbelievable, it is indeed true. Members of the Akatsuki organization have just resurrected the former pirate King Roger, Karp went on to say. What? Roger the pirate king. Now even the five old stars started to scream. The five old stars had to be surprised when they heard the news that Roger, the pirate king, was resurrected. Because Roger, the pirate king, is too much of a threat to the world government. Roger, the pirate king, is the man who conquered the Great Channel. He is the man who has reached the final island of Ravdru, and knows many of the mysteries of this world. Each of these myths can subvert the rule of the world government, and they are the existence that the world government tries its best to hide. Therefore, while Roger was alive, the world government and navy were trying their best to capture him. Originally, with the execution of Pirate King Roger, these secrets completely disappeared with Roger's death. But I didn't expect that someone would be able to resurrect Roger, the Pirate King. If Roger is resurrected, then these myths that the world government tried so hard to hide will appear on the sea again. This incident was so shocking that even the five old stars could not help but panic. Warring states, what you said is true. This member of the Dawn organization really resurrected Roger. After resurrecting Roger, did they say anything? What is the Akatsuki organization going to do to resurrect Roger? Where's Roger? Where is the resurrected Roger? What are you doing here? Hurry up and capture Roger. Each and every one of the five old stars in the picture screamed, jumping up and down without looking old-fashioned at all. Five old stars. Don't worry. The resurrected Roger has been killed by Garp and I. And we have blocked the message. Seeing the excited Woolioxing, Warring States immediately said. Have you been killed already? That's good. Sengoku, it's great to have you two in the Garp Navy. Do you died? Really worried about us? After hearing that the resurrected Roger was dead, the excited Woolioxing returned to his usual calm appearance. However, although the resurrected Roger died. But Orochimaru of the Akatsuki organization may resurrect Roger again. And it's not just Roger. You must know that there are many strong men who died on the sea. If all of them are resurrected by Orochimaru of the Akatsuki organization, then... Although Senguo had not finished speaking, everyone already understood what Senguo meant. Countless terrifying pirates have emerged on the sea, and each pirate has caused irreparable losses to the navy and the world government. If all these terrifying pirates were resurrected at once, the navy and the world government would be in trouble. These terrible pirates will definitely seek revenge from the navy and the world government. Warring states, you are right. This member of the Akatsuki organization must be eliminated immediately. 
This kind of power is too dangerous. However, the news of Goodbye Roger's resurrection has not been leaked yet. We still have time. Wolaoxing also felt tremendous pressure at this time. Although the world government has very powerful power, it has ruled the world for 800 years. In 800 years, countless terrifying pirates were eliminated. But if all these terrifying pirates are resurrected, their world government really won't be able to handle it. Ah, the warring states marshal is not good. Oh no. At this moment, the conference room suddenly opened, and a navy man rushed in with a panicked expression. Bastard, what are you doing? Don't you know that a naval supreme meeting is being held? Seeing this intruding marine, Sengoku kept yelling. Marshal of the Warring States period, no luck, One Piece Roger is resurrected. A new member of the Akatsuki organization resurrects Roger the Pirate King. The marine said with a panicked look on his face while holding a newspaper. Yu Yu. How did you know this news? Didn't I already block this message? Senguo immediately grabbed the newspaper and started reading it. The more he read the newspaper, the more Senguo looked at him. How is this going? Warring states, didn't you say you had blocked the news? Warring states, you'd better explain. Even Wolaoxing's face became very ugly at this time. The news of Roger's resurrection was actually leaked. They had already imagined that there would be a huge turmoil in the sea. The five old stars were made by Morgans. When fighting the resurrected Roger, Morgans was hiding nearby. Now the news that members of the Akatsuki organization can resurrect Roger has probably spread across the sea. Warring states said with a dark face. Originally, Sengoku wanted to hide this news and block the news of Pirate King Roger's resurrection. In this case, the Navy will have enough to deal with the Akatsuki organization Orakai. But what Warring States never expected was that the news had actually leaked out. Now I'm afraid the entire sea has heard the news that members of the Akatsuki organization have resurrected Roger. Damn it, Sengoku, I ordered all the Navy to take action. We must catch this member of the Akatsuki organization. The CP organization of the world government will also cooperate with you. Wolaoxing immediately gave the order. Yes. Guaranteed to complete the task, Warring States said with great certainty. By the way, we agreed to the fourth general position you applied for some time ago. From now on, the Navy headquarters will establish a fourth admiral, Wu Liaoxing thought for a while and said. In order to prevent the Navy from exceeding the control of the world government, the strength of the Navy is also strictly limited, and there can only be three Navy admirals. But things are different now, with the emergence of this terrifying Akatsuki organization, especially after learning that the organization has the ability to resurrect. The current strength of the Navy headquarters is no longer enough, so the five old stars agreed to establish a fourth Navy admiral. Thank you Wolaoxing for your support to the Navy. Our Navy headquarters will uphold justice on the sea, Sengoku was very happy to hear that the five old stars had agreed to the position of the fourth admiral. The Navy has established a fourth general, and the strength of the Navy headquarters will be greatly improved. As for the choice of the fourth general, it is very obvious, it is Zhang Yu who currently plays Aizen. After Zhang Yu became an admiral, he did not use those color and animal code names. Instead, he continued to use the title The World's Greatest Swordsman. Because this is not only a symbol of strength, but also represents the most powerful swordsman on the sea. Countless news pigeons fly over the sea. Not a day passed before Morgan's paper spread across the sea. Every pirate was shocked when they saw the news in the newspaper. Oh my, this. Pirate King Roger is resurrected. What? You're not kidding. Isn't the Pirate King Roger already executed? It was done by members of the Akatsuki organization. A new member of the Akatsuki organization appeared called Orochimaru. He has the ability to resurrect the dead. Resurrection of the dead. This is too exaggerated. The members of the Akatsuki organization are so powerful, so perverted, and so incredible. Wait, 
people from the Akatsuki organization resurrected the Pirate King Roger. Does this mean that the Akatsuki organization has obtained the treasure of the Pirate King, the legendary one, peace? Very possible. No, we also want the treasure of the Pirate King. As long as we catch this person named Orochimaru, we can get the treasure of the Pirate King. That's right. With the opening of the Age of Discovery, countless people flocked to the sea and became pirates. But most of them are here for the Pirate King's treasure. It's just that One Piece's treasure was hidden too secretly, and they didn't find any information about the treasure at all. And now that the Akatsuki organization can actually resurrect the Pirate King Roger, doesn't that mean that the Akatsuki organization can easily get everything from the Pirate King? This was very unacceptable to them. Why can the Akatsuki organization get everything from One Piece? They also want One Piece's treasure. The only way now is to capture Orochimaru of the Akatsuki organization and get the information about the One Piece treasure from him. For a time, countless pirate ships set sail and began to search for news about members of the Akatsuki organization. New World The Whitebeard Pirates, aboard the Moby Dick Marco, the captain of the first team who had just received the newspaper, was shocked. Read the newspaper quickly. Something big is about to happen on the sea, Marco said with a shocked look on his face. What happened? What happened again? Could it be that the Akatsuki organization attacked the world government again? The strength of this Akatsuki organization is really astonishing, and they are specifically looking for trouble with the world government and the navy. After hearing Marco's words, the captains of other divisions around him started talking quickly. During this period, information about the Akatsuki organization often appeared in newspapers. Although they were very surprised by the strength of the Akatsuki organization, they are now used to it. Anyway, the goal of the Akatsuki organization is the world government and has nothing to do with their whitebeard pirates. Marco, tell me. What did the Akatsuki organization do again? It's a pity that this organization appeared a little late. If Roger was still there, we might be able to do something big by joining forces with this organization. Even Whitebeard said without caring. In Whitebeard's heart, the only one he could regard as an opponent was Roger. Although the Akatsuki organization did do many shocking things during this period, Whitebeard didn't take it to heart. Dad? There is a new member of the Akatsuki organization called Orochimaru. This man has the ability to resurrect and resurrected the Pirate King Roger in Roger Town. Marco's words hit everyone's hearts like a sledgehammer. Even Whitebeard, who was drinking, accidentally dropped the big bowl in his hand. They all wondered if their ears had heard wrongly. Pirate King Roger was resurrected. After a sudden calm, a ray of fire flew over. The flames quickly fell in front of Marco and gathered into a human shape. He took the newspaper from Marco's hand and read it. This man is Ace, the son of Roger, the Pirate King. How can this be? Really resurrected. The Akatsuki organization really resurrected him. Ace said with a shocked look on his face, looking at the photos in the newspaper. Morgans is very talented in photography and the quality of his photos is also very good. It happened to be the moment when the resurrected Pirate King Roger and Garp were fighting each other. Seeing Roger's photo, Ace was in a trance now and really didn't know what to do. As the son of Roger, the Pirate King, Ace did not admire his father, but hated Roger very much. Ever since I came to the Whitebeard Pirates and recognized Whitebeard as my father, I have felt the atmosphere of home. But now that the Pirate King Roger has been resurrected, Ace doesn't know how to face his biological father for a moment. While Ace was stunned, the other team members also looked at the newspaper. Oh my god! The strength of this member of the Akatsuki organization is too abnormal. Can actually resurrect Roger. This. Could it be that the Akatsuki organization has obtained Roger's treasure? Dad, Roger is coming back to life, what should we do? When the other squad captains saw the news about the resurrection of Pirate King Roger, they didn't know how to respond, and they all looked at Whitebeard. 
Whitebeard also took the newspaper and started reading it. Really Roger, I really didn't expect that Roger would be resurrected one day, Whitebeard also had a surprised expression on his face. Dad, I want to find this member of the Akatsuki organization, Ace suddenly said. Are you going to find Roger? You really should go meet him. Others don't know, but Whitebeard knows very well that Ace is the child of Roger, the Pirate King. Moby Dick sets sail and prepares to depart. Whitebeard suddenly shouted loudly. Dad, what are we going to do? Everyone else looked at Whitebeard in confusion. Kulai Lai. My old friend has actually come back to life. Of course I went to greet him. Whitebeard laughed, his hearty laughter spreading throughout the ship. The huge Moby Dick slowly sailed on the sea. The resurrection of Pirate King Roger is a big event. Not only the Whitebeard pirates have taken action. The other Yonko pirates also had their own reactions when they saw the information in the newspaper. Cake Island Mom, information about the Akatsuki organization appeared in the newspaper again, Charlotte Katakuri looked at the information in the newspaper, stared with big eyes, and said in disbelief to Charlotte Lingling who was sitting there. What's there to see? Akatsuki members must have destroyed another country. You losers, I asked you to look for information about the Akatsuki organization, but you didn't find any. If I can get help from the Akatsuki organization, I can definitely conquer the sea. Charlotte Lingling's shrill voice echoed throughout the castle. Hearing this sharp roar, everyone in the castle trembled. Charlotte Lingling is very ambitious. She wants to become the new generation of Pirate King. It is precisely because of this that she continues to accumulate strength while collecting slates of historical texts. After learning that the organization had great strength, Charlotte Lingling wanted to unite with the Akatsuki organization. But the Akatsuki organization is too mysterious. She mobilized all the pirates in the entire Big Mom pirate group but could not find any information about the Akatsuki organization. So Charlotte Lingling is very angry now, very angry. Mom, another member of the Akatsuki organization appeared on the sea. This Akatsuki member has the ability to resurrect the dead. He resurrected Roger the Pirate King, Katakuri felt the angry Charlotte Lingling and said quickly. Um, resurrect the Pirate King Roger. Charlotte Lingling suddenly became interested grabbed the newspaper and started reading. When she saw the photo of Roger's resurrection in the newspaper, Charlotte Lingling's face suddenly showed a look of surprise. Members of the Akatsuki organization actually have the ability to be resurrected. This ability is really too powerful. After resurrecting the Pirate King Roger, the Akatsuki organization obtained Roger's treasure. Damn it, Roger's treasure belongs to me, no one can take it from me. Come on, set sail immediately to find this member of the Akatsuki organization. Soon, a huge and dazzling captain left Cake Island. The country of Wano, the territory of the Beast Pirates. Kaido of all beasts is drinking here. Since being beaten up by Aizen played by Zhang Yu, Kaido of the Beasts has returned to Wano. He keeps drinking every day, and every time he gets drunk, he turns into a dragon and wreaks havoc as if to vent his anger. Kaido of the Hundred Beasts is very angry now, very angry. As one of the four emperors, he was beaten violently with swordsmanship. The anger in his heart has not disappeared until now. It's just that Aizen is too powerful and has joined the navy. Even if Kaido wants to take revenge, he has no chance. Kaido can only keep drinking and then turn into a dragon to cause destruction. The boss, Boss Kaido, discovered the information about the Akatsuki organization. A new member of the Akatsuki organization appeared on the sea, called Orochimaru. He has the ability to resurrect and has just resurrected the pirate King Roger. A pirate ran over and said to Kaido the Beast. Members of the Akatsuki organization finally appeared. Assemble the team and go to sea. This time we must let the Akatsuki organization see the power of our beast's pirates. Kaido the beast roared angrily. The Akatsuki organization killed its own men and destroyed an important island of its own. 
Kaido the Beast also hates the Akatsuki organization. In addition, he is very angry now, so he can just find a member of the Akatsuki organization to vent his anger. If he is not the opponent of the world's greatest swordsman Aizen, isn't he the opponent of the Akatsuki organization? Soon, a ship with an exaggerated shape and huge ivory left the country of Wano. On the Red Foss, the red-haired pirates were chatting on the ship. The red-haired pirates, unlike the other Yonko pirates, follow the elite route and do not have that much territory or that many crew members. There is only one pirate ship and only a few dozen crew members. But every crew member is super strong. Just then, the news pigeon fell on board, and Jesus bought a newspaper. In addition to being the sniper of the red-haired pirates, Jesus is also the person responsible for buying newspapers. It can be said that every issue of the newspaper is purchased by Jesus. Just when Jesus took the newspaper and was about to read it carefully, a loud shout suddenly rang out. Ah, Captain, come and take a look. Big news, big news. Members of the Akatsuki organization are in the newspapers again. Jesus Buletin's loud shout startled everyone on the ship. Jesus Buletin, what are you shouting about? Is there any big news again? Xiao Organization? This paragraph from Akatsuki Organization is often published in newspapers. Is there any surprise? The other members of the red-haired pirate group said very puzzledly. The members of the Akatsuki Organization are indeed very powerful and have done many sensational things. They are often in the newspapers. Are they so surprised? Captain, this time the members of the Akatsuki organization in the newspaper are very important. He has the power of resurrection. He resurrected Roger the Pirate King. Jesus Buletin said quickly. What? What did you say? Roger. Captain. Before Jesus finished speaking, Shanks, the captain of the red-haired pirates, rushed over and snatched up the newspaper. All the other red-haired pirates also took the opportunity to surround them. You know, red-haired Shanks was once an intern of the Roger Pirates, and Roger, the Pirate King, was his former captain. Therefore, now that he heard the news about Roger, red-haired Shanks was also very excited. This, oh my god! The power of resurrection! This is too perverted! He actually resurrected the former Pirate King Roger. Captain, what should we do? The rest of the red-haired pirates also looked at Shanks. Obviously they also know about the relationship between their captain and the former pirate King Roger. Let's go find members of this Akatsuki organization. Red-haired Shanks said with a solemn expression. Because of the resurrection of pirate King Roger, all the four emperors in the New World took action. The naval spies monitoring the surroundings of the Yonko also immediately passed the news of the Yonko's actions to the Navy headquarters. Damn it, the four emperors actually acted at the same time. What should our Navy do? With the strength of our Navy, we simply cannot face four Yonko pirate groups at the same time. Zanguo held the information in his hands tightly with his hands, his face was very ugly. The four Yonko pirate groups were dispatched at this time. No doubt, all for this member of the Akatsuki organization named Orochimaru. To be precise, it was for the resurrected Roger that he obtained the secrets that Roger held. In order to maintain stability on the sea, the order of the world government. The navy and the world government decided not to allow the secrets held by Roger to fall into the hands of pirates. But how to deal with these four pirate groups, Sengoku was in a dilemma. Although Sengoku believed that the navy was very powerful, it was still very difficult to deal with the four four emperor's pirate groups at the same time. In the original work, the navy headquarters only dealt with one whitebeard pirates, causing irreparable losses to the navy. And now that the four Yonko pirate groups are dispatched at the same time, even if their navy wants to stop them, they don't have the strength to stop them. During the Warring States period, no matter what, our navy must be dispatched. If the Yonko pirates get those myths, it might really overturn the order on the sea. 
Staff officer he was also very surprised when he saw the news that the four emperors were dispatched. But she also knew very well that the navy must also be dispatched. The Yonko pirates themselves are very powerful. If they get the secret left by Roger, the pirate king, the order on the sea may really collapse. In order to maintain order on the sea, the navy must be dispatched even if they know they can't do it. That's right. If the four emperors want to get Roger's treasure, they must first ask my fist, Garp also said very seriously. Originally, Garp thought that with Roger's death, he could retire and take up the position of lieutenant general in the navy headquarters and have a good night. He didn't expect that the Akatsuki organization actually appeared, and he didn't expect that the members of the Akatsuki organization had such abnormal abilities that they could actually resurrect the dead strong men. Garp had no choice but to go out again. Although the other three admirals didn't say anything, their serious expressions said everything. They also already know what they are going to face. Have you found any information about Orochimaru from the Akatsuki organization? Warring States rubbed his sore forehead and asked. Well, according to the information sent back by the CP organization. Judging from the sightings of Orochimaru of the Akatsuki organization in the past few days, his target seems to be the Red Earth Continent, staff officer he looked at the information in his hand and said. Red Continent? What are the members of the Akatsuki organization doing in the Red Earth Continent? Is he going to take action against the Holy Land Marijoa, Warring States said doubtfully. It is indeed possible that it is the Holy Land Marijoa. This is the headquarters of the world government, and there are countless celestial dragons. With the way the Akatsuki organization behaves, it is really possible that it is the Marijoa of the Red Earth Continent. The Red Earth Continent is the only continent in the One Piece world and has the holy city of Marijoya. The members of the Akatsuki organization rushed in the direction of the Red Earth Continent. No matter how they looked at it, their goal seemed to be the Holy Land Marijoa. As long as they attack the holy city of Marijoya of the Celestial Dragons, they will be able to severely attack the world government. Now that we know the goal of the Akatsuki organization, it will be easier to handle. Sengoku and others began to discuss how to deal with this member of the Akatsuki organization. I suggest gathering all naval forces and ambushing them around the Red Earth Continent. I also agree that it would be best to evacuate everyone in Marijoya. This is a bit difficult to handle. The Tianlong people will not leave the Holy Land easily. This member of the Akatsuki organization must be dealt with. From the perspective of Sengoku and other senior Navy officials, the current chaos on the sea is all due to this member of the Akatsuki organization named Orochimaru. As long as Orochimaru is eliminated, the current dilemma will be solved. Wait. Sengoku, the target of this member of the Akatsuki organization may not be Marijio. At this moment, Garp suddenly remembered something, and his face couldn't help but change. Not Marijio. What a place that is. Could it be that there are other targets of the Akatsuki organization on the Red Earth continent? After hearing Garp's words, Others asked strangely. There is only one Mary Joa in the Red Earth Continent, and it seems that there is no target left. A man died near the Red Soil. I suspect that the Akatsuki organization's goal this time may be to resurrect this person, Garp said with a solemn expression. One died in the Red Earth Continent. Who? After hearing Karp's words, everyone started thinking. Most of the current senior leaders of the Navy headquarters are young people. The only people of the older generation are Garp, Sengoku, and Tsuru. They really couldn't remember the strong men who died on the Red Earth continent. Could it be? Garp, is that the person you are talking about, at this time, Warring States seemed to have remembered something and his face suddenly turned ugly. Karp is right. The Akatsuki organization's goal may actually be to resurrect this person. It would be really troublesome if this person was resurrected. Staff Officer He's expression also became serious. Lieutenant General Garp, Marshal Warring States, and Staff Officer He, who are you talking about? How come I don't know that someone once died on the Red Earth Continent? 
Seeing the three of them acting like they were playing riddles, the other young naval officers all asked very curiously. Well, that was over thirty years ago. A very scary pirate group appeared on the sea. Call it Rocks Pirates. The world of One Piece has always been a chaotic world. In this chaotic era, countless powerful pirates emerged. Thirty years ago, long before the Roger Pirates became famous, there was an extremely powerful pirate group. Rocks Pirates. Now among the four emperors, Whitebeard, Big Mom, Kaido, and others were all members of the Rocks Pirates. This shows how powerful the Rocks Pirates were at that time. Captain of Rocks Pirates, Rox D. Jibek was the overlord of the sea at that time and had the ambition to become the king of the world. Openly hostile to the world government, he led his pirate group to attack Mary Joa on the Red Road. At this critical moment, Vice Admiral Monkey D. Garp and the new pirate G.O.L.D. Roger teamed up to defeat Rox and destroy the Rox pirates. It was because of this war that Garp received the title of Naval Hero. And because this incident had such a huge impact on the world government, it was erased from history by the world government. Not many people know about the Rox pirates. But now the target of the members of the Akatsuki organization is actually the Red Earth Continent, and these members of the Akatsuki organization have the ability to resurrect strong people. There is no doubt that the goal of this member of the Akatsuki organization is to resurrect Rox. When I thought that the terrifying person was about to be resurrected by the people of the Akatsuki organization, everyone present felt doubly stressed, and an aura of terror filled everyone's hearts. Damn it, we absolutely cannot resurrect this person. Yes, we must stop the members of the Akatsuki organization. I never thought that there would be someone more terrifying than Roger the Pirate King on the sea. If Rox is really resurrected, it will be really troublesome. After listening to Sengoku's introduction to Rox, everyone present knew that what they were about to face would be an extremely terrifying pirate. Notified, closely monitor the information of Akatsuki organization members. The rest of the navy is on standby, ready to attack and destroy Don. Sengoku ordered to all the navy in front of him. Yes. Everyone left with serious expressions, ready to attack at any time. I really didn't expect that Orochimaru, who plays the Akatsuki organization, would actually cause such turmoil. Zhang Yu, who was playing Orochimaru, thought to himself. Zhang Yu never expected that he would play Orochimaru just to quickly improve his proficiency, and that he would reincarnate Roger, the former pirate king, and actually cause turmoil on the sea. Now not only people from the navy headquarters and the world government are chasing Zhang Yu, but even the four emperors are dispatched. As for other small forces and small pirate groups, they rushed towards Zhang Yu desperately. It seems that my own needs to speed up too. Zhang Yu thought in his heart. Although Orochimaru, played by Zhang Yu now, has a lot of self-protection capabilities. But faced with the pursuit of so many forces, Zhang Yu still felt stressed. Therefore, what Zhang Yu has to do now is to quickly improve the Akatsuki organization's proficiency in playing Orochimaru. The best way to quickly improve your acting proficiency is to reincarnate various powerful people from the dirty soil. Zhang Yu plays Orochimaru and lands on an island wearing a very distinctive Akatsuki costume. The eyes of everyone on the island were immediately attracted to Zhang Yu. Look, that person's clothes. Red clouds and black clothes. Akatsuki Organization. He is from the Akatsuki Organization. The Akatsuki Organization actually appeared on our island. I heard that the Akatsuki Organization has the ability to resurrect. They resurrected the Pirate King Roger and got the Pirate King's treasure. The treasure of the Pirate King, can we also get the treasure of the Pirate King as long as we catch him? Of course, that is the treasure of the Pirate King, who wouldn't want it? For a moment, all the pirates on the island stared at Zhang Yu with bright eyes, and their hands couldn't help but touch their weapons. For pirates like them, the temptation of One Piece's treasure is too great. Even though they knew that the members of the Akatsuki organization were very powerful, they were slowly approaching Zhang Yu, wanting a piece of the pie. 
the pirates on the island rushed over one by one and surrounded Zhang Yu from a distance. His eyes couldn't stop staring at Zhang Yu with greedy eyes. Haha, what are you going to do? Do you want the treasure of the Pirate King? If you want it, just come and get it. Seeing the pirates coming up from all around, Zhang Yu said mockingly. But after hearing Zhang Yu's words, these pirates did not attack. Instead, they all took a few steps back in fear. Because they all know very well that the members of the Akatsuki organization are very powerful, but they are very unwilling to let them give up the treasure of one piece like this. Go to hell. Hand over one piece's treasure. Finally, someone couldn't help it any longer. He held a long knife and rushed directly towards Zhang Yu. Latent Shadow Snake Hand Seeing the pirate rushing over, several giant pythons rushed out of Zhang Yu's sleeves and wrapped them around him. Ah, help! What are you going to do? Finding that he was trapped, facing countless tongues sticking out, the cold snake eyes suddenly made his whole body tremble, he regained his senses, and he kept begging for mercy. Haha, <laughs> what a rubbish! Go to hell! A cold light flashed in Zhang Yu's snake eyes, and the python in his hand swallowed the pirate directly. The reason why Zhang Yu came to this island was not only to rush, but also to find a few suitable people sacrifice. There is a close relationship between the strength of the target who is reincarnated in the dirt and the sacrifice. The stronger the sacrifice, the stronger the person who is reincarnated in the dirt will be. Attack. Come together and kill him. Seeing Zhang Yu directly killing people, the other pirates couldn't help themselves and rushed towards Zhang Yu. Welcome. Psychic Art, 10,000 Snakes Zhang Yu immediately summoned Orochimaru's psychic technique, and a group of big snakes no less than the size of Neptune in this world appeared on the island. Swallow them for me. Under Zhang Yu's order, Wan Shi rushed directly towards all the pirates. The Pirate King Roger's death began the Age of Discovery. Countless people swarmed into the sea to find the treasure of the Pirate King Roger. But what exactly is One Piece's treasure? It's a powerful weapon. Invincible Devil Fruit The Endless Treasure of the Navy Nobody knows. But now members of the Akatsuki organization can actually resurrect the dead Roger. So what exactly is the treasure left by Roger the Pirate King? Can't we ask the Pirate King Roger face to face for information about the treasure? Now there is a real chance to get the treasure of the Pirate King, how can they, the pirates, let it go? The pirates? who were dazzled by the treasure, rushed towards Zhang Yu desperately. Unfortunately, they overestimated their own strength. With their strength, they are no match for Zhang Yu, and they can't even touch Zhang Yu's side. Wan Shi, give it to me. The python the size of a sea king opened its huge mouth, its sharp fangs dripping with venom, and swallowed the pirate in front of him directly. Ah, help! Don't eat me, don't! Facing the huge python, these navies did not resist at all, and were directly swallowed by countless people. Damn it, attack! Kill him! For the pirate king's treasure, hack him to death! A pirate dressed as a swordsman jumped up high and slashed at Wan Shi's body with the long sword in his hand. Boom! There was a sound like metal touching, and Jian Hao's whole body was shaken to the point of numbness. The long sword in his hand cannot even break the scales of ten thousand snakes. Just when the swordsman was about to continue his attack, a huge snake tail whipped him away. The swordsman and pirate king didn't even have a chance to react and turned directly into pulp. These are pirates who were dazzled by Roger's treasure. In their opinion, as long as they kill Zhang Yu, they can get the treasure of the pirate king but they never expected that Zhang Yu was so powerful that they couldn't resist at all. Especially this Neptune-like python is extremely powerful. Hundreds of people have been swallowed directly by pythons. Seeing countless pirates dying, these pirates gradually calmed down. Facing the extremely powerful Zhang Yu, I became frightened. Ah, run quickly. This person is very powerful and cannot be fought against. Help. 
Don't eat me, don't eat me. The faces of these pirates changed from greed at first to fear. What started as an attack turned into an escape. The treasure of the Pirate King and the One Dot Piece have long been forgotten by them. Now I just hate my parents for losing two legs. Unfortunately, no matter how they escaped, they still could not escape the fate of being killed by Zhang Yu. When Zhang Yu was killing these pirates, Zhang Yu was not idle, searching for suitable sacrifices. It's a pity that these pirates are too weak, and they are of little use even as sacrifices. Zhang Yu only selected a few powerful pirates as spare sacrifices and put them in the coffin. At this time, a colorful pirate ship appeared on the sea far away from the island. The same colorful pirate flag was hoisted on the ship. Along the way, any ship that saw this ship stayed away for fear of colliding with the pirate ship. There is no doubt that this pirate ship is Big Mom's pirate ship. Mom, according to our intelligence, Orochimaru, a member of the Akatsuki organization we are looking for, is on this island. Katakuri said to Charlotte Lingling. Very good, find him for me immediately. Let him hand over Roger's treasure, and then the entire Akatsuki organization will join my pirate group, Charlotte Lingling's huge figure came out and said very domineeringly. Yes, Mom. Dock quickly. This colorful ship quickly sailed towards the island where Zhang Yu was located. Hey! Another pirate group is here. That flag. Big Mom Pirates, one of the four emperors. I really didn't expect that Charlotte Lingling, one of the four emperors, would also come. Zhang Yu was also very surprised when he saw the Big Mom Pirates docking. But Zhang Yu was not afraid, instead he smiled. Isn't this a sacrifice delivered to your door? There are many strong men in the Big Mom Pirates of the Yonko Pirates and these strong men can be used as sacrifices for their filthy reincarnation. As soon as the members of the Big Mom Pirates arrived on the island, they each released their own haki of knowledge and knowledge to look for traces of Zhang Yu. Katakuri, in particular, has developed his haki to such an extreme level that he can even predict the future for a short period of time. In addition, Zhang Yu did not hide his identity, and everyone in the Big Mom Pirates quickly found Zhang Yu. Are you Orochimaru, a member of the Akatsuki organization? The one with the power of resurrection. Charlotte Lingling's fat and huge body came over, looked at Zhang Yu and said. Charlotte Lingling is survived by his many children. This time, Charlotte Lingling was determined to gain the treasure of the Pirate King, so she also brought sufficient fighting power. The three generals brought two desserts, and the other thirty-four ministers also brought half. Such strength is enough to travel unimpeded on the sea. Ha <laughs> ha! Charlotte Lingling, one of the four emperors. I don't know what you want from me, Zhang Yu looked at Charlotte Lingling and said with a smile. Resurrection of Roger for me immediately, I want to get Roger's treasure. And your Akatsuki organization will join my pirate group from now on and serve me. Charlotte Lingling said in a commanding tone. Ha <laughs> ha, that's so domineering. However, I refuse. Snake Yu's technique. As soon as Zhang Yu finished speaking, he rushed out as fast as a snake. It was so fast that no one could react. Only Katakuri, who was good at seeing, hearing, and dominating, felt something and shouted loudly. Everyone, be careful and stay away. Charlotte Katakuri's haki has been cultivated to the extreme, and she can temporarily predict the future. Therefore, when Zhang Yu took action, he had already sensed Zhang Yu's movements and shouted loudly to the people around him. Be careful, get out of the way. Although Katakuri's reaction was very fast, Zhang Yu's speed was even faster. Zhang Yu's body was like a snake, rushing directly to Charlotte. The minister Bean among the 34 ministers of Charlotte Daifuku inherited the burly body of Charlotte Lingling and is also a superhuman devil fruit user. It can be like a magic lamp, and it can summon the magic lamp elves to attack the enemy by rubbing its body. But he didn't have Katakuri's superb knowledge and aura, and by the time he realized it, it was already too late. A huge python appeared and swallowed him up. 
he didn't even have a chance to react before he fell directly into Zhang Yu's hands. Haha, finally found a good sacrifice, Zhang Yu said with a smile. You bastard, how dare you be so presumptuous in front of me? Go to hell! Strange power! Seeing that Zhang Yuju not only refused her conditions, but also arrested one of her sons, Charlotte Lingling was furious. He clenched his fist and attacked Zhang Yu. Earth Substitute Technique Facing Charlotte Lingling's attack, Zhang Yu reacted very quickly. There was an Earth clone left in the distance, and the main body quickly hid in the distance. Boom! With a huge impact, Charlotte Lingling's huge fist hit the ground. A deep pit appeared on the ground, and countless cracks spread out from the center of the pit. Kill him, kill him! Finding that her attack did not hit Zhang Yu, Charlotte Lingling became even more angry and continued to get angry. When the members of the Big Mom Pirates saw the angry mom, they did not hesitate at all. They each activated their Devil Fruit abilities and quickly attacked Zhang Yu. Candy Waves Rice Cake Blade Hot Wind Fist The members of the Big Mom Pirates are all superhuman Devil Fruit users, and they all have food-related abilities. Now these food-type devil fruits are attacking Zhang Yu at the same time. It looks like cooking, which is indeed very weird. Earth Escape Earth Current Wall Zhang Yu slapped the ground, and a hard earth wall stood up, easily blocking all attacks. Wind Escape Big Breakthrough Immediately afterwards, the strong wind gathered in front of Zhang Yu, and countless wind blades launched an attack on the Big Mom Pirates. Candy Shield the pirates of the Big Mom Pirates reacted quickly. A piece of candy condensed and turned into a shield to block the seal's attack. Candy. Melt it for me. Fire release the art of the fire dragon. The flames condensed in front of Zhang Yu's eyes, turning into a fire dragon with fangs and claws, and once again attacked the Big Mom Pirates. The blazing flames easily merged with the candy shield in front of him and continued the attack. Boom. Boom, boom. The fire dragon exploded, and the blazing flames rushed towards the Big Mom Pirates. Suddenly there was a burst of screams, and countless people were directly burned by the flames. Damn it, what kind of ability is he? You can actually use so many abilities at the same time. Everyone in the Big Mom Pirates frowned at the member of the Akatsuki organization in front of them. In this short time, he has released three completely different abilities. What kind of devil fruit ability user is this? It's too powerful. Don't be stunned here. Attack quickly or mom will be angry. I see. Continue the attack. Although Zhang Yu was very powerful, they still continued to attack Zhang Yu. Compared to the powerful Zhang Yu, they are more afraid of Charlotte Lingling. If anyone dares to disobey Charlotte Lingling's orders, he or she will have his or her life taken away at the least, or be buried in the grave at the worst. Boom boom boom. A series of explosions sounded continuously. Although Big Mom has the numerical advantage, the Devil Fruit's abilities are also very powerful. But Zhang Yu now plays Orochimaru of the Akatsuki organization, who has countless life-saving abilities. Zhang Yu was able to easily dodge their attacks every time. Therefore, after fighting for so long, not only did they fail to catch Zhang Yu, but they were covered in wounds by Zhang Yu. You losers, you have been fighting for so long and you still haven't taken him down. Get out of my way! Seeing that Zhang Yu had not been defeated after fighting for so long, Charlotte Lingling yelled angrily. After hearing Charlotte Lingling's words, Everyone else retreated into the distance in fear. Are the four emperors planning to take action personally? Looking at Charlotte Lingling walking over, Zhang Yu also became wary. The four emperors in the world of One Piece are all monster-like existences. Even Zhang Yu now needs to be careful when facing. Inject Soul Charlotte Lingling directly activated the power of her hungry fruit. The lightning and thunder in the left hand turned into a thunder cloud the blazing flames in the right hand turned into a ball of fire, and finally the hat on the head also glowed red. Go to hell! Flamethrower! 
The flames on Charlotte Lingling's right hand boiled and she rushed towards Zhang Yu like a whip. Water escaped flow wall. Looking at the rushing flames, a water flow gathered in front of Zhang Yu and turned into a wall of water, easily blocking the attack of the flames. Thunder. After realizing that her attack had been blocked, the lightning in Charlotte Lingling's left hand suddenly exploded, falling from the sky towards Zhang Yu like a thunder. Flash, instantaneous technique. Zhang Yu's reaction was also very fast. He ducked and easily avoided the lightning attack. Wind escape big breakthrough. After dodging two consecutive attacks from Charlotte Lingling, Zhang Yu also launched an attack on her. But the dense wind blades hit Charlotte Lingling's body, making a sound of metal collision. It did not cause any harm to Charlotte Lingling at all. As a Yonko, Charlotte Lingling's strength is very terrifying. Relying on the ability of the Soul Soul Fruit, he can not only control the power of thunder, lightning, and fire. Moreover, her obese body has extremely strong defense capabilities. Even a hail of bullets cannot add a trace of scar to her. She is known as the Steel Balloon. Therefore, the wind blade released by Zhang Yu hit Charlotte Lingling without causing him any harm at all. What a powerful body! If her body can be used as a sacrifice for the reincarnation of the Dirty Land, she will definitely be able to exert all the power she had before birth. No, it's even a power that can surpass life. Seeing Charlotte Lingling resisting his attack without suffering any damage, Zhang Yu's eyes lit up and he thought in his heart. However, Zhang Yu just thought about it. Charlotte Lingling, this is the Four Emperors, possessing extremely terrifying power. With the strength of Orochimaru of the Akatsuki organization played by Zhang Yu now, he is not his opponent at all. However, the Akatsuki organization Orochimaru has countless life-saving abilities. Even if Charlotte Lingling wants to capture Zhang Yu, it will not be so easy. Water Escape Water Dragon Bullet Technique Since the body's defense is very strong, I will give you a slap in the face. The water in front of Zhang Yu gathered together and turned into a water dragon, rushing directly towards Charlotte Lingling's face. Poof! Although Charlotte Lingling's defense was very strong, she blocked the water dragon's attack. However, the water dragon burst, and countless seawater fell, pouring directly from the top of Charlotte Lingling's head, turning her into a drowned rat, looking miserable. Mom! Everyone in the Big Mom Pirates group was shocked when they saw Charlotte Lingling in such a mess. Because they knew very well that Charlotte Lingling was about to get angry. Angry Charlotte Lingling is very scary, even they may be affected. Ah, you damn brat! I'm going to kill you, kill you! You go to hell! Charlotte Lingling became furious now. She kept letting out a burst of piercing screams from her mouth, and her eyes became red. Even the thunder and lightning and flames in his hands suddenly exploded and boiled. He is one of the four great emperors of the new world. When did he ever suffer such humiliation? And the person in the Akatsuki organization in front of him not only disobeyed his orders, but also humiliated himself in this way. Is it tolerable or not? Double Hat Napoleon The hat on Charlotte Lingling's head turned into a huge two-handed sword and fell into his hands. At the same time, the flames spread along his arms to his shoulders, and the burning flames were like long flames. Finally a thundercloud appeared at her feet, with lightning and thunder. Now Charlotte Lingling has fully entered the fighting state, releasing the most powerful power. A violent aura spread in circles around Charlotte Lingling. Feeling this terrifying aura, the faces of the Big Mom pirates suddenly became frightened. Not good, Mom is angry. Let's get away quickly. Angry Mom is very scary. As members of the Big Mom pirates, they are very aware of Charlotte Lingling's fears. In particular, the angry Charlotte Lingling disowned her relatives. Anyone who dared to provoke her would die even her children. Now that Zhang Yu has made mom so embarrassed, mom will definitely not let him go. They don't want to be affected by an angry mom. Therefore, seeing the angry mom, the big mom pirates quickly retreated. Wei Guo. 
I saw Charlotte Lingling raising her huge hands high to fight, and slashing towards Zhang Yu violently. Whoosh! A huge sword energy, like a destructive force, drew a huge ravine on the ground and attacked Zhang Yu. Not good. Earth substitute technique. Zhang Yu's reaction was also very fast. He quickly released the ninjutsu, leaving a clone behind, and the main body quickly hid far away. Rumble. The huge sword energy easily destroyed Zhang Yu's sword energy and attacked a mountain peak on the island. With a huge roar, half of the mountain peak was cut off. But this was not the end yet. The giant sword energy continued to attack and bombarded the sea, causing the sea to boil. So strong. Zhang Yu was also very surprised when he saw Charlotte Lingling's attack. This kind of violent attack is really not something that ordinary people can resist. The four emperors are indeed monsters. Emperor's sword broken blade. Finding that Zhang Yu was not hit, Charlotte Lingling launched another attack on Zhang Yu. The flames on his body wrapped around the long sword and slashed violently at Zhang Yu. There is no doubt that in the face of such a violent attack, Zhang Yu still did not resist, and still relied on various weird ninjutsu to avoid Charlotte Lingling's attack again. After discovering that Zhang Yu was not hit twice in a row, Charlotte Lingling, who was already very angry, became furious. Sword energy, thunder, and lightning, flames, all kinds of violent attacks were overwhelmingly attacking Zhang Yu. Boom boom boom. The violent bombardment hit the island, causing the entire island to shake continuously, and many islands became riddled with holes. But no matter what kind of attack it was, Zhang Yu could easily dodge it. Zhang Yu is now playing Orochimaru of the Akatsuki organization. For Orochimaru, what he is best at is his life-saving ability. Even if he was lucky enough to be severely injured, Zhang Yu could use the Orochimaru Ryu substitution technique to easily avoid all kinds of damage. So now we're stuck in a weird scene. Charlotte Lingling is very powerful every time and has the power to break mountains and rocks. But Zhang Yu was able to easily escape every time. If you can't hit it, you just can't hit it. Facing Charlotte Lingling's violent attacks like a storm, Zhang Yu was like a swimming fish, always able to easily dodge. Therefore, Charlotte Lingling is very angry now, especially annoyed. The thunder and flames on her body exploded, and the lightning, thunder, and fierce flames boiled up. From this, we can see Charlotte Lingling's anger at this time. Ah, damn bastard! What is his ability? As one of the four emperors, Charlotte Lingling, he has encountered various powerful people and killed countless pirates. But she has never met someone as difficult as Zhang Yu. Like a swimming fish, he can dodge his own attacks every time. Even if he relied on his powerful Haki to lock onto him, he was lucky enough to injure the member of the Akatsuki organization in front of him. He can also shed his injured body like a snake shedding its skin. Therefore, after fighting for so long, Zhang Yu still seems to be a normal person. Bastard, I'm going to kill you, kill you. Lot Lingling roared even more angrily and launched another fierce attack on Zhang Yu. Faced with such a fierce attack from Charlotte Lingling, Zhang Yu still easily dodged it. It's almost time. It's time to leave. Zhang Yu thought in his heart. With his current strength, he simply cannot defeat Charlotte Lingling and there is no point in continuing to fight. And now Zhang Yu is the target of all the forces on the sea. Whether it is the navy, the world government or the four emperors, they all want to catch Zhang Yu and get the One Piece treasure. If the battle lasts for a long time and people from other forces come, it will be troublesome. After escaping an attack from Charlotte Lingling again, Zhang Yu quickly retreated and at the same time quickly released his ninjutsu. Earth Escape Earth Dragon Bullet Technique In front of Zhang Yu, a piece of mud condensed into an earth dragon and attacked Charlotte Lingling's face directly. Charlotte Lingling's tough body is known as the steel balloon. Her whole body is extremely hard, even her face is also very hard. Although Zhang Yu's ninjutsu attack cannot harm Charlotte Lingling, it can disgust her. I saw this earth dragon explode directly on Charlotte Lingling's face, 
and the sticky muddy water was directly breathed on her face. Hee hee. I go first. If you want the treasure of one piece, just come to me. Zhang Yu said a word and disappeared directly. It's so cool to just show off and leave. Being slapped in the face again and being made miserable by the mud, the anger in Charlotte Lingling's heart had completely exploded. Ah, I'm going to kill you, kill you. Where to run, where to run? Charlotte Lingling kept roaring, the sound was so loud that it could break people's eardrums. The surrounding flames and thunder and lightning are also constantly boiling. Violent attacks of all kinds were unleashed across the island. Although Zhang Yu left, there are still people from the Big Mom Pirates on the island. These people were unlucky. Facing Charlotte Lingling's attack, they could only resist without daring to escape from the island. Because they knew very well that on this island they would be injured at most by Charlotte Lingling. If they escaped, death would be waiting for them. After venting for a while, Charlotte Lingling finally calmed down. All continue to pursue. This member of the Akatsuki organization must be killed. At this time, Charlotte Lingling finally regained her senses, but her eyes were still as angry as spitting out flames. Since becoming the Yonko, she has never suffered such a loss. Only by killing this member of the Akatsuki organization can she vent her resentment. Yes, Mom. The seriously injured members of the Big Mom Pirates did not dare to complain and could only continue to search for Zhang Yu's traces. Zhang Yu didn't stop at all and continued to rush towards the Red Earth continent. Along the way, I wanted to be attacked by different pirate groups. But these pirate groups were very weak, and Zhang Yu destroyed them very easily. However, Zhang Yu's power did not cover up these greedy pirates. But this is not the end yet. Just when Zhang Yu just landed on an island, a group of pirates heard the news again and surrounded Zhang Yu. It's him, he's a member of the Akatsuki organization. He can resurrect Roger of the pirates. He must have got One Piece's treasure. For the treasure of the Pirate King, attack. These pirates took out their weapons and rushed towards Zhang Yu quickly. What a trouble! Zhang Yu said speechlessly after seeing these desperate pirates. Zhang Yu now feels like a rat crossing the street, why is he always attacked by pirates wherever he goes? Orochimaru, played by Zhang Yu now, is the one who can resurrect the Pirate King. In the eyes of all the pirate groups, Zhang Yu must have obtained the One Piece treasure. In order to get the treasure of the Pirate King, no matter how powerful Zhang Yu is, he only has one person. These pirates have been conquering the sea for many years, all for the treasure of the Pirate King. In the past, the treasures of the Pirate King were all illusory things. But things are different now. There is someone who can resurrect the Pirate King and get the information about the treasure directly from the Pirate King. How could pirates like them not be excited? This is the moment when many pirates are closest to the Pirate King's treasure. Even if they know that they can't do it, they can't give up. Kill. For the treasure of the Pirate King. I must get the treasure of the Pirate King. The pirates all had red eyes and rushed towards Zhang Yu with their teeth and claws bared, looking as if they wanted to eat Zhang Yu alive. Since you are seeking death, then I will help you. Wind Escape Big Breakthrough The strong wind turned into a wind blade, sweeping up and rushing towards countless pirates. Just when Zhang Yu was killing these pirates on the island, Two huge ships appeared not far from the island. One was a beast-shaped ship, studded with ivory. And one is a ship like a whale. There is no doubt that these two ships are the flagships of the Whitebeard Pirates and the Beast Pirates. Both of them came here for Zhang Yu. On the Whitebeard Pirate ship, a pirate is reporting to Whitebeard. Report Dad, we just got information that the Big Mom Pirates have discovered members of the Akatsuki organization. As soon as the pirate group finished speaking, Ace rushed out and asked immediately. Then what, what's going on? Did the Big Mom Pirates capture this Akatsuki member? Ace's expression was very excited at this time, very excited. And Ace couldn't help but be excited now. Because Ace is the son of Roger, the Pirate King. 
Now that members of the Akatsuki organization can resurrect their father, this has a huge impact on Ace. Although Ace strongly disagrees with his father, he does not want his father to fall into the hands of others. Captain Ace, the Big Mom Pirates didn't catch this Akatsuki member. The members of this Akatsuki organization are not only very powerful, but also have very weird abilities. He has escaped from Charlotte Lingling and should be on this island now, the pirate said quickly. That's good, that's good, Ace felt relieved after hearing what this pirate group said. Ace, why are you so excited? Are you interested in this member of the Akatsuki organization? You also want One Piece's treasure. The other squad captains asked curiously, did they not know that Ace was the son of the Pirate King? Um, I just want to get the One Piece treasure for my dad, Ace thought for a moment and said. After hearing Ace's answer, the captains of other divisions didn't ask any more questions. Only Tikai, who was hiding in a corner, looked at Ace and frowned. He always felt that it was not that simple that Ace was so excited. But Teach didn't think much about it. Now he had more important things to plan, which was to find a way to join the Akatsuki organization. Teach is the future Blackbeard. He is a very ambitious man. He also wants to dominate the sea. It's a pity that he is not strong enough and does not have the power to dominate the sea. Therefore, Tiki hid beside Whitebeard, the most powerful man in the world, looking for ways to improve his strength. At this time, the Akatsuki organization appeared and shocked the four emperors with its powerful strength. Especially now that another member of the Akatsuki organization has appeared, and he is able to resurrect the former pirate King Roger. This gave Teach a new idea. If I can join the Akatsuki organization, can I take the opportunity to obtain the treasure of the pirate king and at the same time find a way to increase my power in the Akatsuki organization? But how to join the Akatsuki organization has become a problem. From the information I collected, it seems that the members of the Akatsuki organization are very mysterious, and their whereabouts are also very secretive. Even if I want to join the Akatsuki organization, I can't find the members of the Akatsuki organization. And now all the forces on the sea are besieging the members of the Akatsuki organization. Perhaps, this is an opportunity to contact members of the Akatsuki organization and take the opportunity to join the Akatsuki organization. Dad, a huge pirate ship was spotted ahead. This seems to be the flagship of the Beast Pirates. Dad, Kaido the Beast is here too. A pirate held a telescope and looked at the pirate ship in the distance and shouted loudly. Oh, is this guy Kaido here too? After hearing what the pirate said, Whitebeard also stood up holding his big sword. The Beast Pirates also discovered the arrival of the Whitebeard Pirates. Boss Kaido, the Whitebeard's flagship was discovered ahead. Whitebeard is coming. One of the Beast's Pirates immediately said. Whitebeard, is this old guy here too? Hey, don't even think about stopping me from killing members of the Akatsuki organization. Kaido the Beast also stood up from his throne and looked at Whitebeard on the ship in the distance. This time, the Beast Pirates came alone, not bringing the three disasters and the flying six cells, but only some ordinary members. According to Hayaku Shao Kaido, he alone is enough to kill the members of the Akatsuki organization. Kulieli. Kaido, go back. I want this member of the Akatsuki organization. Whitebeard looked at Kaido and shouted loudly, with that tone that he didn't take Kaido of the Beast seriously at all. But it's right to think about it. Although Whitebeard and Kaido are both Yonko, who is Whitebeard? He is the most powerful man in the world. And when he was in the Rocks Pirates, Whitebeard was a formal member, while Kaido of the Beasts was just an intern. Therefore, Whitebeard does not take Kaido of the Beasts seriously. Bastard, Whitebeard. No one can stop me from killing this Akatsuki member, not even you. Kaido of all beasts looked at Whitebeard and became furious. Kulilai, if this is the case, then there is nothing we can do. Zhen Zhen Fruit. Whitebeard didn't say much and directly activated his ability to shake the fruit. 
The white light gathered into his fist, and he punched it hard in the direction of the beast's pirates. Click! The air cracked instantly as if it was shattered, and a powerful shock force burst out, rushing towards the beast pirates. Ah, stop it for me! Feeling Whitebeard's attack, Kaido of the beasts did not retreat, but directly faced him. Boom! With a huge crash, Kaido of the beasts successfully blocked Whitebeard's attack with his powerful body. Even though the impact wasn't huge enough, his ship still rocked from side to side, making it look like it was about to roll over. Ah, Boss Kaido! We can't fight here. If we continue to fight here, our ship may capsize, the pirates on the ship shouted in panic. They are all devil fruit users. If the boat capsizes and falls into the sea, it will be troublesome. Rush up to me. Today I'm going to show Whitebeard how powerful I am, Kaido the beast roared loudly. The beast pirate ship quickly rushed towards the Whitebeard pirates. Everyone in the Whitebeard pirates was also shocked when they saw the beast pirate ship rushing towards them. Dad, what should we do now? The beast pirates rushed over. There is no way our ship can withstand such an impact. There are also many devil fruit users in the Whitebeard pirates. If something goes wrong with their ship, it would be very troublesome to fall into the sea. Well, landing on the island. Go to the island and teach Kaido a lesson. Whitebeard glanced at the island in the distance and said. It's, Dad. After hearing Whitebeard's order, the huge pirate ship quickly rushed towards the island. Whitebeard, where are you running? Chase me. Seeing the Whitebeard pirate ship trying to escape, where is Kaido roaring? Kulai Lai. Kaido, you are still so annoying. Shock. Seeing Kaido screaming, Whitebeard once again activated the power of the shaking fruit and punched Kaido of the beasts. The powerful shock force attacks Kaido. Faced with this fierce attack, Kaido still did not dodge and directly resisted it with his body. Soon, the Whitebeard pirate ship docked at the shore, and the beast pirates followed closely behind. Whitebeard, go to hell! As soon as he arrived on the island, Beast Kaido rushed directly towards Whitebeard. Facing the charging Beast Kaido, Whitebeard held a huge long sword, and the power of shaking fruits was concentrated on the long sword. A fierce knife slashed directly upwards. Boom! There was a huge impact, and Kaido the beast was knocked away. The huge body hit the ground directly, creating a huge deep pit. But was Hayaku Kaido defeated so easily? Obviously it's impossible. He is known as Immortal Kaido, how could he be defeated so easily? Roar! With a roar! Beast Kaido climbed out of the pit and rushed towards Whitebeard again. Boss Kaido, go and support Boss Kaido. Seeing their boss launching an attack, everyone in the Beast Pirates was not idle either. They also activated their Devil Fruit abilities one by one, transformed into crazy beasts, and rushed towards Whitebeard. Quick, protect Daddy! When everyone in the Whitebeard Pirates saw the Beast's Pirates rushing towards them, they all joined the battle without any hesitation. For a moment, the Whitebeard Pirates and the Beast Pirates started fighting. Whether it is the Beast's Pirates or the Whitebeard Pirates, these are the Yonko Pirates, and they are all very powerful. The battle between the two Yonko Pirate groups was so intense that it could be described as earth-shattering. Among them, the members of the Beast Pirates are basically animal-type devil fruit users with rough skin and thick flesh. For them, the best way to attack is to fight in various ways and directly collide with the enemy. And what about the Whitebeard Pirates? They are good at everything, there are natural devil fruit users, superhuman devil fruit users, and there are swordsmen who are good at swordsmanship. But no matter what the attack method is, everyone in the Whitebeard Pirates is good at attacking. Such a fierce battle here also instantly attracted Zhang Yu's attention on the island. That is. Whitebeard Pirates Beast Pirates Why did the two of them fight? Seeing the two pirate groups fighting fiercely somewhere, Zhang Yu felt very confused. But Zhang Yu didn't think much about it. 
the battle between the Whitebeard Pirates and the Beasts Pirates has nothing to do with him. Moreover, the battle between the two Yonko Pirates is also an opportunity for him to fish in troubled waters. The members of the Yonko Pirates would definitely be good sacrifices. Thinking of this, Zhang Yu quickly rushed towards the battlefield. Buffalo Atmos, the captain of the 13th Division of the Whitebeard Pirates, is a very tall man, holding a huge sword in each hand. Every swing of the long sword can easily repel the attacking enemy. But now he is facing the Beast Pirates animal type Devil Fruit users, who have very powerful defensive abilities. His swordsmanship is a bit unsatisfactory. At this time he was fighting with a Grey Wolf. And this Grey Wolf is the animal type Grey Wolf Devil Fruit user among the Beast Pirates. Damn, that's really hard to deal with, Atmos, holding two swords in his hands, frowned and looked at the werewolf in front of him. Haha, I will tear you apart today, the Grey Wolf kept roaring at Atmos and rushed towards him with its fangs and claws bared. Facing the charging Grey Wolf, Atmos reacted very quickly. He waved the two long swords in his hands and easily blocked the attack. Just when the two were fighting each other, Zhang Yu suddenly rushed over from a distance. What a nice offering! I want you to. Seeing the two of them, Zhang Yu didn't hesitate at all and launched an attack directly. Latent Shadow Snake Hand Countless pythons rushed out and rushed towards the two of them. The two of them didn't even have a chance to react, so they were swallowed directly by the python and fell into Zhang Yu's hands. Zhang Yu's actions also attracted the attention of other members of the Whitebeard Pirates. No, he captured Atmos. That dress. He is a member of the Akatsuki organization. Damn it, members of the Akatsuki organization captured Atmosphere. Hand over Atmos. The members of the Whitebeard Pirates were still very united. Seeing Zhang Yu capture Atmos, everyone launched an attack on Zhang Yu. Even Whitebeard punched him. Boom! The powerful shock force directly knocked Zhang Yu away. Zhang Yu flew backwards and fell to the ground without any movement. Do you died. Others who were curious rushed over, but there were traces of Zhang Yu here and there, leaving only a piece of snake skin. It turns out that when Zhang Yu was attacked by Whitebeard, he had already released Orochimaru's substitute technique and escaped. Damn it, members of the Akatsuki organization captured Atmos. Dad, what should we do? All the other Whitebeard members looked towards Whitebeard. If we catch up, no one can capture my son. Whitebeard said with a serious face. The Whitebeard pirates, like the Big Mom pirates, are family-oriented pirate groups. The only difference is that the members of the Big Mom Pirates are all pirates born in Charlotte Lingling's life, while the Whitebeard Pirates are. They are all the godsons Whitebeard has acquired over the years. Although he is a godson, Whitebeard loves every member very much and treats them as his own sons. Just like Ace was captured by the Navy in the original book. In order to save his son Ace, the Whitebeard Pirates all mobilized. And now one of his sons has been kidnapped by members of the Akatsuki organization. No matter what the reason is, Whitebeard cannot let Zhang Yu go. But unlike Whitebeard, Kaido doesn't care so much about his men. For Kaido, being captured by members of the Akatsuki organization means that he has no strength, and he doesn't want such subordinates. Now he only has one thought, and that is to let the Whitebeard in front of him know how powerful he is. Kaido is known as the strongest creature, and Kaido has fought with Whitebeard many times. But every time it ends in its own failure. Therefore, Kaido is very unconvinced. Every time he sees Whitebeard, he will attack Whitebeard crazily. Hum, Kaido, I don't have time to fight with you now. I want to save my son first. Tremble. Seeing Kaido charging towards him again, Whitebeard punched him directly. Boom! A powerful shock force burst out, and Kaido and all the beast pirates in front of him were directly knocked away. Board the ship and be sure to rescue Atmos. After doing all this, Whitebeard waved his hand, and all the members of Whitebeard's pirate group boarded the ship and began to search for Zhang Yu's traces. 
After a while, Kaido and many members of the Beast Pirates rushed back in a panic. But there are people from the Whitebeard Pirates here and there. Damn bastard! All aboard! Whether you are Whitebeard or a member of the Akatsuki organization, I want you to die. Soon everyone from the Kaido Beasts Pirates boarded the ship, and followed the Whitebeard Pirates in the direction they left to catch up. At this time, a colorful ship appeared in the distance again. There is no doubt that this is also the Big Mom pirate ship that came after Zhang Yu. Mom, we spotted the Beast pirate ship and the Whitebeard pirate ship ahead. The people on the Big Mom pirate ship immediately reported it. Are the two of them here too? It's pretty fast. Follow them. If you find a member of the Akatsuki organization, grab them directly. Charlotte Lingling said with a frown. Although Charlotte Lingling is usually very crazy, it depends on who she faces. Now she is facing Kaido and Whitebeard, who are also the four emperors. Even Charlotte Lingling must be careful. However, if members of the Akatsuki organization are discovered, Charlotte Lingling will still launch a sudden attack in order to obtain the treasure of the Pirate King and conquer the sea. On the sea, Three huge pirate ships were sailing quickly. These three pirate ships are very huge, and each ship has a huge pirate flag hanging on it. Seeing the flag on the ship, all the ships from all forces were frightened and quickly moved out of the way. Because these three pirate ships are the flagship of the Whitebeard Pirates, the flagship of the Beasts Pirates, and the flag of the Big Mom Pirates. These are the four emperors of the New World, the most powerful pirate group on the sea. Oh my god! What did I see? Whitebeard pirates, beasts pirates, big mom pirates. Three Yonko, what are they going to do? Are they going to attack the world government? The Yonko pirates, for other people, this is an extremely terrifying thing. Every Yonko pirate group can easily destroy a country. And now the three Yonko pirate groups actually appeared on the sea at the same time. How could they not be surprised? Don't you know it yet? They are all for the members of the Akatsuki organization. What? A member of the Akatsuki organization. A member of the Akatsuki organization can mobilize all the four emperors. Is this the power of the Akatsuki organization? The Akatsuki organization is simply too powerful. Although the Whitebeard Pirates, Beasts Pirates, and Big Mom Pirates are chasing Zhang Yu at the same time. But their purposes are different. Among them, the Whitebeard Pirates want to rescue the people captured by Zhang Yu, and Ace also wants to prevent Zhang Yu from resurrecting his father. And Charlotte Lingling wanted to get the pirate group's treasure and powerful power. As for the last Beast Pirates, he was purely there to fight. The three Yonko pirates with different purposes quickly searched for Zhang Yu's traces on the sea. The red-haired pirates, one of the four emperors, are also looking for Zhang Yu. Captain, we just received news that the Whitebeard pirates, Beasts pirates, and Big Mom pirates have all taken action. What should we do? Everyone in the red-haired pirate group looked at Shanks. Although the red-haired pirates are the Yonko pirates. However, the red-haired pirates only have one ship and less than a hundred members, so they are very backward in terms of intelligence. Even if they want to find Zhang Yu, they have no intelligence. There is no way to search for Zhang Yu in the sea like the other three Yonko pirates. Hmm. This member of the Akatsuki organization can actually resurrect Captain Roger. We have to find him. But we don't have exact information, so we can't find him at all. Red-haired Shanks couldn't help but frown. Shanks only formed one ship because he liked freedom and was an elite pirate group like the former Roger Pirates. I haven't felt anything at ordinary times. But now when he really wants to find someone, Shanks feels a little powerless. Beckman, what do you suggest? Shanks asked his deputy Captain Beckman. Hmm. Judging from the intelligence from the Tianxia organization, his target should be the Red Earth Continent. Let's go directly to the Red Earth Continent and wait for him. I believe that with the strength of this member of the Akatsuki organization, we will eventually reach the Red Earth Continent, 
Beckman thought for a moment and said. Okay, then let's go to the Red Earth Continent. Waiting for the arrival of Akatsuki members. The huge red-haired pirate ship headed directly towards the Red Earth Continent. The four emperors on the sea have already started to take action. How could other forces let go of this opportunity to obtain the treasure of the Pirate King? Navy Headquarters Although the Navy has not taken any action, the Navy has not stopped inquiring about the members of the Akatsuki organization for a moment. In the highest conference room of the Navy Headquarters All the Navy's top brass are gathered here. Everyone, this is the news I just got. Warring States said with a serious expression, and at the same time passed the information in his hand to everyone's hands. The Whitebeard Pirates, Beasts Pirates, Big Mom Pirates and Red Hair Pirates all took action. Their targets are all Orochimaru, a member of the Akatsuki organization. After hearing Sengoku's words, all the senior Navy officials were shocked even if they had known that the four emperors were going to take action. The Yonko Pirates are the most terrifying pirate group on the sea. Even if the Navy headquarters wants to fight against the Yonko Pirates, it will be very difficult. But now the four Yonko Pirate groups actually started to act at the same time. How could they, the senior Navy officials, not be surprised? So scared. All the four emperors actually took action. Kizaru said with a scared look on his face. If he was pretending to be scared before, now he is really scared when all four emperors are acting together. The four emperors act at the same time. We can solve them together, Akainu said with a jealous look on his face. The four emperors can be solved so easily, and there are also members of the Akatsuki organization, Ching Ji then said. Hmm, that's right. The four emperors are not so easy to solve and there is an even more terrifying Akatsuki organization. This time we not only have to face the four emperors but also the Akatsuki organization. This is information about members of the Akatsuki organization. Staff officer he continued, while a series of information appeared in front of everyone. All of this information is information about various members of the Akatsuki organization. Akatsuki organization paints six paths, can manipulate gravity and repulsion, unknown fruit ability. Akatsuki Kakuzu, unkillable, can take away other people's devil fruit abilities, unknown fruit abilities. Akatsuki Hayden, unkillable, can transfer injuries, unknown fruit ability. The Red Sand Scorpion of the Akatsuki organization, can kill the target and create a puppet. The puppet has all the power of life and the ability of unknown fruits. Akatsuki Organization Diadera, can make explosive clay dolls, unknown fruit ability. Orochimaru of the Akatsuki Organization, has the ability to resurrect the dead, strong self-preservation ability, and unknown fruit ability. The Navy and the World Government are indeed the most powerful forces in the sea. Relying on the powerful intelligence system, the abilities of all the members of the Akatsuki Organization have been completely analyzed. Even Zhang Yu, who was playing Aizen, was very surprised to see this information. Relying on these powerful intelligence analysis capabilities, the Navy can formulate the best plan in advance based on the characteristics of different pirates to restrain their powerful capabilities. Just like the war on top in the original work. Although the power of Whitebeard's shock fruit is very powerful. However, the Navy headquarters was able to raise steel walls in advance to block the shock fruits attack. However, the abilities of the members of the Akatsuki organization are really weird, and each one has extraordinary abilities. Even if the Navy headquarters wanted to restrain themselves, they would not be able to do so. This is the ability of each member of the Akatsuki organization. Each one is very powerful. Please be careful. Now Orochimaru a member of the Akatsuki organization, is being pursued, and they may come to support him. Staff officer he said to everyone. Other high-ranking Navy officers also gasped after reading the information about Akatsuki organization members. Because every ability of the members of the Akatsuki organization is very weird and powerful. With abilities such as immortality, they don't know how to fight when facing an enemy they can't kill. 
Marshal of the Warring States period, what should we do? Should we just sit back and watch the four emperors act here? Asked a marine. No, of course we allow the navy to continue to be so arrogant. According to our analysis, the target of members of the Akatsuki organization may be the Red Earth Continent. What we have to do now is to go to the Red Earth Continent and lie in wait, waiting for the members of the Akatsuki organization and the pirates to fall into the trap. It's best to annihilate them all, Warring States said with a serious expression. If this operation can directly solve the Yonko and Akatsuki organization, it will solve a huge threat. However, the Warring States period just wanted to improve everyone's fighting spirit. Because Sengoku also knew very well how powerful the four emperors and Akatsuki organizations were, even if the navy and the world government acted at the same time, it would be very difficult to solve them. This operation will be good if it can destroy the plot of the Akatsuki organization and block the attack of the four emperors. Although this action is very important. But our naval headquarters cannot lack the combat power to guard it. Warring states looked at all the senior navy officials in front of him. But facing the gaze of warring states, everyone avoided it very much. They also want to participate in this operation, but do not want to stay at the navy headquarters to guard their homes. In the end, Sengoku's eyes rested on Zhang Yu, who was pretending to be Aizen. Aizen, I'll leave the navy headquarters to you. Warring states said very solemnly to Zhang Yu. I. Zhang Yu looked at Zhang Guo with some surprise. Zhang Yu never expected that the Warring States period would allow him to stay and defend the naval headquarters. What is this for? Isn't this an opportunity for myself to take control of the navy headquarters? This is simply letting yourself steal your home. No, the Warring States period simply gave his hometown to himself. Aizen, although I know you don't want to stay at the navy headquarters. But the navy headquarters is asking you to. Warring states looked at Zhang Yu and said very seriously. Don't want to. Who says I don't want to? I totally mean it. How could Zhang Yu refuse the navy headquarters that came to his door? Um, I accept the order. I just happened to find a few good swordsman talents. During this time, I can just teach them a little bit. Zhang Yu thought for a moment and agreed reluctantly. During this time, when Zhang Yu was playing a member of the Akatsuki organization, he also did not forget to play Aizen. In the navy headquarters, Zhang Yu plays Aizen, constantly instructing the swordsman navy to practice swordsmanship, and at the same time activate the ability of the Zan Pakuto, Kyoka Suijutsu. Everyone in the entire navy headquarters was basically hypnotized by Zhang Yu. Even if Zhang Yu entered the secret room of the navy headquarters to search for some documents, no one would find it. Therefore, in the minds of many navy, Zhang Yu is a powerful, smiling, and very gentle person. It is difficult to say who is the most powerful among the navy headquarters. But to say who is the most popular, it has to be Aizen Soyajuk. Even Akainu, who usually dislikes people, couldn't find any fault when facing Zhang Yu. It can be said that Zhang Yu has now completely gained the trust of all navies in the naval headquarters. It is precisely because of this that the Warring States period safely handed over the naval headquarters to Zhang Yu. And this is also a helpless move. This time the navy headquarters will face the Yonko pirates and the unfathomable and terrifying Akatsuki organization. To withstand their attack, the navy must be deployed in full force. But the navy headquarters cannot but leave enough combat power. If they leave and the navy headquarters is attacked and occupied by pirates, it will be troublesome. After much deliberation, the only option was to keep Aizen, the world's greatest swordsman, at the navy headquarters. Of course, the Warring States period was not defenseless. In addition to letting Zhang Yu guard the naval headquarters, the Warring States period also left a dozen naval vice admirals. These vice admirals are all loyal to the navy. If Zhang Yu is really guilty of wrongdoing, these dozen navy vice admirals can also capture Zhang Yu. But are these dozen vice admirals really a threat to Zhang Yu? Obviously impossible. 
They had long been hypnotized by Jianjai Huzan Pakuto Kyoka Suijitsu. No matter what Zhang Yu does, in their eyes, Zhang Yu is a perfect admiral. And what Zhang Yu wants them to see, they will see. After arranging everything, warring states led the elites of the navy headquarters and rushed towards the Red Earth continent. Zhang Yu is the only top commander of the entire naval headquarters. It can be said that Zhang Yu alone has the final say in the entire naval headquarters now. Zhang Yu can do whatever he wants. Somewhere in the sea, there are countless islands suspended in the sky. The islands in the sky, the waterfalls falling in the air, and countless birds flying between the islands look like a fairyland on earth. But in this beautiful environment, there is a terrifying and powerful pirate hidden. On the central island, there is a huge ship docked. The front of the ship has the shape of a huge golden lion. The cabin door opened, and a man with golden hair like a lion came out. The shape of this man is also very strange. There is a rudder stuck on his head, and his broken legs are replaced by two famous swords. There is only one person with such a look in the entire One Piece world, and that is Shiki, the captain of the flying pirates in the city of the Golden Lion at the same time as One Piece Roger. It's so boring. Since Roger's death, there is no one on the sea who can compete with me. Although that guy with white beard is very powerful, he actually started to start a family. I can definitely destroy the East China Sea and let this guy Roger know my power. Golden Lion's cousin and Gordy Roger is as famous as Edward Whitebeard Newgate. But unlike Roger and Whitebeard, Shiki has the ambition to conquer the world. He also asked Roger many times to help him and conquer the world together. But Roger had no interest in the world of government and decisively rejected him. However, after a fierce battle, the Golden Lion still regarded Roger as a confidant. After hearing that Roger had been caught by the Navy, the Golden Lion couldn't accept it and directly attacked the Navy headquarters to seek an explanation for Roger. In the end, he failed and was imprisoned in Impel Down City, the underwater prison. However, the Golden Lion still did not give up, cut off his legs, and eventually became the first person to escape from the Impel Down City. The Golden Lion escaped from Impel Down City and planned to destroy the East China Sea to send Roger on his last journey. Therefore, the Golden Lion has been hiding here all these years, carrying out plans to destroy the East China Sea. Captain, Captain, no good, something big happened on the sea. At this moment, a pirate ran over and shouted loudly to the Golden Lion. What a big deal! Roger is dead. Is there anything else worthy of my attention on the sea? Could it be that guy with white beard, the Golden Lion said very disdainfully. From the Golden Lion's point of view, there are only two people in the entire sea who can be considered his rivals, one is Roger the Pirate King, and the other is Roger Whitebeard. As for the others, the pirate supernovas and the powerful pirates are just a bunch of clowns. No, no, there is a powerful Akatsuki organization. This member of the Akatsuki organization has the ability to resurrect the dead. He resurrected Roger of the Pirates, the pirate said immediately. The place where the Golden Lion hides is very secret. It can be said that even the Navy does not know it, let alone the News Pigeon. Therefore, it was not until now that Golden Lion knew the information about the Akatsuki organization. What? What did you say? Someone actually resurrected Roger. The Golden Lion snatched the newspaper away and laughed when he saw the news about Roger's resurrection in the newspaper. Haha. <laughs> Roger is actually resurrected. Xia Organization? I must get this Akatsuki Organization. Set sail and go find the Akatsuki Organization immediately. Captain, what about our plans and experiments? The critical moment has now come. The pirate asked immediately. No more, no more. All plans have been abandoned, I'm going to find Roger now. The reason why the Golden Lion carried out the plan to destroy Donghai was for Roger. Now that Roger can be resurrected, what other plans does he have? Under the power of the Golden Lion's fluttering fruit, countless islands in the sky announced that they were floating and moving rapidly towards the distance. Above the sea, 
the huge pirate ship of the Whitebeard Pirates broke through the water and sailed quickly. Not far from the Whitebeard Pirates, there are the Beast Pirate Ship and the Big Mom Pirate Ship. Although these two pirate ships are a little far away from the Whitebeard Pirate Ship, they are not far away. As long as something happens here with the Whitebeard Pirates, the Beast's Pirates and the Big Mom Pirates will be able to come over quickly. Dad, we can't go on like this. Our target is too big, members of the Akatsuki organization can find us and escape from our hands every time. And there are also the Beast's Pirates and the Big Mom Pirates who are eyeing them. If this keeps up, we'll never be able to catch him, Marco said with a frown. The Whitebeard Pirates, relying on their powerful intelligence capabilities, are able to quickly discover Zhang Yu's traces every time. But every time he tried to catch Zhang Yu, Zhang Yu could always escape in various ways. After chasing the members of the Akatsuki organization for so long, not only did they fail to capture the members of the Akatsuki organization and rescue the captured Atmos, but they also had several battles with the Beast's Pirates and the Big Mom Pirates. The targets of the Beast's Pirates and the Big Mom Pirates are also members of the Akatsuki organization. Of course, the two of them would not watch the Whitebeard Pirates capture members of the Akatsuki organization like this. Therefore, every time Zhang Yu is discovered, the Whitebeard Pirates haven't taken action yet, but the Beast's Pirates and Big Mom Pirates have already taken action. Directly launched an attack on the Whitebeard Pirates. We really can't go on like this. The ability of this member of the Akatsuki organization is so weird. He can actually shed his skin like a snake and resist my attacks. Whitebeard's brows were also frowning. His son was kidnapped, and he must rescue him no matter what. Dad, I suggest that one person go and hold down the members of the Akatsuki organization. After we deal with the Big Mom Pirates and the Beast Pirates, we will arrest this member of the Akatsuki organization. Marco thought for a while and then said. Let one person stop the members of the Akatsuki organization. The members of the Akatsuki organization are very powerful. You might get killed if you are not careful. Hearing Marco's words, the captains of the other divisions all fell silent. Although Marco's idea is good, don't forget that they are facing terrifying members of the Akatsuki organization. After fighting against members of the Akatsuki organization, they were very sure that the members of the Akatsuki organization were at least as strong as generals. Asking them to stop a man with the strength of a general would look like sending him to death. Among all the division captains of the entire Whitebeard Pirates, only Marco is the one with the strength of a general. Just when Marco was about to stop this incident, Teach suddenly walked out. Dad, let me go. Seeing Tiki walking out, the rest of the Whitebeard Pirates were very surprised. Marshal D. Teach, since he joined the Whitebeard Pirates, he has been very low-key and looks like a good old guy. Even when he was competing for the captaincy of the second division, he automatically quit and gave it to Ace. If Tikai hadn't come out today, these squad captains really wouldn't remember such a person. Teach, no, it's too dangerous. Let me go, Marco said quickly. In Marco's opinion, a person as low-key as Tik must not be very powerful. Asking him to stop members of the Akatsuki organization would be as good as committing suicide. No, let me go. I am confident that I can stop the members of the Akatsuki organization. I also want to rescue Atmos. Teach said very forcefully, as if he had to go. But as the future Blackbeard, is Teach really going to die? Obviously impossible. First, Teach is very confident in his own strength. Even if he cannot defeat the members of the Akatsuki organization, he still has no problem in protecting himself. Second, Teach wants to join the Akatsuki organization and gain powerful power. And now there happened to be an opportunity to have one-on-one -on -one contact with the Akatsuki organization, how could he let it go? But others don't know that. Now I see that Teach is planning to risk his own life to save Atmos, and I am very moved. Teach, you can't go. You're right, the members of the Akatsuki organization are very powerful. You could die here. Dad, 
you must not let Teach go. Originally, Teach was a little transparent member of the Whitebeard Pirates, and no other captains of the other divisions usually noticed him. Unexpectedly, Teach was such a selfless person. For a moment, everyone looked at Tikai with admiration. Teach, do you really want to go? Even Whitebeard looked at Tiki in surprise. Yes, Dad, please let me go, Teach said immediately. All right. Then go ahead. If you cannot stop this member of the Akatsuki organization, you can retreat directly. I don't want to lose another son. Whitebeard also looked at Tikai's instructions with a solemn expression. In this way, after Tiki's performance and under the reluctant gaze of many squad captains, Tiki went alone to find members of the Akatsuki organization. Just as Teach was taking action, the Big Mom Pirates and the Beast Pirates also determined the island where the Akatsuki organization was located. Seeing the Whitebeard Pirates taking action, they did not hesitate at all and launched an attack directly on Whitebeard. Their two targets are also members of the Akatsuki organization. Even if they are not members of the Akatsuki organization, they cannot fall into the hands of Whitebeard. Sons. Let them see the power of our Whitebeard pirates. Seeing the Big Mom pirates and Beast pirates rushing towards them, Whitebeard shouted loudly, and powerful domineering burst out from his body. Faced with the domineering power of Whitebeard, Charlotte Lingling and Kaido Kaido did not show any weakness. They also released their overlord colored domineering power. The three powerful domineering energies collided with each other, and the sea suddenly exploded and became rough. While the Whitebeard pirates were fighting the Beast's pirates and the Big Mom pirates, Teach came to Zhang Yu's island alone. Zhang Yu, who was on the island, also noticed the Whitebeard pirates and others who were fighting in the distance. It's really troublesome. Why are they chasing me again? In the world of One Piece, it's really hard to hide your identity, Zhang Yu thought in his heart. In the world of One Piece, most places are oceans. As for land, there is only the Red Earth continent, and the rest are scattered islands. Therefore, if you want to sail, you need ships. Especially on the Great Sea Route, you need a sailing pointer to reach another island. Because of this, it is very easy to find traces of a person. Just when Zhang Yu was thinking about leaving the island, Tikai found Zhang Yu. Member of the Akatsuki organization, I finally found you, Tikai looked at Zhang Yu and said. Whitebeard Pirates. Wind Escape Big Breakthrough. Seeing that the man who appeared in front of him had the symbol of the Whitebeard Pirates on his body, Zhang Yu launched an attack without any hesitation. The dense wind blades were like raindrops, completely covering him. Facing Zhang Yu's attack, Tikai's reaction was also very fast. He quickly dodged and easily avoided Zhang Yu's attack. It can be seen from this that Teach's strength is also extraordinary. Just when Zhang Yu was about to attack again, Tikai quickly said. Wait, members of the Akatsuki organization, I'm not here to fight. I hope to join the Xia organization. Zhang Yu couldn't help but be stunned when he heard the words of the person in front of him. You want to join our Xia organization? As far as I know, the members of the Whitebeard Pirates are all Whitebeard's sons. Are you going to betray Whitebeard? Zhang Yu looked at the person in front of him with some surprise. I do not know how it is. Zhang Yu always feels that the person in front of him looks familiar. Lower Marshal D.T. Kai really hopes to join the Akatsuki organization, T. Kai looked at Zhang Yu and said. Marshal D. Tiki. Future Blackbeard. Zhang Yu suddenly became interested when he heard his name. Now T. Kai doesn't have the standard Blackbeard on his face, so Zhang Yu didn't recognize him for a while. Zhang Yu didn't believe it if the other members of the Whitebeard Pirates were going to betray Whitebeard and join the Akatsuki organization. But if Blackbeard betrays Whitebeard in the future and joins the Akatsuki organization, Zhang Yu somewhat believes it. It's not clear to anyone, but Zhang Yu knows it very well. Marshal D. Teach is a very ambitious man who has been hiding in the Whitebeard Pirates for decades just to get the dark fruit. Betting your future on something that may not necessarily work out. 
but with the emergence of the Akatsuki organization, everything changed. In the past, the Whitebeard Pirates were the most powerful existence. But since the emergence of the Akatsuki organization, the Akatsuki organization is now the most powerful force on the sea. Moreover, every member of the Akatsuki organization showed extremely powerful abilities, which gave Tikai a new idea in his mind. If he could possess the terrifying power of the members of the Akatsuki organization, he would definitely be able to conquer the sea and realize his ambition. Therefore, Tikai wanted to join the Akatsuki organization to find more powerful power. Haha! <laughs> Do you want to join our Akatsuki organization? This is not an easy thing. Moreover, you are a member of the Whitebeard Pirates, why should I trust you? Zhang Yu stared at Tikai with a pair of snake eyes and said. As long as I can join the Akatsuki organization, I am willing to do anything. Even if I were asked to betray the Whitebeard Pirates, it would be fine, Tikai looked at Zhang Yu and said with certainty. Yeah. I just need the corpses of a few strong men. I think the division captains of the Whitebeard Pirates are pretty good, Zhang Yu said with a smile. Captain of the squad. I understand, but with my strength, I can't defeat them, Teach also said immediately. Teach is also a person who doesn't let go of the eagle when he sees the rabbit, although he has already planned to betray the Whitebeard Pirates. But if he doesn't get the power he wants, he won't take action easily. Do you want power? I give you. A python suddenly jumped out of Zhang Yu's sleeve. The python was very fast, and before Teach could react, it had already rushed in front of him. The python opened its fangs and bit Teach directly on the arm. You, what are you going to do? Tikai only felt a pain in his arm. He was startled and quickly backed away, looking at his hairy arm. I saw three tadpole-like marks on his arm. Don't you want power? I have gave it to you, Zhang Yu looked at Tikai with a standard Orochimaru smile. Strength. After hearing Zhang Yu's words, Tikai immediately activated his knowledge and knowledge and looked at the three tadpole marks on his arms. Sure enough, Teach felt a powerful ability among these three tadpole-like marks. With a thought, Tikai's three tadpole marks quickly spread on his body as if they were alive. The already very ugly Blackbeard has become even more ugly now. But Blackbeard showed no reluctance, instead he looked excited. Because just when these black marks spread, Blackbeard felt the power of his whole body, and his speed was greatly improved. This, could this be the power of the Akatsuki organization? This kind of power is almost like a devil fruit user. I must join the Akatsuki organization and gain the power of the Akatsuki organization. Blackbeard thought excitedly. If Teach wanted to join the Akatsuki organization before just to test it out, now that he has gained real power, he is very sure in his heart that he wants to join the Akatsuki organization, and no one can stop him. Anyone who dares to stop him from joining the Akatsuki organization is his enemy. Akatsuki Organization Orochimaru known as the scientist of the Naruto world, there is nothing he cannot study. It can be said that he has studied all kinds of abilities in the entire Naruto world. Since Zhang Yu now plays Orochimaru, Zhang Yu naturally inherited all of Orochimaru's research abilities. And now what Zhang Yu gives Tikai is one of Orochimaru's many research results, the power of the curse seal. The curse seal can indeed increase a person's strength and speed exponentially, and the effect really seems to be the same as the devil fruit in the One Piece world. But correspondingly, it will also make people become evil, the whole person will become cold, and distort a person's mentality. Since Tikai wanted power, Zhang Yu simply gave him the power of the curse seal. As for what he turned into in the end, what does it have to do with him? But Tikai didn't know this. Now he only felt that his power had been greatly improved. I haven't joined the Akatsuki organization yet, but I have already gained such a powerful power. If I really join the Akatsuki organization, I will definitely gain even more powerful power. Mr. Orochimaru, for the Zhang Yuxiao organization, I will definitely meet your request. I will help you catch the squad leader as soon as possible, 
Tikai looked at Zhang Yu and said with a fiery face. Haha, very good. If you perform well, you will get more power. You can contact me using this scroll. After Zhang Yu threw a scroll to Tikai, he walked directly towards the distance. Seeing Zhang Yu walking away, Tikai did not pursue him anymore, because his purpose of joining the Xiao organization had been achieved. What he has to do now is to follow Zhang Yu's order to capture a captain of several divisions of the Whitebeard Pirates, join the Akatsuki organization, and gain more power. However, Teach has more important things now. He has not forgotten that he is here to stop members of the Akatsuki organization. Now that the members of the Akatsuki organization have left, there is no way he can explain himself if he returns to the Whitebeard Pirates. Thinking of this, Teach clenched his fist and punched himself hard in the chest. The huge force directly caused Tikai to vomit blood, and several ribs on his body were broken. But that wasn't the end yet. Teach punched him in the face a few more times, leaving injuries all over his body. Blackbeard was really cruel to himself. Through his self-mutilation, he now really looked like he had been defeated after a great battle. On the sea, after a fierce battle, the Whitebeard Pirates finally temporarily defeated the Beast Pirates and the Big Mom Pirates. Although the Whitebeard Pirates had won, it was still impossible to eliminate the two of them. Even though the Big Mom Pirates and Beast's Pirates are weaker than the Whitebeard Pirates, they are both the Yonko Pirates, so they are not that weak. The Whitebeard Pirates can defeat them, but they cannot destroy them both. Quickly, land on the island and see how Tiki is doing, Whitebeard shouted loudly. Yes. Dad, come to the island quickly. The Whitebeard Pirates immediately arrived on the island. I saw the seriously injured Tikai limping and staggering over. Ahem, Dad, I'm sorry. The members of the Akatsuki organization are so powerful that I didn't stop them. While talking, Tikai spit out a few mouthfuls of blood. Teach. What are you doing here? Where is the ship's doctor? Seeing the seriously injured Teach, the ship's doctor immediately ran over and began to check his injuries. Dad. Teach's injury is very serious. He was severely injured all over his body and needed treatment as soon as possible, the ship's doctor said immediately. Teach is worthy of being the person who can become Blackbeard in the future, and he is really cruel to himself. He was not injured originally, but he was seriously injured by himself. Seeing the seriously injured Tiki, no one doubted it. Even Whitebeard thought that Tiki had just experienced a big battle. Teach, I'm not willing to fail this time. The strength of the members of the Akatsuki organization is indeed very terrifying. Just rest in peace and recuperate. Everyone continues to track members of the Akatsuki organization. Under Whitebeard's order, everyone in the Whitebeard Pirates boarded the ship again and continued to track information about the Akatsuki organization. Only Tikai, who was seriously injured, showed an imperceptible smile. Teach returned to Whitebeard's ship, and within a few days, all his injuries recovered. Teach was also very surprised to see his injuries recover so quickly. You know, in order for Whitebeard not to doubt himself, Teach also hated him very much for attacking him. The injuries on his body were all serious injuries. Originally, it would take him at least a month to recover from such a serious injury. And now that he has recovered in a few days, it only shows that the power given to him by the Xiao organization is too powerful. Now Teach urgently needs a stronger force within the Akatsuki organization. If you want to join the Akatsuki organization, you need to meet Orochimaru's request and capture a squad leader and hand it over to Orochimaru. But which squad leader should be arrested? Tikai soon had a goal in mind. Sachi, please come here. I have something important to see you. Teach said to a man with a pompadour hairstyle. Thatch, the captain of the 4th Division of the Whitebeard Pirates, the chef of the Whitebeard Pirates, is also the target chosen by Teach this time. There are 16 division captains in the Whitebeard Pirates, and each division captain is a powerful pirate in the New World. And the higher up the division captain is, the more powerful he is. 
Thatch is the captain of the fourth team. Although he is very strong, he is not particularly strong. To say he is weak is not that he is particularly weak. Thatch's strength is just within the range that Teach can deal with. As long as Saki is handed over to the members of the Akatsuki organization, he will definitely join the Akatsuki organization. Oh, Tiki. What's matter? Sage didn't think much and walked directly into Teach's cabin. Haha, <laughs> the thing is, just go to hell. In order to ensure success, Teach used the power of the curse seal, covering his body with black patterns. When Teach didn't react, he directly attacked him from behind. Boom! There was a huge crash, and Sachi fainted directly. Teach's strength was already very strong, and the power of the curse seal increased his strength. What's more important is that Sachi didn't guard against Teach at all. Therefore, Sage didn't even have a chance to react and fainted directly. Seeing Sachi lying on the ground, Tikai did not continue to take action because Zhang Yu needed a living sacrifice. Tikai immediately took out the scroll left by Zhang Yu. The scroll opened and a small snake appeared. The little snake's mouth suddenly opened and widened, and Zhang Yu climbed out of the snake's mouth. Although it looks very disgusting, but combined with Orochimaru's appearance, it only gives people a cold feeling. Teach, what do you want from me? Zhang Yu looked at Tikai and asked. Mr. Orochimaru, I have fulfilled your request. This is Sachi, the captain of the 4th Division of the Whitebeard Pirates. It should meet your requirements. Tikai pointed to where Sachi fainted and said. Captain of Whitebeard's 4th Division. Zhang Yu couldn't help but be stunned. Zhang Yu remembers that in the original work, Tikai killed him and defected from the Whitebeard Pirates just to seize the dark fruit from Sachi. Unexpectedly, now that Zhang Yu has appeared, in order to join the Xia organization, Tikai, the Blackbeard, still kills Sachi. Ha ha ha, Tiki, you did a great job. Zhang Yu controlled the python and swallowed the unconscious Sachi directly in front of him. There was another sacrifice for the reincarnation of the dirty land. Tiki, this is your reward, Zhang Yu threw a pill to Tikai and then said. This pill allows you to activate the second form of the curse seal. Hearing Zhang Yu's words, Tikai took the pills excitedly, but did not eat them. Instead, he kept them very carefully. Now Tikai has more important things, so join the Akatsuki organization. Mr. Orochimaru, I wonder if I can join the Akatsuki organization now. Tikai looked at Zhang Yu and asked expectantly. Haha. Our Akatsuki organization is not so easy to join. Zhang Yu looked at Tikai with a smile and did not answer. You know, all members of the Xia organization are pretended by Zhang Yu alone. How could Zhang Yu let others join in? Tikai, Zhang Yu could only use him to help him get a few powerful sacrifices. It is simply impossible for him to join the Akatsuki organization. But Tikai didn't know this. He still looked at Zhang Yu expectantly. Mr. Orochimaru, I know it is not so easy to join the Akatsuki organization. But no matter what the cost, I will join the Akatsuki organization, Teach said with great certainty. In Teach's view, the more difficult an organization is to join, the more powerful it is. Now the more the Akatsuki organization refuses to let him join, the more he wants to join the Akatsuki organization. Teach may seem a little bit stupid, but that's the truth. As long as he can join the Akatsuki organization, he will be able to gain more powerful power. Just when Zhang Yu was conducting a transaction with Tikai, the cabin door suddenly opened. Teach, I'm here to see you. How is your injury? Ace walked in directly and happened to see Zhang Yu making a deal with Tikai. At the same time, I saw a python devouring Sachi who was unconscious somewhere. Tiki, what are you doing? What did you do to Sage? Let go of Sachi. Member of Akatsuki Organization. When Ace saw everything in front of him, he immediately understood, and the flame in his hand burned brightly. You must know that among the entire Whitebeard Pirates, the one with the best relationship with Ace is Thatch. 
And now that Sachi has fallen into the hands of members of the Akatsuki organization, how can Ace not be angry? Damn it, give me back Sass. Fire Punch The flames in Ace's hand burst out and attacked Zhang Yu violently. Haha, it seems you have no chance to join our Xia organization. Facing Ace's attack, Zhang Yu smiled, and his whole person turned into a puff of smoke and disappeared without a trace. Boom! There was a huge explosion and the fiery flames directly destroyed Hungry Teach's cabin. Damn Ace! You actually ruined my good deeds! Tiki's eyes were red, staring at Ace as if they were spitting out flames. Tiki never expected that Ace would appear here. If Ace hadn't appeared here, he might have joined the Akatsuki organization and gained powerful power. The angry Teach simply refused to do anything, struck first, and launched a direct attack on Ace. But don't forget, Ace is a natural type burning fruit user, and his strength is also very powerful. How could he be successfully attacked by Teach? I saw Ace's whole body turned into flames, easily dodging Tiki's sneak attack, and then looking at Tiki with an angry face. Damn it, Teach, you actually killed Thatch and betrayed Father Whitebeard. Go to hell. Zhang Yu disappeared, and Ace aimed his angry gaze at Tiki again, and the boiling flames violently attacked Tiki. Boom. The flames burst out and exploded immediately, and the huge movement instantly attracted the attention of everyone in the Whitebeard Pirates. What happened? What happened? It's the direction of Tik. Go and see what's going on. The other squad captains also rushed over quickly. Hateful. Must leave immediately. Teach knew very well that the rules of the Whitebeard Pirates were that they must not attack their companions. And now he not only takes action against his companions, but also sells them to the Akatsuki organization. Whitebeard will never let him go. Thinking of this, Tikai jumped decisively into the sea. Ace. What's going on? What's going on? How did you attack Teach? At this time, the captains of other divisions rushed over, and Ace, who looked angry, asked strangely. Teach, betrayed the pirates. He joined the Akatsuki organization and captured Sachi, Ace said angrily.